Yeah, I lied about Friday. Hey, Humph. <laughs> I, I was, uh, I kind of said to myself, I'm probably going to stream a lot on Saturday and Sunday, and, uh, uh, hey, Christy. So I was going to probably stream a lot on Saturday and Sunday, probably, so it's better to kind of more space it out. Um, so OBS did, like, this major update, and, uh, the entire UI is different now, so, well, not really, it's just a different color. So, how does this stuff work? Properties. I can crop. I can add a filter. What kind of effect filter is going to add? HDR toning uh, override. Let's see. We're going to do max hard H. I don't know what this does. It doesn't do anything. Let me make sure I remove that filter in case it does do something. Junk that one. They got some cool stuff with this. Scrolling aspect ratio. Scroll sharpen. Luma key. What's a Luma key? Oh, wow. That's uh, interesting. All right, let's uh, not use that. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we got some neat toys I didn't look at really. So, but I'm still on, like XCOM and stuff. Well, thanks for streaming. Need something to watch while I catch up on work? Well, my pleasure. That's what I'm here to do. If you don't like the new, uh, the new padded look. Uh, it's not that padded to me. It looks pretty much like the original. Um, probably a Linux thing, to be honest. I'm actually okay with it. I, I, I kind of opened it up. I'm like, ooh, this is different. What are even the things that they added? OBS, what is it, like 2.8 or something? Oh, no, no, no. 28. Yeah, OBS 28. What did they add to this? I don't even know what they added. Added some stuff to it. HDR video encoding support. Oh, I see. Apple Silicon. Oh, yeah. They did add a lot of stuff. Anyways, I'll, I'll check this out some other time. Because it's obviously just working, so I don't need to do anything different with it. So That's cool. Alright, let's get to partying. Uh, let's, let me go back to my tab here. Hey, X-Room. Oh, wait. This is a single player load let me go back so i think i want to do mat three i also wanted to start bringing in the science from uh, i'm starting to get to the point where i can actually just bring it in instead of bringing in from uh wherever it's called uh i don't have to bring it from novice anymore and i probably should look at retirement the thing is i still don't know a good train system for that i have ideas but they're not good ideas I have to see. Um, I I have some potential designs. <clears throat> sorry, potential designs that are ex exclusively train only, which is uh, I'm sure what you all want to see is ex exclusive train only designs. Um, all right, so we were doing mat three now. That's what we were doing. I was very sure about that. All right, let's get this party started. So let's see, we're doing that. Yeah, it's it's always pretty easy. What flues do we need for this? Lubricant, we got some fire magazines, which we can easily bring up here. I mean, how many wagons is that? A lot of uh, fire magazines wagons, so. Yours really looks like a circuit too, yeah. I probably condensed it really hard. Uh, I, I just like condensing it, you know? It's, it's, uh, it looks fun that this way. Oh, you know what the other thing I want to do? Is I want to start, uh, moving this stuff over here somewhere. Let's do that. Uh, sorry, I want to, I want to start making the solar go over there instead, so. Where's my, uh, where's my giant radar construction pile and we're gonna do that. Looks beautiful, thank you very much. I made it myself. 
I did it with like the bricks and everything, so. It's absolutely fantastic. And after I updated, oh, uh, you know, I just realized I, didn't, uh, I did like a major update to my OS and then I didn't actually like tell it I could basically upgrade <laughs> or whatever, so. Anyways, I'll, I'll leave that be, it's okay. All right, so let's get this, um, let's go do this. Just wanna put some uh, of this down. We're moving our solar to the, uh, the side of the map, basically, that's what we're doing right now. I didn't do that before because obviously I didn't know what the design would be uh, until you know I made it. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really care about that so much. So we're gonna just let the bots get kind of started on that one. So they're gonna do their thing. What are they trying to do? I have no idea what they're trying to do. So yeah, happy, happy, fun Friday, guys. No, it's not Friday, but you know, we'll just pretend it is. Because I like to make things an interesting challenge in itself. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I work when I want to, so that's why like I'm like, ah, I'll just work a little bit later today, so that's that sounds good to me. 1.2 mechanical facilities. 0.7 uh, thermodynamics facilities, all right. It never requires that much. It's always the sheer amount of scrap, but I have scrap processing. Let me just make sure how much scrap processing we have if we don't need to like make that any better. Uh, where's it at? I, and then again, I think math science has moved in a very long time, so I think no matter what I look at, where is it at? Oh, it's down here. Yeah, it's like we got tons of we got tons of space for it, but like that's for now. All right. I want a thing over here just so they deliver some more stuff to me. Oh, does that have any new buildings? No. I think we have all these. I think we're gonna start with the lubricant today. Uh, we don't even have any. Well, yeah, we'll just make the lubricant like right here. It's fine. I've done this before where it kind of just passes through here and then just doesn't even bother to go through this. Uh, probably a little bit more space for that, actually. Whoop. There you go. Just like that. And that's the only one it needs, right? Well, there is a bit of cool thermal fluid as well. Maybe I should get that in here, too. Yeah. My, I, I always put, like, the liquids at the beginning, so... Ironically, this doesn't actually need to have its own block, uh, because every single one of these always, like, uh, where's it at? It doesn't, it doesn't ever take a full block, but I'm gonna still do this anyways, just because I feel like if I need to extend one of them, it would be better to have it look like this. Alright, where's some lubricant? Let's see. Well, we'll start with this one. Lubricant will be right beside it. Wherever it may be, right here. Yeah, there's lubricant request right there. How did this one end up being like more down? Oh, because I put it on the other side. Yeah, yeah this is actually fine.
Why is it broken? Oh, because I guess it wants to be like here. It's, yeah, it's treating it all like the same block. Uh, we can't have that. Okay, that should do that. Perfectly acceptable. There we go. So we got our fluids, including our iced coffee. Oh, uh, it doesn't want to quite be here. Okay, and this one has one here. Alright, so the first one is going to be this one that has mat, mat testing packs, bearings, blank data cards, and lubricant. So that one's a pretty easy one. That one just has to go down, grab heavy bearings, and then come back up, and that's a very simple train. It's mostly the scrap that's always the crap. The, <laughs> I was going to say it's mostly the scrap that's the crap, but uh, it's still not inaccurate. I mean, what I do, yeah, I put this scrap sometimes on this side. This one also has... This one's a bit uneven, isn't it? Is that supposed to have a... Yeah, that, that has a chance of bringing back both. My god, these builds were such a pain in the ass. What's the, what's the, what's this one missing right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this one now. You know what? I think I stopped it, and it shouldn't have stopped, because, yeah, there it is. Look, it has all its stuff again. You can keep going. Uh, no, you're... Oh, wait, wait, actually, I'm going to stop for a second. I think it's 1k, 1k, right? Yeah, I didn't quite finish with that. I did this, like, literally, like, years ago, by the way. And now I'm just remembering why I, why I did this. All right. You're free. Go. What does scrap even turn into? Wait, wait, one second. I had a block. Uh, stoner is like a deleted KS2 style. Um, scrap has a couple of things you can kind of do with it. Um, if you go to sc scrap. Uh, scrap. <laughs> Anyways. So scrap, um, you can do essentially one of three things. Uh, well, delivery cannon doesn't count because uh, that's you're sending it to another surface to process. But generally speaking, you should process it in the place it's made in because it only accepts speed modules. It doesn't, ex it doesn't allow you to do anything else. I don't think it tells you down here, but yeah, it doesn't it doesn't let you use anything with speed modules in it. But you can either turn it into landfill, or you can use scrap recycling on it. And scrap re recycling is extremely worth it to do, uh, especially at a scale that I'm working at. You get like a little bit of iron ore occasionally, you get a little bit of copper ore occasionally, you get a little bit of stone occasionally, you get a little bit of heavy oil. Those are the things you get out of it, so. And this is this is stuff I don't have to bring in from like uh I can basically send it back down to to what what to basically reprocess and then bring it back up kind of a thing. So yeah, that is that is pretty good. There's a couple of recipes that in this game that are either there's the technical logistic challenge, or there's just the voiding one that you can do. So you can choose either one. Uh, in the case of my game, obviously I'm doing always the technical logistic one because I get a lot more out of it then. Because if you're doing 10 times the amount of scrap, blah, 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 you know, you, you get the idea. So. I, I kind of, I kind of have to do um, everything as, as, uh, as it stands, so. Uh... I, I'm thinking of here, should, do I do like four of them? I think I do. Even though it says like 1.2, it'll just not go. That's okay. Because even this one's like 1.7. But like I have some explosives that I have to get. And that I have to bring from... I have to bring those from the ground. As well. Let me also make sure my preferences... Okay, good. My preferences are on the other one. Uh, linearly dependent. Yeah. It already knows that. Okay. Just say data cards are unrestricted. Because I also have to bring explosives in, and that is 13 machines, and that has to come in from, again, our favorite place. Uh, we got to bring it in from the ground. Because chemical plants, I don't really see a reason to 
I don't I don't see the reason to make this up here, to be honest. Because we got the elevator, man. <laughs> Might as well. We make enough things up here. So we still have some 235 and fire magazines, as I expected, is yeah. So this can be made right here, because we have iron here. And we have firearm magazines, so that's easy to do. The thing I'm kind of curious about is, can we just do it with spaces only machines? Because it is only 2.2 .2 machines, you know? Maybe, there might be a build here for, well, no, this is 2.8 machines, never mind, because I need four of these anyways. And these things are huge. Playing a trip to Novice, is the war, a bug war back on? No, not back on. Absolutely not back on. You're never going back to that place again. Uh, how many? What's the recipe for this? Let's see. Oh, that's four iron plates, and that stacks us to 200. Yeah, so we should pick that up from somewhere else. Which is kind of weird because you know it's ammunition, but yeah. Sorry, I had to look at that. I'm, 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 I'm bouncing ahead when I really should just be looking at the the ones like I'm kind of working on right now. I don't know why I always do that. One does not simply play Factoria. Is that not what I'm doing? Convince me otherwise. That's all I'm doing. All right, we got. We, you, I think you get the last piece of text over here. By the way. And then it's going to move move somewhere else after this. I, I already kind of made a place for it to move to, but I'm, I definitely cannot fit any more down here. Because it doesn't even have range for that. Actually, there's this stuff here too, which is also kind of a problem. You know, I just realized I have like constantly power poles just like... Like this. Oh, nice, it works again. It was like I don't know why it ever stopped working. That was the that was the real issue. You can actually kind of see when uh, things are essentially removed. Just trying to see. Uh, well, there's some power lines that are basically like removed. Yeah, there's another one right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to eventually do something about that. When we go back to Novice, we'll do it, which will be never. So we're looking for impact. No, we're looking for friction shielding data. <laughs> One does not simply play Factorio indeed. Well, now I really have to put them into, into a new place. This is what you make me do. You know, the copying and pasting seems a little bit better in the new UI for OBS. Because I've had issues copying and pasting stuff, but now it seems to be a lot better. Oh. Oh, but I can't do that. There you go. A little bit out of the way there. <laughs> Oh, this gives back, um, oh, I didn't look at the byproducts, it's just that. That's not hard to deal with, but I should make a separate train for that. Where's my, uh... Might make it at the end or something. That's what I might do. Well, no, I shouldn't. I, I always put the fluids at the front, but I, I, honestly, I probably shouldn't put fluids at the front. I should always put them at the back because if they're going uh, like this, they don't need to cut across the the entire way. Then I don't know. It's not like there's a huge amount of tr uh, train throughput on this, anyways. Because there's no reason for them to need to be here then. <laughs> I'm honestly thinking of just like cutting it and uh, and just removing it for now, and just putting it at the end where I could just basically put it up there, and then that's it. I don't know if I'm considering, I should just probably do it. 
I don't know why I didn't do that before. I, I don't care about the fluids, by the way. At this point, it's not expensive for me to just delete them. One time. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ignore fluids until the very end, then. That's what we're gonna do instead. Oh, wait, one second. Let me just uh, copy this into here. Alright, so we're probably gonna need one for material testing and one for bearings and the data cards, and then that's it. Bearings don't have any other... Because I could technically have all the other ones. What are they, What else are they using? Nacrium plates. But that wouldn't be made in space anyways. They are used in Mat Science 3, but that also doesn't matter really. Better construction, heavy assembly. Nope. That's really the, just the only thing. Well, actually there's a bit of um, speed modules too. Forgot about these. And by the way, we have to start making uh, speed sixes now as well. But that's one thing at a time, right? There's a lot of uh, outputs here, actually. All right, one second. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Go down by one notch, because that's what we should target, and... Streaming is in monochrome to pay respects to Canada's recently dead. I I read about it and uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll just go with that. I did I did hear the the horrible news. I I can assure you on that. Oh, this is one where it can give you back uh, heavy bearings, so I have to take that into account. You get a good fifty percent chance for that one, so. Uh, good thing I kind of looked at that. Alright, I, I know I'm going to do that. You got the bearing, you got the data cards. Very vocal. One second, sorry. I paused instead of like... Fast forwarding it. Man, I really just like the Vidmalage loop already always running out. Well, I'll get there eventually and then I'll get to experience the pain myself and it'll be hilarious. We're all gonna enjoy that. Except uh, data cards. That's why I kind of said I can make three different stops for this, I think. I still can, to be honest. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. Part of me wanted to make another train that would essentially, like, get the scrap over here, but I don't know. I guess I don't really care that much about that. You just do something like that. There you go. Do I go more down or up? I don't even know. Yep, that that will do it.
So it looks like we're gonna just have a very specific uh, heavy bearing frame. Let's keep uh, doing this. the cards up here and it's down here or something and then I do have to do something different with that so this is not on the correct thing of Bob for that so give me a sec <laughs> you sound today and sleepy well it's because I woke up uh, recently that's why <laughs> I've been um, uh, my sleeping habits are not exactly what I'd call the best right now but that's okay I'm not exactly sleepy. To be honest, I should probably actually be, like, forcing myself awake in certain situations. Uh, but yeah, i I kind of been working late, so... You can blame some of the late-night Factorio streamers for that. Uh, no, not mentioning any names. <laughs> just, I've been, I've been kind of, like, just biasing myself towards uh, just playing at night, so... Uh, or, sorry, playing, um, working at night just because uh, there's something to watch at night, so I'm just like, I might as well. So, they're, uh... They're kind of helping with my insomnia adventures over there. So. I'm, I'm not just blaming them, though. But they are mostly at fault. Uh, you know what? I'll get another coffee just so I wake up a little bit more. Give me a minute, then. Yeah, probably on, like, Saturday or something, I'll probably just go force myself awake, and then I'll, uh... I'll just force myself awake, and then I'll, uh, you know... I don't know if I'm gonna stream that day, though. <laughs> that, that's part of the reason why, like, I'm like, I should do it today, because maybe one day I'll skip on the, on the weekdays just because of, uh, you know, sleep. Or whatever, so... Isn't it daytime in America? It is. I'm not American, though. I am Canadian. The secret is, it's basically the same thing. Uh, actually, we can do this still. Actually, no, we should keep it the same. Am I out of, uh, probably am, right? So this is a wild mic stream, <laughs> kind of. Oh yeah, we do. We definitely need some more third or yeah. We're gonna just wait for them to bring it over. It's as wild as I'll get. what this is? I don't think that's what it is. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's a time Canada has the same time zones? Absolutely correct, it does. That was a little project I have going down here. Holy shit, they just completely finished it. Alright. some stuff like this, right?
Uh, I want to... So technically speaking, I could just make it with the radar pylons and that's it, but I kind of... I don't know. Part of me wants to... I, I, to be honest, I probably should do that. I should always use the radar pylons to extend this grid here. Just thinking out loud. Construction pylon is, or it's the radar construction pylon. That will need a little bit more into the tier three. So but that's that's uh, let's live. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the idea of just like you throw. You can just keep extending it indefinitely. So oh, it doesn't even go that far, anyways. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of range, do they? That's the that's like my one gripe with these things. Because I, I need, like, one in the middle here when I'm trying to, like, do this. This is why maybe it's not a good idea to do anything with that. Anyways, uh, for, for reference, guys, I'm trying to move my, um... Trying to move my stuff over here. Let me just put this over here just so I know how far it's going to go. I just don't know how I'm gonna make this or something. Maybe just like that. Yeah, that, that seems pretty good. What happens when you get to over here? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's just barely kind of in the way, isn't it? What the hell? I feel like there's like, is there enough space for like a thing here? No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, should I just do this and then just always assume that, um, I don't know. Do something like that instead. Okay, that doesn't seem to be quite lined up. Why is that? Oh, because it's not lined up at all. I'm still debating if I should... Like, have it connected. Because like, I don't know if I should. I mean, I could just have regular roboports do it. Because those have actually, technically speaking, the best range. But then again, putting... Putting that in your roboports is kind of a sin, actually. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Twitch stop buffering, thanks. No. Twitch says. In, in utter defiance. I have a feeling that this is going to be a huge pain in the ass when I want to make a little project with it, so. Uh, honestly, probably at a later point, I'll just do a Spider-Tron for it anyways, so. I don't know why I'm thinking I, I'm going to do anything different with it like that. Actually, that's fine. For this one, I'll probably just put a, uh, where's it at? You know, like that. some reason no that's connected it's just that there isn't a thing there that exists i 
Actually, this should be fine because I can just move the. Uh... Yeah, I can. I can just move it around too. I, I <clears throat> I'm gonna say I probably didn't add enough space for it uh, here anyway. So, oh wait, wait, this is misaligned. I just realized that's why it doesn't seem right to me. There you go. You probably give it some lamps too. Actually, in each one of these. Because I like lamps. They're adorable. Oops. Fuck. There we go. I, I should make this a tallable grid too. Alright, let's keep going. I don't know why Daft Punk would, by the way, be in this playlist, uh, if it was, because it's supposed to be a non-copyright one, so... Maybe I'm in a, one of those uh, infamous liar ones where, uh, you know, using cheat mods to, uh, to, do, do, to do the stuff, you know, who knows. I will likely actually probably bring this down here, actually. Like the music, Mr. Streamer? Uh, never mind, it's not. It's just some fucking other one. Never mind, I, I'm not actually doing that, so here you go. Just cho chose a random one. I guess I'll, uh, I'll deal with it, whatever. I think I played it before, so I think I'm okay with it. Well, I'm glad you like it, then. At least. Uh, we need more friction data. Here we go. Alright, that should handle that one. Well, you gotta go to work at 4 a.m. and now it's 40, 40, 10 45 p.m. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be a thing. Now, welcome to my life. That's how I am. So I don't have to go anywhere. I just uh, work from home, so it's awesome. I love it. I just feel like this should be the other way around. Yeah, there it is. So this one's going to be a lovely material science three friction data provider. See you, XRAM. YouTube didn't match it, but the vid uploader states it own shit, so it's up to luck, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. It's, honestly, it's also the genre of music is kind of safe uh, to play, so. I, 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 I've played various types of music, and this one does not get matched up to a lot of stuff, but usually it goes to the, the copyright free ones. I guess this is a rare exception when I actually uh, did not do that. Oh well. I was pretty good about it at one point. Oh wait, material, yeah, material testing's at the top. Got bearings over here under 2k. That should be good. Last one is data cards. Can't type in data card all as one word. And we it's a requester. 
think they're having a little bit of a problem here. Yeah, they don't have any more. I don't want to wait for inactivity on this, by the way. In either case. Because if there's some kind of unevenness, it uh, needs to just stay there. Where's all my data cards at? Well, they're going, but... Just want to make sure we're making enough of these. Is it just like, yeah, it kind of seems to me like not enough buffer trains. Oh, by the way, we can make uh, ion engines and stuff now. We should probably get going on that, uh, just because that's uh, kind of valuable. It's a pretty simple thing to do. My guess is that we probably are missing something that... Something simple on it. Like, we just might... Well, okay, I did make another glass one. Maybe I need another iron uh, stub for it. Yeah. Because we have, we have lots of glass. I think I need another iron stop somewhere. This one's likely not enough, by the way. No path to thing. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, why, why would this one be complaining about that? Oh, it's it's a buffer. No, Oh, it can't go to... What? How do you have no path to that? Oh, because there was another one I had and I was deleting it. Where's it at? Yeah, these ones. That's why they're doing that. This one's also the same deal. Which means one of these can be replaced with more iron. I'm actually gonna do that. Let me do that. Just so, just so, because it's if it's the only thing that's preventing like our data cards from moving, uh, basically fixing it up right now, it would be like a huge boon to our entire factory. Actually, I think it is, and I think I think the other thing I could do is these buffer trains that I have. I could just make two more of these, two or three more. Oh, except the bots are very con busy on weird construction projects. I'll probably move this one over somewhere. I don't know where, though. Probably more down, just so we can keep that going, too. I'll, I'll look at that in a minute. Damn it. <laughs> I can't get rid of anything right now. Oh, my bots are all just following me around now. take these matte science packs I'm gonna put them into there just so that they, they kind of go into another place and that's it <coughs> how do you bo bo boast a ghost build a train how do you uh, do you mind showing that yeah sure I can do that uh, let me just get these ones going um, so typically what I do is if, if, if I'm either copying a train that already exists or something like that um, it will copy it with the same orders but what you do is you do control C you hold whoops I Apparently learned how to pause the game, which is shift to uh, um, shift to spacebar. Sorry, let me let me start this again. Control C, so it puts the con uh, the thing on there. You hold shift, you drag it over the train completely that you want to copy, right? So you see it says there are locomotives and things like that. So you do that. So if the first thing it does is it doesn't have a train there at all. So you put uh, you put trains in there and you uncheck entities right there, and then you you press collect uh, uh, create blueprint and then you kind of like match it up to where you want it to go. They'll build it really, really fast. And the train you copied is the one that they'll copy the orders from. So if you just want more of one particular kind of train, that's how you do it. Oh yeah, there's another 
than the guy here, too. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Makes life a hell of a lot easier when you're trying to... Uh, figure some of this out. I have 558 material testing packs. That's okay. I'm sure they'll eventually find their way into something else. How much more do I have here? Actually, not that much more. I was trying to remove this stuff because I just don't care about it. Um. Okay. Part of me is like, I could just have a landing pad deal with this, but I don't know. Eh, probably not necessary. So I have a lot of uh, na stations doing some weird things here. Whoops. Iron plates uh, provider. Wow, this is what I did for that. Oh right, yeah, because it's so dang, it's so fast that it actually made sense to do this. Actually, I, I don't need to copy that really. Yeah, I can actually just do this then. Yeah, I'll just have one do all of them actually. Um. Do we have enough iron plates? I don't really, actually. Maybe that's actually what the problem is. Okay, that's a different issue, actually. We may be running out of iron, actually, on this planet. Yep, there's six requesters going on right now. Okay, I guess I will do that next, then. That would actually be what the problem is. We should go fix that right now. I'm just gonna hook this up so it can basically do this uh, in a bit. Yeah, we got it. We got actually it over there. <laughs> so, so much for doing uh, science over there. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to duck out to go to that planet. It was a little bit less than I I, I would have hoped for that. So let's go. Whoop. Okay, we're in. We've gone back and forth that planet a fair bit, but yeah, it's uh, just what it kind of takes. So. This won't take long, actually, to be honest. I, I've gotten pretty efficient at doing it. How much more do we have? Let's let's have a look here at some of these uh, outputs that we have. Yeah, I don't care about missing the landing pad. Um, oh yeah, this one's like completely done. Uh, so we can actually get a train to come over here for this one. What else do we have? We've got a lot of stone, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so stone's not the issue at all. And barrel I obviously overdid at some point. Even though there's some actually there's some iron down here too. By the way, the grand plan is to actually move our iron processing to um uh Hinechki because that actually had a fair bit of iron deposits. And that should be enough to basically carry the transition over to I would hope core fragments. Uh but we'll see. I, I wasn't really banking on the fact we need so much iron this run, to be honest, but maybe they changed something where it does actually require a lot of it. Then again, I am not efficiently using it, so I'm getting almost nothing from core fragments is the first thing. And the second thing is the recycling mechanism I have does not, like, I'm voiding a lot of it right now. So yeah, there's a lot to do there anyway, so it probably will be fine.
I was kind of thinking the fact that I would basically just use up most of this planet. Yeah, there's a 2.3 mil there too. I thought I'd use up most of this planet and then I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to come back. To, I'm, I'm going to basically not make any more mines I don't need anymore, right? That's what I thought I it would basically turn out to be, but it may not. There's a 10 mil here, yeah. So there's still plenty of iron here, so I'm not quite forced to, I think, go do something I don't want to do yet. So we're still good. Oh, it did something really fucking dumb here. Um, you just delete all this. And I'm going to replace it with... Uh, whatever that is. I could, I could actually just do this for all of this, to be honest. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to move this guy over to here. Where's the existing grid? I guess that would be it. Yeah, I may have to go there myself and do that. All right, let's go dock. I was even using UPS now at this point. Entities. Well, it says total 5, right? But yeah, entity time, uh, any update is like 6.5. Yeah, you know, it's still pretty accurate, to be honest. I, I, I guess it's like counting trains or something as a part of that, too. I don't even know what what's a part of that, actually. <laughs> trains are like 2. To be fair, this is like the biggest train base I think I've ever made. Oh my, what the hell is this? Oh good. Oh good, you're just blocking it now. Maybe we need another way to get over onto this side or something, I don't know. <laughs> I think they need an alternate path over here to be honest. I might go I might go lay that down somewhere. Cause there's a the iron there anyway, so. Alright, let's go let's go do that. That's a bit of a bit of a train deadlock thing there. I'm gonna give them an alternate way uh, to get over there or something. Maybe, maybe we should solve that problem first. Alright, back to... where is it at? This is why it's another good idea if I just get rid of it from this planet. This planet is, by the way, responsible for a lot. That's, that's half of the issue, so... Let's see. Yeah, it will basically pass by that. I might have to connect it over there somewhere. No, yeah, that's not a good place for it. Maybe this is? Yeah, I'm not sure where to hook this up to. Heard this one before. Um, this is probably a good place to have it go. No, I actually don't like this because it's oh, it's stuck in this one. This one should be a four-way, I guess. I don't know what to do quite with this one though. If I do that, the yeah, I have no idea how to necessarily uh, basically make that meet up with the other one. Oh no, I can just, you know, I could just have a go in here, actually. That would be a good place for it. Alright, that's what we'll do. Where am I at? trying to eat up all the 
bots so they don't just start like flipping out on me. This is the kind of project that you basically have your spider trons do and not do it yourself, you know? But I'm a very hands-on guy, what can I tell you? No, like I've already I've already stated my regret in not getting to that level of tech earlier. Okay, let's just turn this off right now. that over here again, yeah. And you are now witnessing the power of chunk lined rails, which is the fact I can just connect it over here and then it's it's officially connected. <laughs> and that's it. Alright. This should help them kind of avoid each other a bit more. Damn it, I keep I keep going over a rock when I want to just pick up bots. <laughs> See, like, I've been picking up the bots this entire time, and my my friggin' um, battery's still almost out, so... I think we get one more upgrade of an RTG in this mod, and that's it. I think out of all the things I missed from Crestario, it's having, like, unlimited power for bots. <laughs> that's literally it. No, you, we, we actually don't get an... Oh, no, no, we do get an extra RTG. Yeah, that's, that one's really far away, and that one doesn't even give you that much more power. It's only like a... Like a like, only like a 20, 250 more kilowatts. I miss having a grid of like several megawatts of just power. That was the best thing about it, actually. Unlimited power? Like Fusion Palace getting delivered? Yeah, something like that. Alright. This should help them path way more efficiently, to, though. Because it's it's mostly like iron trains are colliding with um, all the other trains and things like that, so... When they don't need to be going through such a weird location. And barrel trains, too. Well, barrel trains actually will not be helped by this, but I think what they'll do is they'll actually pathfind around it when they see too many trains in one area. That's part of their pathfinding algorithms, how many trains are currently in a place. So, that's kind of nice. And it's almost connected. Alright, we can now have, I believe... Yeah, they all look good. Okay. Well, I guess now we just start adding more iron, I guess, everywhere, and that's it. It just disconnects on the stuff I have here. The, the note to self is that I'm definitely going to add a lot of. Uh, when I do the. Um, when I do Spider Trons, we're going to have a ton of batteries because, you know, forget it. <laughs> so, they need them.
Is there anything like up here? I mean, there's a 1.2 mil here, 1.3. Just go out of this. Here we go. Can't wait for Spiritron action because I never got to work and I want to learn. Sure. I will get there at some point. Like I said, my mistake was I didn't go into it fast enough. Oh, there we go. We got a train that's... Uh, trains are starting to head here now, too. I'm more than happy to show you what I do with that. To be honest, I underutilized them in my last run, too. I'm going to basically use them a hell of a lot more, so... Actually, hold on. To be honest, we have like. Probably could just give it all speeds. Who cares? Maybe I should. Maybe I'm at that point where I'm just like, I, I don't care. I just want to put speeds into everything. Uh, is that literally. Well, there's a 4.9 there, but that's okay. Yeah, but I ha you have more important things like space elevators and ships and getting off novice. Well, okay, so. Like I said, I'm going to say the space elevator rush was fine, uh, but going to, right to spacious was a mistake. That was the that was the error I made. Um, I should not have done that. Because I, I, I thought it would be a lot easier to do than it actually ended up being. Um, but at this point, I've, I've, I, I'm having a severe case of sunk cost jealousy where I have to now make this strategy I did work. Um, it's definitely like wasted a lot of time because this is this is right now this is something that a bot could have done like or something like you could extend your like I don't I wouldn't want to do something like extend my entire grid across the entire like galaxy here because that 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 always sucks when you don't want to do that like the entire surface like that that's the worst thing to do. So I don't know. Go this way. Okay, right, that should be enough for that. We need a couple more patches. There's one up here, and there's a 666 patch right there, too. Unfortunately, it's kind of going to go through this one here. But I don't think that's a big issue. Or no, no, I could just bring the I can just bring the ore down here. That would be good. Part of me wants to use up the 666 one, but I don't know. It's such a brilliant number. Pretty sure you can do most outposting with the Spidertron. Yes, you can. I just don't have it because I didn't do it. Like I said, if you're playing this, don't make my mistake. <laughs> Wait. This one could get deleted. Good contents. There you are. Wait, 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 that's wrong. Yep. That'll do it. Yeah. All you just have to do is just don't do what I did. So. Very simple. Your old moon has Vitus, so you're planning on making full use of it. I mean, that's what I had in my last run, right? And so I didn't even think about uh, Vitamolage because I just already had it. 
Um, so I was just like, oh, I might as well do it. But like, productivity is so good in this mod. Um, and I kind of just forwent it. Um, and like I said, I could, I could basically go into it now, but you know, I kind of already did all this stuff to basically do the spaceship. So now I kind of want to just go all the way into the spaceship. So, <laughs> so that's what I mean. It's, it's sunk cost policy, right? I realized a mistake I made and I'm not really correcting it. So. That's what I mean when I say sunk cost policy. You know, I should know better, but I don't, because I'm not, I'm literally not correcting it. Oh, I mean, I may have run out of belts. That's just lucky, I guess? No, it's, I got it, I got it as well before as well. The thing is, though, you will eventually need uh, Vitamilage uh, Core Fragments, but the thing is, like, just a minuscule amount of uh, Vitamilage on a planet, like, makes a huge difference, you know? It means that you can basically do a lot with it, as it is. But no, I, I had to, I, you do have to get the Core Fragments in the end, because you do need it for some of the sciences, it's just unfortunate how that works. So. Uh, we'll also, while we're here, we'll double check if the barrel's going okay. I think copper is perfectly fine. What I'll do is I'll probably just have a look at the providers and just make sure that they're all doing what they're supposed to. Alright, let's see. Alright, I guess I'm not tapping into that one. Um, there's gotta be another one here somewhere that I can tap into. Let's see. We're not running out yet. You see, there's a 1.5. I, I kind of want to do that 10 mil here. That one's a nice one. That one's really far away from here, though. <laughs> there's a 3 mil here. Everybody knows things are bad. Oh, I don't want to hear it's this one. No one cares about us if it's a depression. Alright, um... There's also these two, which are nice too. Okay, I'll do this one and that one, and we'll, we'll see how it is. What's your lamp ex ex um, consumption? Here you go. It's, um... Uh, 21 megawatts. <laughs> That's it. Not, not that big of a deal. And on uh, the space platform, which always has the long, it's, uh, for this one, it's, uh, well, there's a little bit of small lamps still. I don't know where they are, though. But, um, the big lamps are using 40 megawatts here almost, so. Oh, I see. Uh, we should probably... One second. So I'm not really doing much with it on this side. Maybe I should just uh, delete these. Little well, lamps uh, are probably at the science stops since bigs don't fit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, you're right. That's exactly where they are. What was I about to do? I was about to do something. I think I was going for that one. Hey, Andy! Was that just Jet Nova Ground? No, it wasn't, I think. This is Jet Nova. How are you doing, Andy? I lied and decided to stream on, uh, on Thursday instead. How do you do, Andy? Good, good. That's good, good to hear. I also am lacking in a couple of things here. Uh, okay, one 
I'm just gonna go do it like over here. I think I want to do it like that. Here, here we go. Sorry, I'm just uh, having to correct this little guy. There you go. That's that's more like it. Uh, maybe happy with the sprite stream, but I'll have to mute you till uh, because NFL starts today. Wow, you British and your NFL. Just kidding. Uh, I'm lacking in my will to continue this escapade for what the your your game or what escapade using serious words like escapade. I'm gonna just move it down a little bit here. Uh, maybe one more tile. There you go, that should do it. Escapade sounds like a car. <laughs> I think you can have uh, an escape or something, but that's, that's fine. You know, I'm just gonna reuse this one actually for that. So I'm lazy. Incredibly lazy. beef jerky down on the street shipping across the US so you're gonna go surprise your faraway friends with a big bag of meat in the mail uh, well that sounds pleasant also how are you doing Sully sound because you start out dude vibes it's the guitar that's why ooh actually this can be fine Remember when StarCraft 2 was a game? I remember that time. I, I honestly, I kind of looked at, I was looking at uh, videos of uh, Pro StarCraft 2 the other day, and I'm like, the game completely changed at some point. I was watching some like, Terran versus Terran match, and they were like, um, firing like, Raven projectiles at each other. Like, like, like it was like tanks, marines and stuff, and I was just like, watching like, I'm like, it's like a negative armor debuff. That's what they changed it to. I'm like, wow, that doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like the, I kind of like the old Ravens where they like fired like the, I, I guess it was overpowered, but they tried to replace, replace it with something that really didn't make any sense. It just looked weird. I didn't like that one too much, to be honest. They did some funky things to that game. Let me tell you that much. Random question, what was the last song? I will tell you. It says, oh, Occam's Laser. I'll just copy where I'm currently at. You can just like scroll back to whatever it was. Here you go. Yeah, I, I think it was like was something, I think the last one was called like, uh, what was it called? Occam's Laser Warriors of the Faith. That's what it was. I just have just some YouTube stuff playing in the background, so that's all I do. Earlier you were saying you made a mistake. What mistake you say you shouldn't do? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I've been talking about it for a bit. Um, The Vin Milaj, uh, uh, Like, my order of things, like, I didn't do Vin Milaj, like, at all. Like, I don't have it, I don't, I'm not on a planet with it, and so, so on. My whole thing was, I was basically just, like, doubling down on the space elevators and then spaceships, and then I was going to do Veda Milaj. Absolutely don't do that. The productivity is just way too good to pass up. Um, that was the that was the mistake. Don't make that mistake. Definitely get, like, productivity sciences. 100%. Like, you, you really need them. They're really good. 
so. Because I, A, I, I don't have Spider-Trons, uh, which is important for, you know, not having to go to your outposts and fix things like your iron. I could have just had, uh, I could have had Spider-Trons doing this, what I'm doing right now, but I don't. And also the outposts are also running out a lot faster because of that fact too. And uh, I, like I said, I, I, I kind of doubled down on it, so that's why I can't really uh, <laughs> just go back and uh, and do it right now. Because it would like it's a lot of time to set up like a um, a logistics uh, rocket system for that. That I'm go just going to replace the spaceships in like soon. That's the that's the issue with it. So, so like I said, regret, 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 and that's it. I didn't realize how much it made a difference in my last run of having that to begin with. Why is it doing that? Oh, okay. Where's the thing? But yeah, don't do not do that. Because I've kind of been thinking like the next time I play what my what my order is going to be of sciences. So this is this is kind of like if you really want to know what I think is the best way of going. By the way, this is this is totally subjective to what you want. You can play an SE in any number of ways. But obviously you need to get utility in production. I still feel that utility first was better just because the bots are pretty easy to get and you don't need that much Cryonite for that. When you need a lot of Vulcanite anyway, so so you actually want a beacon. Well, no, you, you need cr production for, yeah. I, I, still, I, I still liked utility before production. I, I don't think I would do it any other way. It's too painful not to have bots to do certain things for you. But yeah. This was still a good idea. So I did. So in my in my orders, I did like um, energy one to energy two. Let me just make sure this is actually functioning. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's good. Um, I did energy one to energy two. Uh, sorry, before I get on that little tyrant, let me just. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go into that one there. Okay, that's gonna be the last one to go into. I did energy one to energy two, and the reason why is energy one has eight has solar. The better solars and it also has more importantly the trains which you're making your entire train base based upon so it means you can actually start building that so do i go hard into productivity rush for bots including that choice choices yeah yeah that's what i mean it gives you a lot of good choices um i i don't regret the energy to energy two thing because wider beacons are like a core part of all of my uh builds so you don't have to redo those later which is this is important this is extremely important right here um so then I did Astro 1, which is still good because you get that cargo recovery stuff. But then I did Matt Science 1 to basically do pile drivers, and that may have been a mistake. So this is, I think, situational, like this one. I think I think Astronomic 1 is still important, but Matt Science 1 is... N you get the suit, you get the pile drivers. I, I would say maybe just one and that's it. But after this, I definitely would have said... Uh, if if I had been remaking my base, I maybe would have done Matt, Matt 2 and then gone into VIT right away after that um, is what I would have done. The, the, Matt, the Matt science is very situational based upon the planets you rolled. If you have like a really terrible Vinimalage planet that you want to get onto, then you might want to create rough pile drivers, right? Or, or like uh, nuclear bombs or something. You might want to do that. Uh, but like r this point... I should have been at 200 hours. I should have been already going into Vinimalage, but instead I went down the Astros 2 and Astro 3 because that's what I thought to myself. I'm like, oh, I'll get the spaceships and then I'll do Vinimalage, right? That's what I thought to myself. And also, like, Astro 2 gives me the pylons too, so I'm not going to lie, that was kind of nice to do. I don't know. Just, like, I, I, if I had a little bit of Vinimalage, maybe got went to, like, Bio, Bio 2, I would have been maybe better off. Maybe not. Maybe this is actually the best thing to do, and it's just annoying. But I, honestly, that first biological science pack would have been really good, just to get the spider trons. I think for that, only for that reason, that reason alone, just get a little bit to get into your um, space thing would have been actually a good idea. So I still, I kind of, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll say yeah. That's I should have done that. At least one point of it, one level of it, and then I would have been happy. I think with it. There's so much good stuff to go into. Go bio now. Yeah, you see, you say that, but like, I already have like the spaceship, so, and I was just talking about that. It's it's my sunk cost fallacy talking right now, which is, uh, you know, I, I'm so close to the spaceships, and then I'm gonna do do it. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so, you're not wrong. I could just do it right now, and uh, but the thing is, I I kind of want to set spaceships for it. So, but don't don't worry. What will happen is in like. A couple hours from now, I'll be talking about how I should have been doing that, so, and that you were right, so. <laughs> so. 
I, I, at this point, like I said, I've committed down the path, so I, I kind of wanted to see it all the way through. I'm just saying I wouldn't do it again, so. I'm just trying my, uh, my weird strategy I had going on. That's on, like, we'll, uh, we'll just keep it going. But yeah, you could absolutely go like, oh, I could go fix my mistake and do it right now. You committed down the path of exile. Yeah, because at this point, like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what, if I do it right now, I'm just like, I don't need it now. There's a lot of things I need to change anyway, so. There's a, uh, yeah, there's a lot we have to do anyway, so. We were saying, uh, when you say bots from utility science, I had bots before utility science, so I'm missing something. Oh, sorry, I'm saying the, um, the logistic, logistic, um, chests. That's what you get. You get a few of them to, just to kind of get started, but, uh, you don't get a huge amount of them. Um, so, that's, that's, that's why. I, I just couldn't imagine doing, dealing with some of the byproducts and some of the later stuff. That's, that's what I was, that's what I was talking about. I guess we can probably speed these two. That that was the because you you either like when you get to that point in the game in the science you're just like, do I want uh, what the hell is this? Oh, I just I didn't even notice this before. So you, you're kind of at a point where you're just like, do I want uh, beacons or do I want? Uh, what's the other one? Yeah, do I want logistic containers? And both are extremely good. They're like the two best things of this game is is uh, logistic logistic bots to basically deal with some of the like uh, the byproducts and stuff, or do you want to have like the beacons to actually like make the builds more efficient kind of thing? And and I basically said to myself, you know what? You get better beacons after that anyways, but the logistic containers don't get any better, right? You get you unlock them once and you're done, and that's it one and done kind of deal so that's why it was uh that's why i did the path i did for that so yeah request your chest for the win yeah because it essentially what it meant was things like um if i go down here like i could basically make a bunch more of these requester warehouses and i can essentially send whatever materials i needed to planets and things like that which is why i did it But I would say, yeah, with beacons, you also get Corvex. That's true, too. Um, I would say that is also a very good reason. If you're playing vanilla in, in K2SC, you wouldn't care about that that much, the Corvex stuff, because you wouldn't be doing nuclear anyways, because that's uh, you got the gas stations at that point. So the type of mods you're playing also heavily impacts that. But yeah, also, why is this one not powered? It looks like we're good on barrel. I guess I don't need to do anything about that. It, it's fun to it's fun to strategize because like it's it's one of those things and I I should really uh, make the uh, make this clear there is so many ways of playing this and none of them are wrong you know it's like you know it depends what you're building what scale you're going for um, what matters to you the most blah 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 that's that's the stuff that that it's all subjective right what I do is not necessarily what other people would do you know. Nuclear is still a huge upgrade over gas stations. Yeah, but it consumes 235 like crazy. And uh, you're forgetting about the infinite power loop that you can actually do in K2SC. It's, it was so good. It actually carried me all throughout like the beginning of the game. It was so good. Oh, there we go. We got our, we got, yeah, we got a lot of uh, trains going for that again. I'm just going to basically go clear out some of this stuff and then I'm going to probably... Can I just bring this over here or something? Not really. Never mind. Actually, I think I do have enough space if I just go. Yeah, that's fine. What's down there? Oh, that one's all done.
Again, I probably should just not do this because then Spider-Tron can just handle this, but I'm, I'm like already here, so. That's how it is. Oh, the, what, K2SE? Yeah, biomethanol loop. So it, you essentially get a virtually free power because uh, essentially wood is free and you can turn that into biometh power kind of thing. The, the downside to it is just probably a lot of entities and things like that and it depends what you're doing with it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a free power loop essentially when you kind of figure that one out. I, it carried me well into it because you just copy and paste it every time you need power and you're like, oh, I got more power and that's it. It's not really a loop, it's a stone water consumer. Yeah, but stone is easy to get. Water is also easy to get. It, it You can't do it on a waterless planet, uh, granted for that, so you'd want to do nuclear on that. that. That is what I ended up doing in my run, is I did a nuclear uh, um, for my Vulcanite planet. I couldn't even get solar to really work that well. Even in this run, I couldn't do it. it this was a 20-minute day-night cycle, and it was just, uh, it wasn't very good for that, so... What can you do? Yay, Mike's on. Hey. Lots of wood into fuel for boilers, water for wood and steam. Yeah, but you can do, um... You can do electric boilers. And then you don't have to toss those in there, actually. That's what I actually ended up doing in the end. Uh, I originally had... Basically, I was making, like, biometh fuel. <laughs> so... And then I realized that I, I could just do electric boilers. It's like way less. It makes way more to it, too. It was like really good. Uh, so. Again, there's just like a, there's a lot of different ways of, uh, of accomplishing the same thing. Well, that's weird. At, what, these in the middle got uh, used up first. I've never seen that before. You're running your nuclear in KS2 run. You've noticed, I've really not really noticed it eating the 235 like you say. Maybe Corvex and early refining was uh, enough. Uh, probably, but like I said, it is a thing that they did. They they thought that the 235 was too... Um, wasn't used. Sorry, it wasn't used enough. Um, so what they did was they made the power, they made it more powerful so that you get more out of the atmospheric condensers and stuff. But the downside to it is you, um, you'd you have to consume more 235 as a, as a result. And a lot of my issue with it was I d wasn't aware of how much uranium I'd need. And I think I rolled like really bad uranium in that run too. Ironically, in this run, I have actually good uranium, so we're fine. I, I, was, I only had uranium on like one or two planets, or, or like maybe like three planets I actually wanted to be on. So that's why, that's really why I didn't want to use it. I didn't have uranium core fragments. I would have had to go to another solar system or something for it. And I wasn't really willing to do that, so. It's, yeah, it's 5x what it consumes, yeah. I remember the PTC, P PTSD of no uranium in the last run? Yeah, exactly. That was, um, that was a lot of it, actually. It's, I think that early game really screwed with me, too. And I was just like, nah, I think I have to do that. All right, let's go, let's leave. Unless, uh, is this done or no? Oh, I didn't quite look at that one, did I? Oh, uh, no, I did actually look at that one. It just, uh, I think it just uh, got used, didn't it? Yeah, no, I upgraded it, so. Yeah, we'll just leave that be. Okay, let's go back to uh, thing. This isn't the, no, it's not, okay. I was, I was gonna say, it's not the thing in the blueprint book, is it? And it's not. Why do I have a thing here? Uh, let me just have one last look at providers. Give me a sec. Providers. Uh, that one's fine. Plenty of glass. Plenty of iron now. A modest amount of barrel. Um, core doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, I think we're all good. We don't have to do anything else. Alright, let's, let's leave. Oh wait, why am I doing this? I just I just realized I, I like I have a <laughs> forgot about that. Oh damn it, I ran out of uh 
fuel when everyone took a stack with me. I'm like, I have a space elevator. What am I doing? Oh, dude, it's a, it's a force of habit. What can I tell you? Oh my god. Forgot about that. Let's ride it up. Come on, get me back on the ship. Alright, let's go to Jet Nova. Oh man, I was running out of U2, uh, running out of U235 was a thing for me, but I was slow with Corvex and I overscaled my early reactor. It, 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 like I said, it's subjective to how much you have. I had worse situation before for all of it. That was the thing. I had substantially less of it, so that was a lot of the issue, so. You're surprised by the fact you need um, to fire more endless rockets for science packs? Yep, that's why it get, it's really good to get to the, the science where you can launch it from space instead. That one's really good to do. Let's make sure we have them up here. Oh, well, it looks like we're not getting any more uranium. I wonder why that is. Yeah, we're completely out. I thought I had some down here. Yeah, what the hell? There's like a ton of it here. I guess I kind of told it to stop or something, or what, what did I do? Is it like in the rocket or something? Maybe it's just not coming now? No, I told it to stop for some reason. I don't know why I stopped it. I have 2k requests. Oh, it's not in the grid, that's why. Okay, well that's an easy fix. We could just put a... Oh, I think I did have one down here. Just do, do something like that, or it can basically uh, go into that one, that's it. Yeah, terrible uranium patch is only 15k patch. Also, Regatherian, don't forget, 10x science, which means I need to use 10x of the uranium for my other stuff, so. That was also a factor that I was unaware, it was a big unknown for me. So, I'm starting my... First of all, can I apply? I need to figure out how to power there before I go. No water and very little coal. Any tips? Do you have oil? Oil's a good uh, usage of it. You can basically just, um, you can throw down. Um, also, okay, two things. Oil's one, because oil can be converted into solid fuel, uh, which can be burned. Also, vulcanite itself can be burned, by the way. No, it's not bad with, it's not bad for a vulcanite planet. You can, you can make that work. You can burn Vulcanite. Vulcanite has a has a burning value. You can burn that for to power your planet. If you have some oil, you can make yeah coal water from the oil. Exactly. There's there, you got a couple options there actually. I wouldn't say it's a bad Vulcanite planet to be honest. I I didn't have those things either where I was. I don't want them to do that. All right, let's do... Okay, it may not know where that is, so let's just make sure we get a little bit more down here. So it's connected anyways. Wait, what is this thing? Oh, it's just a random construction pylon. I get I guess I should just left that there, shouldn't I? Uh yeah, it's fine. 
We just leave that the way it is. Yeah, part of me doesn't like these to be connected, by the way. Because I see it on the map and it annoys me. I don't know why. <laughs> just... There we go. That's much better-ish. Except it's still connected, like, over here. But uh, you know what? That Honestly, I probably shouldn't care that much about it. You still a newbie to play in this? Oh, yeah, I know. I always know that Vulcanite has an energy value, but in early SE, when you spend so much effort getting to Vulcanite, I can never convince my brain, even though it's so plentiful on the planet. Yeah, no, I know. That's the that's the that's the trap that you can get into, which is thinking that Vulcan is actually more valuable than it actually is, because it's actually very plentiful um, of a resource. So. There's a lot more of it than you think, you know. I, I I'm definitely like I'm definitely well into my my run right now, and I still have like tons of Vulcanite patches to go into. That's I'm never gonna run out this run on this planet. It will do it all. So, all right, we're done with that. Um, let me think here. I think we're gonna go back to doing things here, and that's it. All oh, right, and I was trying to do this guy. Did it actually finish? It did. Yeah, there's two already coming for it too, so. Just gonna see if it works out just fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Maybe I should have like three trains that are willing to do that. I don't know. Just thinking about it. Where's my, uh, put the iron, like, up here, or where do I have it? I don't remember what I did with it. Is it, oh, right, right here, yeah. So, how many trains did this one allow? Three. Probably three is a good number for it, because I think I'll actually do it pretty fast. Now, you know, I'll keep that, too. We'll just do, do that. All right, hopefully this fixes all the problems. What's this one standing here for? Oh, because it already has, uh, already has some. Okay, cool. In your point five, you took cryo first, and it felt like overkill as well. Well, I did cryo here too, and I, I liked, I preferred it to be honest, because bots, bots are too good to to get all the stuff around. What is all this? Uh, it, it's just not it's just sitting here. That's fine. All right, back to over here. All right, so let's see. We're gonna need a train to get me bearings. So bearings requester, and this is the last one is going to be material testing packs. Make sure it can leave. Yes, it kind of can. All right, so. Get these orders. So this will be, it will go to, when it goes down, it goes to the bearings. You go to the pickup until you're full. Then you go to that depot and you empty out your cargo. And that's it. Okay, and what else? Oh yeah, just change it to bearings. All right, it's gone. Ugh. 
eight to reconsider your cryo planet hate. Honestly, I I find that the Crymite planet was easier to deal with than it than my other one because that one was like uh, then the Vulcanite, but that's just me. I think I don't think I'm I don't think that's a popular opinion. Yeah, these are still kind of broken. Let's see, yeah, they're all standing here waiting still. But there's a lot more trains here than there was uh, prior, by the way. So that's the good news. It's it's improving. I'll say that much. I see rough data substrates. Yeah, there you go. It's going up and down. This is the highest I've ever seen it, actually. You know, actually ever almost. Pretty good. Water ice kind of helps, but you already you have some in novice orbit. You don't really. You technically don't need it. So. So we have data cards ready. Did it not bring anything over? What's the deal with this? Oh, less than. Alright, so that's the first one. Alright, what's, what's next on the agenda here, my friends? That would be, I guess, a uh, mechanical facility? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Well, we already have that, but we need a uh, ballistic shielding data. The reason why I never got... For some reason I never got any more mechanical facilities. Because we don't have any more. There's your bearings. Straight from Jet Nova. And that's it. Was Iron holding up research? No. Uh, it's just probably something else. We have a lot of catalogs. We have also this. I honestly probably filled these too much, by the way. That shouldn't be... Uh, that's a lot of catalogs that are just going to waste right now. It's probably... Uh, I'm going to assume broad catalogs. No, that's not actually the issue. Let me let me have a look here. Um, let's see where the trains are at for that. So just chilling out here because... What's it waiting on? It's waiting on uh, this science here. It, it's probably something like barrel airframe poles, to be honest. That's probably what it is. Yeah, they're down on the surface, so if I had to guess, they're just waiting over here for some barrel. That 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 is in short supply-ish, but that's okay, because we don't need a lot of it anyways. Yeah, there they are right here. So they're just waiting for uh, more poles. I can, um, I can probably tell what it is. I'm going to probably just... Uh, well, we need to get more mechanical facilities anyways. One second. Let me do this product the issue with this one no concrete wow well that would be a problem wouldn't it where's concrete i guess we stopped bringing concrete in for some reason i'm not i'm not bring, i'm just gonna bring in like a good 2000 from uh from a, a thing that's it I was bringing water to orbit, and I was like, wait a minute, I'll use that water ice patch thingy. Yeah, bear I'm gonna say the biggest sin in this game is, uh, like, using using barrels for water, of all things. That one's like, that one you really don't want to be doing. Um, where's barrel at? Here it is, see? They're all basically screwed up right now because of this. And if I go look at my rockets, yeah. Oh my god, they're so slow. Yeah. I have to improve this too, but I, I, I want to get it from Cal Astrid Belt. I don't want to do, do it here. I, I still don't think I need a whole lot of it because it's just if I, I just need a couple of those science threes and that's it. Like I said, a lot of that problem has been uh, I shouldn't have taken so many catalogs out from where I took them from. There you go. Just equalizing them for now. I, I really should have had this gone from one uh, place, but you know, whatever. What are you going to do, right? I'm 
gonna I'm gonna equalize the these things too. I'm just waiting for this thing to fill up so I can Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. I'll see these bots are like on my ass right now. Alright, let's go back. Not the best stop for that, I won't lie. Hopefully it's not making too much of something, though. Now we're good. Wait, wait, why do I have 56 brilliant plates at my disposal? Where are those at? Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. This thing. Yeah. Oh my god, we do have a lot of bar barrel plates. Well, maybe we should um, probably reuse some of those. That's a lot of barrel plates that are just sitting there. Why did that happen? Did I, I must have deleted something that has barrel plates in it. I don't even know. But that would save a lot of my barrel plate usage right now, let me tell you that. If I actually utilized whatever that was. So... Did I, uh, no, I guess I didn't quite do that thing yet. Where's it at? There's some concrete. Alright. Send that guy out. Where's it at? Uh, barrel. There it is. Just waiting for these things to do. There we go. Play steel chest with requesters and you won't have to mess with anything? Nah, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> it's okay. I it's cause they're gonna constantly fill up these chests, but then again. Yeah, whatever, fine. I'll do that too then. I just want to have them in here as well, but yeah. Cause these are not fast anyway, so. Now the sudden barrel is available and ready to go, so. Let me get the barrel here first. <laughs> but I, I want to I have it stop using up the ingots because I don't have enough of them. Check this out. Picker dollies. We... Oh, no. Other way. There you go. <laughs> I could go to the other one. Though. Alright, did this actually do its thing or what? No, it's completely a roof ball. One second. Uh, one sec. We need to go back to this one here and... I'll be fine, I don't care. So did it actually, yeah, look at that, all that solar. So how much solar is this right now? This is um, 3.6, and what am I trying to replace here? How much is this right now? Um, 9.1, okay, we got a little bit of a ways to go for that, so you basically move that over there, so. I'm just gonna come over there and probably start shuffling some things around.
Do I have a uh, solar with me? I don't. But I'll, I'm just gonna delete some of this just so I can replace it. Oh. One second. Don't do that. This is a little sub project I'm doing because uh, I have to start considering uh, the issues that I have with uh, basically powering all the all the crap I have around here. <laughs> so that's really what it comes down to. It's mostly ener the next energy science has to be powered, and I have to extend this anyways. Uh, actually, I don't need to do anything here. likely do is I'll just take this, copy it with the tiles as well. Aren't you getting close to power beam by now? Nope, that's still a fair bit, fair bit of ways away, my friend, unfortunately. Eh. Kind of, but I wouldn't want to beam it to space anyways for that. Oh, that's more of like a land option that I have. Uh, th this is still the best thing this solar up is because it's in orbit, you know. I wouldn't want to beam this anywhere. Alright. Leave that alone now. Big Death Star aiming at an oversized solar panel instead of both. And the other thing is, you're you're it's, you're proposing a project that in, it, it essentially involves me going to Caladius or orbit, which uh, I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> it's uh, there's a lot of little mini projects that we have to do, and yeah. Okay, cool, that finished. There's also something else I want to do. Just do... I'll get to it eventually. All the bots are a little busy. Fuck. <laughs> They're using these robot ports. <laughs> well, at least most of these are kind of going good now. It's the good news. The main thing I'm trying to do is, like, this whole um, solar array, I want it to be further away from the space elevator, because that means trains that I want to do things near the space elevator can have a better time. So that's why we're moving the, the solar platform over there. Anyways, I'll just leave that be for now. We'll let that uh, killer UPS on its own time. Uh, let's see. So, we got lovely ballistic shielding data. Um, this is the only place that requires um, pistol ammo. I'll just, I'll, I'll just make the pistol ammo here. I just don't care. It's like 2.2 assembling machines. It's not even that much of this stuff. Sounds like you start aiming for future demands in your builds, not the current deficits. Oh, for Oh, I think you're talking to me. I'm like, what? <laughs> but no. Talking about, uh, Schnippa. Like, I've never been more insulted in my life. Oh, fuck. It's one of these ones that gives me back one or, one or the other, and I hate it so much. What did I do for it down here? I, I did something down here. I want to see what the build was that I did. I hate it. I'm a miserable, miserable man now. I had like a filter inserted. Why did you... Wait, hold up a second. Why are you even going here to begin with? Because you have this crap. Alright, so let's, let's make you stop going around in circles now. Because that's uh, not very cash money of you. Just 
wasting your time. And then the last one's the B science. Yeah, Mike, start working, worrying about the future, man. Oh no, I won't do that. Forget the future. That's that's in the future. Okay, what what did I do for this? I, I want to. I just want to copy what I did because I I think I don't really want to care about it too much. Um, yeah, I did something like this. Oh, I, I did a, um, I did a circuit condition on that. Probably the best way to go is actually doing that. That's kind of weird. What, where did I, <laughs> I, I put the thing back in the impact shielding data the other way. Oh, well, I guess I'll just do that again. And it's another one that requires lubricant, so it has to be similar to this anyway, so. Um, alright, and what's all- oh my god, look, look at the sheer amount of absolute trash it requires here. Just absolutely- and even firearm magazines of all things? Oh my god, dude. Just trying to see if there's anything else I want to do for it, but yeah. That one's a really annoying one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I did- I did make a system for it, so yeah. I'm just seeing what uh, anything else I wanted with it. So I never restricted the input. Is that causing a problem or no? No, actually it's pretty much even. So I don't really have to care about that. That's fine. Yeah, it hasn't gone completely out of sync, which is nice. Oh my god, look at the sheer amount of this. The heavy girders in here. Okay, maybe it is kind of out of sync. What happened with this? How much girders do you get back? 50%. Yeah, no, this is... I guess it's fine. I don't even know. They'll only tell you a bounce book. Uh, they're terrible at planning the endgame, especially for complicated mod packs. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. There's a lot of things you could do uh, to make it a lot easier. 1.5k strap. I remember why I did this like that. Because of this. Because this is a piece of crap. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Because it's it's the train stuff. That's why I made like a very specific layout for it. So. So you have like one, two, three, four from one, and five from another. So it's it. I actually do think it has to be like coming from over here, in a very similar way. Oh man. My, my bots weren't doing that. And so what do we get as byproducts? We get that and scrap as well. So we already have a thing for... We don't right now, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, also, an important thing is we do need a... Uh, space for a One second. I need space for a beacon. I didn't. I didn't add a space for a beacon here. most important part of any build is the beacon in the middle here somewhere so can you show your data card hub sure um so it's a little bit of two things but uh i do a very heavy train based one so this one isn't moving right now it's mostly because this one's moving a little bit more uh, but every time i look at it i see there's an issue with it so um kind of like this it brings in 
cosmic water um, basically processes uh, rough data substrates here. So you have a rough data substrate uh, re requester, or yeah, and it, it provides uh, polished data substrates essentially. There's some kind of bottleneck with it right now. You now make me look at it kind of a thing, but yeah. <laughs> but essentially, the trains are very simple. Uh, there's like this is why I have so many trains for it. These are things that actually make the data cards. So they basically go down in a space elevator. They pick up copper. Uh, it doesn't need to do that, actually. It can bring that up from up here, I think. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, get some uh, of the um, the chips and then goes back up get, and gets uh, basically the rough data, or sorry, polished data substrates and then basically goes to a buffer location with the, the data cards and then that's it right here. So. Fortunately, there's some kind of bottleneck with it right now, and I'm going to look at that right now because uh, they're all standing over here for some reason. What are they all waiting on? So it works for the most part, um, except when it doesn't work. Oh, it's because we don't have enough iron, that's why. <laughs> it's a very easy problem that I cannot solve, actually, unfortunately, at the moment. watch this one we just have a lot of iron requirements so I can't really uh, do that but yeah that's that's kind of how it works it all the all the byproducts are kind of like scattered out a little bit there probably could be applying slightly better but that's you know it is what it is what can you do I feel like eh, no, I don't need that here Someone's played this mod pack with core duo CPU, so it's definitely playable on a game on, even on a bad PC. I mean, I'm doing pretty well right now. I got 60 UPS. And I, I don't want to just say it's just because my factory isn't doing anything, because uh, it should be doing stuff right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, like, uh, these things are now going again, which is nice. Oh, there. See? Science is about to get moving again. It's kind of nice. Yeah, no, biters are a significant part of UPS drops. Like you would not believe. They're pretty much like 90% of it, actually. Uh, actually, in this case, this can be a... Uh real simple one actually. Do I even need to have a beacon on this? Yeah, kind of. Oops, don't do that. Definitely don't need so many of the uh Cause it's like if I put in a space manufacturer it's literally gonna like use it instantly, which is hilarious. Like, uh, I, I, uh, well, you know what? We, we have we have lots of space, so might as well, right? I like space as any object right now. Do something with manufacturers here. Oh, we're down a tile. Actually, should go down a tile like that. There you go. Just make sure it's disconnected for now. i probably gonna disconnect that too, actually, for the time being, just because I don't want to. I want to mess around with this and before I start really getting into it. Oh, 
probably have the beacon over here. The, like, ammo provider? It's the weirdest thing. It's like, what? Well, they call it Firearm Magazine. Uh, well, at least they call it a magazine. So let's see here. We want to have... The fire um, fire magazines. I don't know how much is it gonna need. Oh, we'll just go for like eight thousand or something. Who cares? I'll figure out what it is later. And this one's gonna have the same condition. If it's less than less than eight thousand, I'll call another train over. Actually, it should be like less than. Let's do like less than sixteen thousand or something. I think 8k is like a full train. It's not going to be a full train anyways. Maybe we'll do like 10k. There we go. Cannot reach. Sorry, my life. Iron requester. AK, it's one wagon size, John sex size. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but, um, sorry, I guess I should. Well. I, I should reiterate on that, because there's actually a lot of random weird things that it needs, and I'm not going to make a stop for you every single one of them. I don't have LTM, so the train that brings all this over is probably going to be doing heavy girders, iridium plates, and fire magazines, so I have to do a mixed train for that. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't really know what it's going to be in the end. Um, who knows? So, I'm just working on it right now, because that's where I'm going to have it go uh, at the moment. Alright, so for this one... Because I can actually see by, if I go here and I say, if you go hourly wagons, you get a good idea of how many it will need of everything, so... Um, so this is the firearm one. So, so generally speaking, the material testing packs I don't bring around. And usually, blank data cards is also a good one to just, like, have on its own train, because that's, like, an independent one. But yeah, the, these three things are not. So... Uh... Ideally, you do module production in space since you use space manufacturers. I would say the first three tiers, also, uh, you can use space manufacturers on the ground. Uh, that's also a thing. So, you may want to do it on the ground just for that reason. Alright, let me see this other one here. Um, so, I think the top one will be, I think the bottom one will be the, uh, what is this? card type called? It's like a ballistic shielding data. Whatever. Just copy. Wow. Oh, where's the... There it is. So, ballistic shielding data. I don't know which one's going to be here. It's going to be one of these. I don't know which one. Whatever, I'm just going to do all of them now, because I, I just don't care. Um... <laughs> Because I have to remember to change it anyways. So, this is going to be Ballistic Shielding Data Buffer Stop. And, um, I'm not sure what the condition is going to be. Probably Pistol Ammo is what it's going to look for. I mean, I could look for any one of them to be kind of out because of the whole... ...randomness with it. Um... Yeah, I, I had a... Yeah, whatever, I'll just, I'll just figure it out. So, let's see. So it's gonna need, um... God, the, the amount of things this needs is ridiculous. I'm surprised I don't have a slot here for, uh, these things. So, plates. Girders. Pistol ammo. 
Fire Magazine, sorry. <laughs> because it'd be, it's interchangeable, I guess. That's why it's called that. The last one is... Nope, that's it for that one. And so this can be data cards over here, and then over here will probably be the... Uh, what are these going to be called? Uh, material testing paths. So for this guy, it will do something else, which is the fact that if it receives, because um, it has to somehow rewrite plates, basically put this back into the system. So I probably could be more towards the middle, to be honest. Right. And then I have to basically get rid of the scrap and then ballistic shielding data, and then that should be good. should be the exact thing I kind of said it would be. But you tested it, right? Tell me you tested it. Hey, thanks, Quantum Shuffle. Thanks a lot, man. But yeah, I'm probably going to do a system where um, the first part of the uh, modules, when I get to modules, I'll, I'll make them on the ground because like, that's where all the materials are for them anyway, so we'll see. We will see how that goes, because I don't really know. Actually, we'll just put that back. That one actually doesn't need to be connected then. It's kind of random, because you won't really be able to tell, but... Maybe I should just... No, nah, I'm not going to connect them all. There's no reason to. Okay, let me just delete all this. Alright, so the top one is scrap, so we take scrap... Luckily, it's just scrap. Uh, and we can basically toss it in there. That one doesn't do anything. And then the last one is the ballistic shielding data. So as long as that's fine, and then that's fine, then everything else is okay. Okay, that's it for that. Ironically, I could have inverted it so that the uh, it would have actually used the other one for the, instead of doing this. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> should, I should have actually inverted it so because this is a this is a shared thing here, anyways. I didn't need to have it over here. Yeah, let's do that because I, I I would feel better about it. Oh, it needs to be a little bit more closer. Uh, delete these. Whoa, Cyclomatic, thank you. Hey, thanks, man. I was dream, dude. Heyo! I am doing some lovely, uh, great <laughs> detected. I'm doing some lovely, uh, material science pack, uh, three today, so, uh, we're getting pretty far into it now. There, it's one of the more difficult ones, well, not one of the, sorry, it's actually one of the easier ones, what should I say, what am I, ta what am I talking about? But yeah, that's that's kind of where I, what I'm doing today at the moment. So uh, hopefully you're all having a good day. Uh, and hopefully Cyclomatic had a really good stream. Hopefully got a nice PB or something out of uh, of what of of uh, your uh, speedrunning adventures. Can only wish you the best on that. Dream was good. Speed good speedrun progress. Although rip runs on the <laughs> integration was, was just, yeah. Now that would. <laughs> I keep saying to myself I should try I should try the, the speedrunning thing 
at, at some point, but yeah. M much respect in that regard. I, ma I imagine it's, uh, especially for a game as technical as Factorio. Because I, I remember I was watching the other day and it was like, um, you had like uh, something, something was wrong with some, some bottleneck with some bots or something. And then it was like, uh, yeah, it's like, what can you do, right? <laughs> you, you, no, no, no. It, it, it seems like a, it, it looks like a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to watch at the very least. Uh, uh, is what I was kind of thinking on that regard. So yeah, no. Thanks again, man. Integration is a good way to make a lot of money. <laughs> For in integration in what? In terms of what way? Science up the front here. I'm kind of enjoying just like the calm, complicated builds that I ha I'm having to do in this right now. So, which is, I guess, totally a, like totally not calm at all actually when you think about it. But you know, it's relaxing for me. I guess is what I can say. I, I like uh, having to solve an endless supply of uh, of self-imposed problems. You know, uh, this is wrong. This is the whole... That's half the fun of it. People paying bits to nuke your base is fun times. Oh, that stuff. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm I, I, sorry. I, I didn't catch on the first time, and now now I know what you're talking about, because I've seen um, Ilham has something and some other stuff. Well, no, they, they do, like, channel points for that kind of stuff, so... You hear anything about your application yet? Nope. It's been a very long time, and they, they're not telling me anything at all. I'm very upset. So... No, I'm not that upset, but apparently there, I was looking online, there's like a couple of other people that have been waiting, so... It may be, it may be because I'm just a little bit around the threshold, and they just don't want me reapplying or something constantly, so... I think they just ignore you or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, why they're doing that, so... I'm sad. Just gotta keep doing what I'm doing, and that's it. And hope for the best, I guess. You know, what can you do, right? Anything is under 1k? Uh, and this also doesn't take material testing packs. Oh, Paraflux is screwed up. I'll have a look at that in a minute here. Good thing I had a little notification for that, but yeah. But you know, I don't, I don't know why, why they're, uh, they're, they're ghosting me, man. I, I don't know why. It's uh, not not good sign for anybody who wants to try and get into like a partner program. I don't know. We'll set. We'll have to see. So you have to apply three or four times every time with a couple of weeks before you get declined. Yeah. So for me, it hasn't been a couple of weeks. It's been almost. Um, it's almost been almost two months now uh, since I uh, applied. So. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> not not the happiest, funnest time that I could possibly ask for. Also, uneven. And there's a sand train that wants to come in, so... There's... Uh, if I do this, then it'll be uneven. I can't have that, so... Actually, sorry, dude. Ah, what can you do, right? Uh, that's it for me. I'm just I'm just here having a fun time. I don't really it, it's not a big deal for me But I'm like might as well try and shoot for it, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, see you later Cycle Max. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for your raid, man Play everything uh, I, I played for a partnership, so um, And yeah, it's been uh, they just haven't got back to me, so Which is uh, rather unfortunate, but what can you do, right? I probably shouldn't have this thing Thing here Okay, now, now I'll go back to normal. It's all good. We talked about I I don't know. I, I guess maybe the backlog is big. I, I don't I don't really know what what's going on with that. So we'll just uh, we'll just leave it at that. So I don't think there's any particular reason why at the moment. You can't really because it's not a yet. It's not like they're saying yes or no. They're just like not saying anything. So that's really what the issue is. 
kind of would have liked a uh, answer at some point, but yeah, we'll see. I I'm guessing at this point the answer is no, because a lot of other people get it like a lot faster, so I'm just guessing that it's no. Very sad moments for us all. Alright. Micah ghosted by his artist. No, that was an email issue. That's what it was. It was uh, it was not actually like a ghosting of that at all. To be honest. Maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just that unlikable, I don't know. Maybe that's yeah, that's why. It's a me problem. Alright, so this has all that. Are these yeah, these are named appropriately. What kind of data is this one? It's good old ballistic shielding data. All right. It's a train limit. It's a train limit. Okay, so these are good now too. I hey, saw your channel description and found out you were not a smoking hot girl gamer. <laughs> we're disappointed and they canceled your partnership application. Well, they didn't say anything. They, they just uh, they just haven't said anything at all, to be honest. So. What's the insert throughput on that? Oh, eight. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. It's actually not fast enough for... <laughs> Given this beacon, it doesn't actually insert it fast enough for for these. That's hilarious. Because, yeah, I only have eight in this. I don't know, whatever, fine. Let's put some efficiencies into this. Anyways, there you go. That's a little bit better. That's that's kind of funny. Uh, using Git, uh, Git for a mod list, but I still... Yeah, it makes it super easy to update, too. I, uh, that's what I did. That was my first thing. I didn't want to host, like, a web page for it, but yeah, that was, like, the next best thing, I, fi I figured, so... How much do we have right now for this? 4K. Okay. You get you get to also put, like, crappy meme pictures, too. I mean, what can, what, what can possibly go wrong, you know? Alright. So... That's good too. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down here. Wagons per hour. So this is one that actually uses girders. So we'll go down for that. So that's the easiest one to kind of go down and go grab. Actually, let's look at the, let's figure out the ratio first of this. So it's like one to four to, well, to 11. Well, we'll just do like 12. So we'll do, um, was it like ammo? Then we get Redite. It's like that. And then girders. Yeah, debating what to have the last one be here. I think his ammo was a bit on the short side, so we'll just do that then. You ever put a redeem in from last time? For what redeem? Then it's a fancy, actual fancy website even. Well, it's. Part of my day job is to make fancy websites. One more back-end stuff. I'm not really a front-end guy, actually. Oh, you kind of missed text on Novice, did I? Did I miss someone's text? Did I miss your text on Novice? I'm just trying to scroll back. Perfectly, a perfectly good waste of rock. Did I actually do that one or no? That would be... Oh, I guess I didn't do that one, did I? No, I guess you're right. I did skip. I did. I did skip that one. Never mind. All right, I'll do that one right now. From two days ago. 
I'll put in I'll put in big text. You know what? You, you paid for copper, but you're gonna get gold. That's what you're gonna get, cause I because it was a double uh, double mistake in that regard. There you are. Oh, the copy and paste you got so much better in this new OBS actually. Oop. Oh, and I screwed this up. There you are. <laughs> there you are. I know HTML does that count. Yeah, HTML is the best programming language, let's be honest. It's the only one that will do exactly what you want it to do. Right, let me go back to the wagon thing I was doing here. Let's see. Um, it's over here somewhere. Where's the train for that? There it is. Alright, so we're gonna. S this is the one, right? Yeah. How many things does it have to this? Yeah, so we have like 400 girders that we're gonna wait for. Has kept civilization at bay. As a result, this is one of the last great There we go. And so let's start with girders. Gonna go to provider. So this one we go down for just because it is the. Um, uh, it is a. We want we want some girders. Uh, we want we want to have it from productivity modules. So. All right. And then it goes up. And then what does it do? It needs something else. Oh, it needs the plates. The plates I can get from up here though. Oh, the redite plates. Provider. I don't know what the item count is gonna have to be. What is it like? It's eight times forty times four? Two eighty. Twelve eighty, yeah. It's was not a programming language, and even some sort of self market markup language. It was a it was a it was a meme, man. Don't worry about it. I was just kidding. I was I was just joking around. Uh, depot. All right, back to there. So we get the science tier three. Then we go to ammo or uh, firearm magazine before item count of firearm equal. I don't know what it's going to be, so I'm just going to let it fill up uh, however much it wants. And then it can go back to here. Aerial science three buffer till item count to any one of these conditions. Oops. Rudite plates. Where is it at? And then girders. And then we're good. All right. So that should be it. And then it has a refueling at the top. There you go. All right. We'll just send it off for now. <laughs> Look how it's doing that. All right. So this should be enough for it now. So that should be pretty good. It's going to do this for it. All right. We'll wait for that to come up. And then before I just start messing with it again, because I don't really care anymore. So this should actually stop asking for iron. I, I kind of like this system because you don't have to put it into a chest, you just put it right into the thing anyways, and that's pretty good. Uh, what mod gives you the ability to to write uh, letters? That would be text plates. That's the text plates mod. I, I just use it mostly just to screw around and, and write random things that people tell me to. Uh, when they redeem points, that's that's. But you can use it for other things, like you can use it for like labeling 
things like uh, where like ships go or cargo rockets go or something like that. Of course, I have not actually used it for this, so you know that's uh, go figure, right? That's my own uh, my own flaws. I can't tell you. Uh, so we got some uranium here. Good old radiation facility. I'll just put that right over here. That's a, but that one's actually a really nice mod, I will admit. Guess you can't really have that though. I think that's the it, what you're intended to use it for, you know, is to write, uh, like, actually write things on the ground for it, but yeah. You'll notice I, I do bastardize a lot of <laughs> things that you're supposed to do with mods, so. That's how I go. Alright, so, good old radiation shielding data. So this one requires... Oh, I forgot something almost here. This is a kind of important thing. We have to do hook up. Is it? Yeah, these two. The reason we have to hook these up is because they cannot, as long as iridium plate, uh, iridium, uh, the girders are is equal to zero, and then this one's gonna also have a condition of the iridite right there. Oh good, it's not actually hooked up. I probably should make that into, just so I don't get confused, just make it a green one. Just so I don't think it's like hooked up or something like that. So if I do this, will it actually... There you go. Okay, these are not the same though. Basically only put more in when there isn't some available that's just waiting around. Did I just undo? Oh, I did that. I, I heard it play something, I swear, and then I was like, I'll just undo that. Hey, lovely. This doesn't require any fluids. Thank God for that. Train out of fuel, is it? Odd Quan. Out of fuel. It's probably something that should have had a condition somewhere that... No, it has a refueling condition. Did it, like, not... Uh-oh. Do we have another problem? No, we don't. Okay, I, I don't know how this one would have run out of fuel. That doesn't make any sense. Because it's, it's in the orders to go refuel. Oh, you know what it probably had? It probably had a situation where it had something really bad in the uh, the fuel. So I'll just uh, I'll just go do that. It probably had something that only could do like one fuel or whatever. So like like a one piece of vulcanite. Oh, lovely. There's a train over here, but it's blocking everything too. Thank goodness for that. All right, let me just get this over here whenever these finish up. I'll just feed it a little bit of this stuff. Put it to manual. How much is coming right now? 100. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just uh, get some more coffee. Be right back. I'm back. See all my lovely deadlocks on this planet too, I think. Alright, did it appropriately fill it up? Yes, it did. Alright, go back on your happy adventure. Remember, they're mic locks, so... Alright. 
I, th I think it just had one piece of fuel in there that shouldn't have had to begin with, and that was it. Yeah, it's now able to move again, so we're all good. I'm gonna say this probably did wonders for the train system here. Just having the ability to... Uh... Oh, how did this happen? Oh, right, because I have a timeout for this, which is still fine. That's like the best thing to do, actually. Yeah, actually, we don't have any deadlocks here. That's actually perfectly fine. It was just that one thing that was kind of causing a problem. Okay, I say that, but then I noticed that, so... Whatever, it's fine. Don't worry. Let's, let's stop worrying about plants that we don't care about. Because that one's going to eventually not even be doing whatever it's doing right now, so... It, it, the fact is, it works now, and that's that's fine with me. Uh, let's see. All right, so we got another one of these situations. Um, so the fact I haven't seen this train yet is a little bit concerning. So let's go have a look at where that could possibly be. I, I would I was assuming it would show up here at one point. So is that it? No, wait, wait, is that it now? No, that's not it. Where's it at? <laughs> what was it called? It was like ballistic uh, material. No, it's probably up here now then, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. It, it just took a really long time for it to get here for some reason. I don't know why. I'm like, I would have figured by the time I had left and come back, it would have like been here already, so. But I guess the girders are a little bit slow. I don't know. I guess it's doing a lot of stuff down there with bearings, I don't even know. Long waiting times isn't equal to deadlock yet, no. Because it's, uh, to be honest, we're not going to be adding any more trains to that planet. We're just going to be removing some, if anything. That's, that's why I'm not concerned. Alright, so we need, well, we're going to need three things. Oh my god, dude. It requires all these fucking dumb things. I hate this now. Because it requires uh, data cards, material testing packs, iridium, and iridium plates. So, it's just a little bit of everything. So, I guess I'll just do what I normally do, which is uh, be miserable. Do data cards first to start. All right, the next one can be. Uh... Luckily, this one doesn't actually require uh, anything else. This could be material testing packs. All right, so this one I don't know yet, and we'll see how it goes. And that's it. What's a deadlock? We never had them on the stream. Exactly. We've never seen them today, so. And we all have a very short memory, in most most of all me, of all people, so. Those data cards, these ones. Actually, I should probably just do exactly what it, I did for that. Alright, then we have these little buggers here. I'm gonna have to make a, unfortunately, a separate train for that, unless I can fit like another one here. But that would be, um, I think we can. Is it ridiculous if I have four flipping stops here? I, I don't know. This seems kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like it would solve uh, a lot of problems with that. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> let's just do two, let's just do this twenty stops. I don't care. Let's just try it out. Now, you might be thinking this is overkill, but, uh, yeah, whatever. See, this is what happens when you don't use LTN. Uh, you just, you know, you just do weird things like this. Overnight provider? No, it's a requester. I may not have a train that just strictly does that right now, by the way. Oops, I don't want to do that anyways. All right, so this is now doing its thing. So 16K. There you go. That's it. It's done. Weird, you mean incredibly clever things? 
I mean, this is kind of weird, having four train stops. You have to admit, man, it is kind of weird. I don't know. It's like there's a mod to make that a little bit easier on you if you want to. But we'll, 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 we'll see how it goes. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so we need... It, it, honestly, it's been really fun to make a train base like this and deal with the byproducts like that. It's been really entertaining. Uh, I want there to be... I'll do like this one. So let's start with this over here. Material testing, that one, whatever this is going to be and whatever that's going to be, that's going to be 235, it's less than that much. Actually, that is also a byproduct, isn't it? Yeah, but it, iridium's worse than that, so. There's another train out of fuel on Odquan. I thought I fixed that. Uh, you ran out of fuel as you were going into the fuel stop. What a jerk. It, I must have done something really bad with those ones, actually. I think it had, like, Vulcanite on it or something dumb. Alright. Do you think we could actually do this? <laughs> I don't know if we can. Put it to manual for a second. I'm not going over there to fix that, so... If I have to, I'll delete the train and remake it. I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to go into this. It looks like it can, right? Yeah. Highlighted, right? Yeah, it totally can. Alright. Do refueling now. It's probably another Vulcanite train that's gonna do the same thing. No, that one's fine. What's this one got? Yeah, no. It just I, I copied them from somewhere and they both had the same problem because they ran out of fuel at exactly the same time. Whatever. Oh, right, there's that issue, too. Want to use different letters and connect them all to a different wire? What do you mean by that? Letters for what? Oh, you mean, like, um... For... For the conditions for the... Uh, well, because letters don't matter, because in that case, it's, um... I need, I, I, I need a decider in front of it anyways, that's why. Because I need decider to go, like, does it have less than something like that? I need that anyway, so you might as well have it like that. So it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really optimize anything there in this case. You need to have four stops. You need to have four deciders, so you might as well just connect it like that. Because I don't, I don't know what problem that's necessarily solving by uh, doing that. Regardless, I have to do what I'm doing right now. And if you're saying use the enable disable condition, I can't do that. Aesthetic single wire. Oh, well, that's not a reason to do anything. That that also makes things more complicated. It means I can't use L all the time. I like L, and also L has a, a couple of other things. I use that to turn off stops as well. Um, so, for example, in the network, you'll notice I have L minus 100. So what I'll do, you see, there's a data card and there's an L minus 100, right? And what that does is um, when when the um, when there's like a stop over here, it basically comes over here, right? So there's one and minus 100, right? So I say when the data card has a signal on the entire network for my entire base, it uses the input count of L, which would basically turns off the stop because it's doing a arithmetic like addition thing to it as well. I'm gonna switch the music a little bit here. I don't think I like this one. Uh, let's try this one. So this, is a, this is a for relaxing one. Which is why it's completely silent right now, obviously. Uh, I was doing something here. But that's the reason I don't do it, so. We need this one. And this one will need ion fuel. I'm barely, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm going to use this one, to be honest. Wow, storage tanks, really? Actually, no, I have that. So, we don't have solenoids yet, uh, so that's a problem. Also, I, I got rid of all my brilliant plates because I'm a genius. So, you know, go figure, right?
There, that'll be enough for to supply the rest of it. I actually really don't need these, I just realized. I, I did this thing, but I actually just got rid of it, like, just like that. Oh my god, they we're completely out brilliant again. Fuck. Oh, man. What? We had a rocket go out already or something? Or was it just a deadlock? I think it was just a deadlock that did that. Yeah, because they're all going. Well, they're not all going, but you know, whatever. How are you going to do it? But are nukes better than pile drivers for clearing uh, planters? But um, the answer is it's situational. Do you have a lot of uranium? In which case, go ahead and use the nukes. If not, then don't don't use the pile drivers instead. I, I'm going to say I, I, I should have done pile drivers and uh, sorry, uh, nukes in this game. Uh, but uh, I used pile drivers here and it was it was OK. I, I, I think the nukes would have been more effective. I, I would say go with the nukes. If you can, if you can afford the U 235, if you can't, obviously don't do it then. So, U 35 requester. Okay, and that one's good. And that one's good too. Okay, so and I think the last thing we do is do this. So we're gonna have uh, contaminated scrap is the first thing. Yeah, that's it. Also, uh, clearing by driving around an artillery train is also pretty quick. Uh, not not really, because you have to make uh, a lot of uh, rails and stuff. It's not that fast. And it's not that automated either. I would I would disagree on that, especially depending upon the size of the planet. So that's not as fast as pile drivers were. Uh, are are nukes better for pile driver? Um, yeah, the the AOE for nukes is bigger, by the way. Pile drivers has a very small AOE. That's that's really the reason, but you're not using two thirty five for that then. Uh. Let's see, I need to have, okay, we need a one for scrap, contaminated scrap that is. Two thirty-five, or what's the other one? It could have uh, iridium plates. Plates is equal to zero as well. Oops, no, nope, uh, wrong condition. And this is what ballistic shielding did, ra radiation shielding data. I could just put this up like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that works. Yep, there you go. They're a little bit wet, weird. All right, that's it for that. Uh, it's manual, so but only a couple hours. Yeah, but mine was automatic and uh, didn't require as much intervention. I probably only spent like maybe 30 minutes actually looking at it and maybe like uh, an hour of time actually just like building stuff for it. So it was a lot less time that I, 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 didn't, I don't really like uh, trying to trying to clear stuff like that. Granted, if you want to do it before like you get to that point, it, granted you could do it. But the, the other thing is that weapons delivery cannons also have other purposes particularly in the realm of the fact that you d you can reuse them for 
uh, for other planets too, which I used it to clear Brigid, which is my uh, Vidimolage planet. So you get to reuse the the cannons too. So it's it's you save a lot of st time just like just by that alone. So I would actually definitely suggest to do weapons delivery and not do artillery trains, because by the time you get to that point, weapons delivery is actually very close to it as well. So, and you get to use it for other things because you already built the infrastructure for it as well. So, have I got it in Vidimolage yet? Absolutely no. <laughs> Unfortunately not. So, I, that is one of my many regrets in this game. But no, I do not have it. And uh, I am extremely sad about that fact, I assure you. I, I should have gone for it a lot sooner than I did, uh, but I didn't do it. So I've been already talking about it a little bit, so. And three hours fixing iridium shortages. Yep, shortages that I need for speed modules and science anyways. So it's something I would have had to do either way. That I, I don't consider that as a part of the time. It's because uh, at the end of end of the day, what do I have? I have a lot of iridium. That's good. That's a good thing. But we're going to need it for speed modules and stuff anyways. Um, okay, and we don't have an Iridium stop yet, so let's go get that going. Alright. Do I have Iridium plates here? Yes, I do. And is this good? Not really. I don't have a stop called that right now, so I probably should, but I don't. All right, go ham. All right, that's gonna bring everything I want over here. What is this one? Oh, that's contaminated scrap. All right, that should be it. Um, what do you use that? Uh, what do you use that uranium for? If you expect to use ten mil, I mean, I think you'd use it on sciences for the most part. Because if you look at my, um, I don't know. Let's let's see what the math is on it. Actually, I'm kind of curious about that now. Um, so if you go kind of up the tree here, it's like seventy-seven per minute. Yeah. For uranium two thirty-five, this is seventy-nine. One fifty-four. And yeah, about, I would say like when you have science going at full blast, maybe it's like, I guess it's like 300 uranium 235 per minute. So I guess it's not that bad. How much was I making before? Yeah, we barely use any of it. Yeah, PK basically can create about 80. So eventually that will have to change, I guess. Oh, I just realized that this is very wrong. Luckily, nothing is feeding into this thing. There we go. Cool. We got radiation shielding data. All right. Next thing's next. We need another last stop here. Ugh. Uh, the starting the uh, uranium on your starting planet depends a lot upon how lucky you rolled a, a lot of that stuff. I've I've been unlucky on that front before, and if you want to spend time basically clearing out biters for hours, so which I don't want to do, <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Oh goody, explosives and stuff that would be good old times. And girders too. This can I can probably bring this most of this from uh, low orbit or sorry um not low orbit the um, the thing. Actually, it's just mostly explosives. <laughs> nah, look at it. That's that's almost all explosives. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, that's gonna be entertaining, I'm sure. It requires a lot of random ass materials, though. But you know what? I can actually just bring all that over, and that will be fine, I think. Maybe. 
I'm just trying to think here. Uh, what do you, what do we need for explosives? Right, I already had a thing for that. Damn it! No, no, don't do that one. It's um, yeah, I was basically looking at that because that's like coal, sulfur. Sulfur is fuels and stuff. So I don't really feel like making it up here, the explosives. But I mean, realistically, it's just coal and sulfur and stuff. It's really easy for a new. Actually, it's it got water in there too. Do I need explosives for something else? Let me see. I mean, we have a we have a space elevator. Used anything else to see here? Green tin, cluster grenades, pile drivers, right? Artillery shells, rockets. Honestly, it's not even needed in that much here. I probably should just do it. Just bring coal, petrol. It's uh, honestly, it's kind of what I was thinking of doing, and not even bothering with the space elevator because it's like, what are you really productivity when it comes to this? <laughs> so, um. Then again, I, I think I might need it for a couple other things. So maybe I should, maybe it would be better. Because the, the thing it does need is heavy girders, and that I do want to productivity. And that I would bring that from the surface. So that's kind of why we're in a bit of a bind here. Oh well. So technically, I don't need four of them, by the way. Uh, but I can't really think of a better way of doing this anyway. So. Crafting explosives is faster, so it's worth it. Yeah. Just seeing. Uh, honestly, it do, it's only 32 coal. Well, that's wagons per hour. Um, if you go per minute, it's like 1k coal for that. And coal is really... I mean, right now it's kind of a problem, but it won't be long term. Let me just look one more time at the, what it's used in. Landmine, and that's it. All right. I might, I might make it just a system to just bring it over here because I like I'm looking at all this. I'm like, I will eventually have to do like if I want to automate uh, weapons delivery on a uh, Jet Nova, um, I need to have it being made down there, obviously. Um, it's just like, just like I will need some explosives, but not enough for me to really care too much about this. So, we have spaceship floor, so you can put good camp plants on the planet. Um, yeah, but then you can't productivity those, which is kind of valuable for me. I just like on one hand, I'm like I I really want to bring that from. The ground. Honestly, we're gonna be using it on the ground anyways. Let's just let's just let's just bring it on the ground. Change my mind. Honestly, space elevators are not that expensive. <laughs> they're really not. I don't know why I think that they are, but they're not. They're they're just like we have this entire system. We have to rethink how we're basically doing this. And like, the ammo makes sense to to use over here. Um, the explosives does not, because I have to make a system for it anyways down there. I don't need a lot of it, but yeah. It's not use worth it. It's not worth using productivities on uh, on explosives. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but in this case, I don't need enough of it to really matter. We're, like we're talking about such a minor optimization issue. The main reason I want to make it down here, anyways, is because of the fact I need explosives for other things down here, but I don't need it in space. So I might as well just make it in one place, and that's it. You know, that's 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 really my logic in terms of this. Uh, we can probably make it over here, because this has petroleum anyways. So, explosive... Does explosives need anything else? Just needs a bit of sulfur. Uh, vitalic epoxy, sulfuric acid. Oh, I'm gonna need it in, in prod module 2s, actually, so we're gonna have to make a stop for that, too. I guess this is going to be a place I can make it, right there. Oh, right. I can't quite do that. I just remembered that. Because it, 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 the way the plastic is kind of in the way here. Uh, unless I want to do like a 4-1, which I don't think I can. 
you know, because it's down in space because of the way I designed this. Guess we're gonna make it down here, I guess. Oh, I just realized that there's a ton of thing here. seem right because it's not yeah that's what I thought That should be better, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, we should prod space for those facilities for the ground. Yeah, that would doubt. There's a, there's technical reasons why they don't do that kind of stuff. Also, I added a lot of uh, things here. There we go. Why did that get deleted? Oh, because I did that. Because I'm, I'm a mistake guy. Let's make this the uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, sorry, sulfuric. Uh, yeah, this is kind of deep though. Because I'm going to need it for some stuff anyway, so might as well have it down here. I, I feel like a lot of that wisdom in terms of like just speed module it sometimes, it works in some cases. In some cases, it doesn't. Because in this, in this particular case, we don't need enough of it for me to really care. Is the primary thing. And also, just like, it's, it's just not really a, ne a necessity. When it comes to this stuff, so so this needs sulfur. All right, I'm got to do something separate with this. Unfortunately, why do I have these here? I wonder. Might just do like a bit of a redesign for this. Let me do that. And explosives just requires coal in that too. So, do I have? Do I even have coal down here? I think I don't yet. We should probably start bringing it up, bring it down. Sorry. Also, we don't have any crinite really. It's a separate issue though. I think our. Well, let's see how crinite is doing. Uh, and it's doing so. One second. Where's it at? was over here somewhere. Nope, it wasn't. It was... Where's... Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Oh, there it is. So we're going to say you can bring one more over here. There you go. I just don't like bringing it in there. Personally, I like consume tons of explosives, but since you have pile drivers, I guess you use less. Um, uh, not, not entirely true, actually. Um, because they consume pretty much the same amount, I would say. So if you go like, uh, you look at this one, it's five explosives per pile driver. And if you do, um, I mean, you're doing artillery, you said, so that's different anyways for me. So I use five per thing. Um, and the other one is atomic bomb, which I think doesn't use any explosives, I guess. Does it do the capsules consume explosives? It also depends upon, yeah, 50 explosives per capsule. But then again, you can make it down here, bring it up again, you know. And then the atomic bomb, I don't think would use any, right? No, 50 explosives there too, yeah. 
So technically it, it might, but this is a, also something I probably want to make on the surface anyways and then bring up. All right, so I have to bring water here, I think. Do I bring it here or do I just like, do I even have like a water station? I don't, I have water ice. Uh, do I just like, um, maybe I should make it over here where it's like in the, um, closer to water. I mean, how much does this need for water right now? 97. Yeah, this is a lot. Never mind. This is enough to warrant me either put it, putting it over here or something else. Or maybe putting it over there or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how do I want to do this. Realistic, I should have like a train that could just bring water. But then again, it's just so easy for me to do it here. Also, we do have my, uh, we do have water fill, but I, I said I wouldn't use it for situations like this. And I want to be, I don't want to be labeled as a cheater and liar. So maybe we'll make it up here then. Okay, let's, let's, let's move it then. This is probably a good place for it right there. That yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we need our radar dish, actually. Let me go back and get that, then. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Exactly. How's this one doing? Let's see. Oh, they did actually a fairly good job, actually, just removing all this stuff. One second, let me just finish deleting all this stuff. We don't care about these. We don't actually have to delete. Oh, okay, good. It's already it's already disconnected. I was gonna say we'll use this eventually for something else, but yeah, for the time being, we'll be okay on that. I don't necessarily like to prod everything, but in that case, I think it's I think it's fine to just go ahead and prod that. Um, one second, they're trying to steal my my things right now. I guess the ion engines didn't quite get created yet. Because I didn't make a place for whole, um, solenoids yet. Maybe that's what I should make. I should make solenoids somewhere. Oh, wait. I don't want this thing. Oh, damn it. Is where I wish I had more than one uh, radar construction pylon, but we're almost to that point where we could actually just do that, to be honest. Uh, fuck you, bots, honestly. You're so fucking slow. <laughs> I, again, I don't think I'm gonna, like, use more than probably... What, how's it, what does it want? Like, 13 of these? And I'm and pretty much my layouts, like, have 8 on each side. I'm just gonna make one that has, like, 16 of them, and that will probably, like, handle all of my explosive needs for the foreseeable future, so... This also can afford to have this thing here. Oh, that also can have one down here. I guess I didn't quite finish all this. Okay, that one's fine too. Alright, let's go back down for a minute. Alright, so now we can go down here, we can go throw down a radar construction pylon. Let me just turn off my bot so they don't start, like, placing crap down.
There you go. Um, so that, yeah, this is all the water we'll need for that, so uh, we'll be pretty good on that. I'm not sure how much um, sulfuric acid we're going to need, but I want to play it a bit on the safe side. And I'll see how that goes if we need if we need terribly much more of it. How's our landfill situation? Six wait, was that 61 or 611? No, that's 61. I have, it, I have it over here, so we have a we still have a fair bit of it. We have almost a full rocket again, so I've been I've been just like loading up rockets of it the, the entire time. Looks like this is having another little problem here. I had this issue last time, and I'm going to definitely resolve it like that. Because it's essentially uneven. I don't know how to necessarily solve it. Because it just, for whatever reason, this one at the bottom has way too much of it. And I probably should just do this. Just to the bottom one, at least. I guess it's because the, the the one closest to the... Um, yeah, the one closest to the stop over there wants to get used first, I guess. Do I not have active? No, I don't. That's what the problem is. We should have that though, okay. So what is, I think the only thing missing on Odquan Orbit is, let's see, did I finish this song? No, I didn't quite finish it. I want to get thrusters too. More solenoids, which I don't have, so. Holy train shed? <laughs> How's it going? This is the train shed. I'm gonna make solenoids actually while I'm down here. What do they require? I, I have to make it anyway, so. Uh, let's see. Product of some sticks, some cables, and some holium plates. Pretty easy stuff. Assuming, of course, I have, you know, I have that down here, so. All right. I am the train chad. Well, it's 300 hours, looking great. Thank you very much. We got tons of tons of trains. Trains for days. I'm pretty satisfied with how the base is going though. So we're gonna go here. So this one goes down to the storage and empties out anything it has and goes up. And I gotta go to the coal provider up here until it's full. Not sure if I'll need another train for this. I mean, how many wagons does it ask for per minute on that for coal? Honestly, not that many, actually. Oh, no, that's 0.5. That's like... And we're bringing it down for it. Yeah, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll just add more later if I have to. That's pretty much it, so... Alright, looks like we're pretty good over here. Let me have a look here, so... And I need to have the, uh, where's that? This guy. And what I'll also do is likely copy over, actually, where's my holium plates and stuff, actually? Uh, let me see. Um, my holium cables are right here, yeah. How many solenoids will I need, actually? 
I'm, I'm, I don't need it for that much, do I? So 5.8 of this, right? So we have, uh, well, we're not making it there. We're making assembly machines because I like productivities. So we got it in here. So 5.1, so I'm making a lot more than that, obviously. Oh, because I need for chips as well, that's why. Solenoids, let's see. So we can also make that here. We want to productivity that, absolutely want to 100% because that's got a lot of byproducts. Honestly, it's not that much, even for this. Was there anything else I needed in? I think that was basically it. I don't really need much else. All right, well, just what I might do is, well, first off, why are some of these not going? I guess it's because it has way too much in here. Yeah, it hasn't used it on the other side. Just debating, do I make another one of the, I think, yeah, I probably should make it its own area actually, and not just put it into here for all willy nilly for no reason. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put it into the place that uh, I had sharing in the other block here. Oh, hold up, actually. Because I, I wasn't sure what to do with the plastic block, but this actually might be a good opportunity to do something with it. Yeah, right here. It's only asking for, like, 7.3, and I'm making basically a ton more than that, so... I'll just leave that be the way that is. Also, why is there a thing here? Is there not supposed to be another rail here? Oops. I, I, I'm now kind of curious on what I even copied to begin with. All right, this will just be for the way out, so we'll see. Refactoring a disassembly in my previous city block continues. I'll take a bit. Oh, we, we need dynamic emitters at some point. And that's, um, can that even be prodded? I don't even know if it can. Oh no, it's made in electron, uh, it can't be prodded. So that's not a problem. Efficiency sixes, but that's, is that a huge amount? I, it looks like a lot. It's a lot of solenoids. But I'm not going to make that many efficiency sixes, I think. RTGs. Space probe rocket. That would be a good thing to have on it. You know, I think it's good. I think it's used a little bit more than I think it is. <laughs> so. Um, I'm probably going to double up on it then. I, th I think two of them should be good enough for that. For now. And I, I have enough space for two of them. Oh, also this. What? Oh, it was, it, I'm missing the, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. What did I copy it from? It was like, uh, does it matter? It's from the, the cables. Where's the cables again? There it is. Yo, hey, Elham, how you doing? How do you do? Howdy, howdy, howdy. I am right now trying to move things around that probably don't need to be, but you know. All right, it's good enough for now. Let's go back to this one. All right, so explosives first, because I like explosives. Only water, huh? So, hmm. So I was planning on having a separate pump for every single one of these, right? So it would be something like... This. Oh yeah, and the beacon can't quite fit there. Mm 
good just deciding what to play. Can I suggest this awesome game called Factorio? Uh, you may have heard of it before, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Potentially may have heard of it. It may it crossed your mind? Okay. I'm glad I could introduce you to new exciting games that you've probably never heard of. I'm, I'm kidding, I know you've heard of this game. You stream it all the time. Like me. You're a fe fellow based Giga Chad streamer. Oh, there's a fucking thing here. Man. I'm just gonna move it like that then. Actually, I, I kind of don't want it to be like that then. Actually, we got we got lots of space for this thing. I can just move it down, but move it up by one. Just don't go modding from the start. <laughs> Very good advice. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I have offshore pumps here, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Oh, really? I put that thing here. Oh, whatever, fine. Alright, there we go, we got water for all of that. Now, the real question is, do we have a separate coal train and sulfur train? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, we can do that. That's pretty easy to do. Do we have any coal down here yet? Let's have a look. Yep, we have coal. All right, so we go do a... Yeah, that's it. We just, we, we have a, oh, actually, why does this not have a refuel stuff? This is probably because it's the novice one, that's why. Actually, and this is wrong anyway, so never mind. Let's just do, bring it back down to this. Because uh, we don't want to use that as a, we want to use a storage uh, stop for this thing, storage. Yeah, storage depot. It was close though. Oops, didn't mean to go to that. Uh. <laughs> Start playing K2SC with co coworkers and you haven't played Factorio at all before. It went pretty well. Oh, that's good. That can always be hard to, to introduce new players to the game, especially if you're, uh, you're like, really into it, because you can get really, uh, you're like, oh my god, you know, I, I know all this stuff and I want to tell you how to do it, but, you know, I need to let you learn kind of thing, because that's the fun way of playing the game. That's kind of how it goes. So it can be very difficult to start in this kind of game. Uh, sulfur. Yeah, we're gonna do. We have to do sulfur trains first. I guess I'm just gonna. I'm gonna delete these guys for now. Oh, you're talking about the picker? Yeah, the, the space elevators adds that in, and it's so good, actually. Um, 
I kind of wish that it was always like that because you can essentially now have access to interplanetary trains, right? So uh, they go between surfaces and between planets and all that kind of stuff. So he's gonna load them now into ships and stuff, and you know what, whatever else you want to do with it. So the sky is the limit with that. So. say so it's not a mod at all yeah it's a pretty good addition actually i really like the fact they did that so what's the stack size on this guy it's like uh 50 so yeah it'd be 8k in that much oops it for that and then we go full is less than I don't know like 8k put one for L and the next one is gonna be sulfur yeah coal requester I'm surprised we have that. Did I do something wrong with that? I feel like I did something wrong with that. Because I feel like that is coal. Yeah, we have coal here. What the hell? I Why did I just make a thing for that? How does that work? I want to I want to know what those train orders are, actually. Where were they getting their coal from? Oh, maybe maybe I didn't even bother to bring it down here. There's a high possibility I didn't do that, actually. No, I did do that. No, no, these are, what? Right, because I just added two more trains to it, that's why. Technically speaking, this is the better thing to do, actually. I don't know why I did it the, the other way, then. I don't need- I don't need this crap here. I just realized that. It should go up to- it should go up to orbit to get it anyways. Is that matter for all the sun? It kind of does. Oh, man. I maybe didn't need this. I just realized. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. You need to, you know, just finish off whatever you're doing. I didn't think about this one. Because we don't, okay, so we're not bringing, we're not planning on bringing, um, it should bring the coal through space elevator, which is, I had the right idea before. All the stuff like vulcanized stuff, it shouldn't actually bring it down here. The materials hub is uh, up in orbit, it's not down here, um, so. Because when you think about it, right, the way it's going to work endgame for me is, or not even endgame, like in probably like 50 hours or so, like you have spaceships, they're going to dock at Genova orbit, they're going to drop off like their goods, right? And then the trains will go up when they need something like ingots and see the, the, the other things like ingots and stuff made sense to do here, right? Um, and so did the whatever this crinite because i have a bit of crinite here to get rid of the rest of it no the rest of it didn't need to do anything like that so so yeah i I'm, i may have made some goof goofball mistakes but whatever what are you gonna do it's not a it's not a huge mistake it's not undoable so oh uh, this is also um train stuff there we go But that's that's life. Sometimes you make slight little happy little mistakes, so that's not a huge error. I just uh, those two stops were completely unnecessary because it's gonna be the same thing. 
Because the other the other reason you have that is because when ships are incoming, and they want to bring something like Vulcanite for I don't know, uh, Iridium processing, right? Because the the processing is off planet. You don't want to do it here. Um, that essentially makes it so that you need to you need to basically you want to have one centralized place for it. That's what that's the main thing. I just realized that this sulfur may not be entirely my, going my way. Because it may not be, and I think I'm noticing it now, the water isn't actually on that side. Oh, shucks. I kind of thought it would be, but then again, there was no way it would be. That's still fine, because I have, I have water coming in, so that's okay. I just have to figure out something different with this, I think. Yes, because water, this water is fine. That one is not, because I could do it like here, but I would need more inserters on the other side or something like that. Well, that smells. And also they're on the fucking wrong side too. So it actually, it actually depends upon the side you're on. I may need to do something else like this or something, or no, you can't. Oh man, this, this blows. <laughs> Because it, it might be petroleum, but it also might be water. And yeah, they don't line up. Fuck. Okay, I can't. I literally cannot do this. Actually, I just realized. I'm going to have to do something separate with this. It's not even the explosives that was bad. It was the uh, the other thing here. This one. This is where this is where I kind of wish we had that mod that basically uh, allowed me to... Uh, I mean, to be honest, we don't even need any... Uh, actually, you know what? We only... we don't. This actually saves it. I just realized we don't need anything other than, uh, we don't need a train in the middle. Okay. That, that kind of, uh, saves my bacon. Is it just going to be, it has like two inputs for this, for the sulfur, so, um, yeah. But it doesn't matter because it doesn't need anything physical, which, uh, makes it a hell of a lot easier to deal with right now. Alright, so, with that being said, we need now petroleum and some other crap here, too. We can just have it go right here like that. Oh, you can't quite copy that? Can you, like, do this? Oh, you can. Okay. So, the petroleum requirement is probably off the roof uh, for this. It's it's actually not that bad. It's like one, one pipe can essentially bring it in, especially considering the fact that I'm probably going to upgrade it at some point as well. So, so we can do, we can definitely make that work. So the water too is just crazy as well. I, I think I, I think what I'll do is I'll go for like two of these things. How many does it need for this permanent? Is eight seventeen, and this makes holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, we may not need as much sulfur as I thought I did. Um. Hold the phone here. What's the what's the inserter rate for this? Oh, it's actually not nearly. Oh yeah, it's fine. That'll be okay. All right. No, we're, we're okay. We're okay. I just realized I don't have the proper thing here. Good. All How many did I put in my uh, material science pack? I put 1.2 of these. What? <laughs> I guess I... Did I overmake it, like, substantially? Or what? I mean, I guess I kind of need it anyways, but yeah. Oh, no, no, explosives. Sorry, it's not, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I mean, I know I need it for other things, like productivity modules, so I want to make sure I had an abundance of it. That, that's that's realistically the reason, so. And not just uh, an excuse, I swear. Well, apparently it doesn't quite line up like that, that's okay. Just move this a little bit closer.
Whatever, they'll do their thing eventually. Yeah, that should be good enough for that. Um, and I can't quite... Oh, man. I always forget that it doesn't quite line up when you do it like this. I, I could just move the station down like one tile and that probably would do it. Yeah, let's just move it down by one. Because otherwise it doesn't fit. <laughs> so, could get a better layout by using three uh, space pipes, eh, potentially. I, ha I have them somewhere, I'm sure. Um, let me just do this first and then I'll, uh, I'll think about it. There you go, that actually does work. There you go, and that, yep, there, this is perfect now. There you are. The only thing that kind of sucks is if I want to make one on the, uh, the left side, it would be a little bit of a problem. Why is there, oh. What the hell is all this? Oh, nothing. Sorry, never mind. Ignore me. Wait, wait, wait. wait that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be this. Um... Is there a... Yeah, there's spots coming over here. I have a little bit of long junction space pipes. I'm gonna actually start requesting them. Because they realistically should be using it in my builds here, I'm just not, so. Uh, pipes. Should just be here. Let me just go beside this thing. It should be delivering it to me, let's see. Uh, what is it? Like, control left click. No, control right click. Did they bring me pipes? I actually physically cannot tell. Yeah, I think they are. Alright, we'll just hold that over here for a minute. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? I, I still haven't really tapped into the rhythm here, and I, I kind of want to, but at the same time, it's gonna, it's gonna take too much time, so I don't want to do that right now. There's still plenty of space over here to, just to belt things up and just not care. Although this is something I should easily get rid of. Let's have a look here. Stone. Uh, where's a beacon to copy? I'll just copy this one. Is there no stone over there, or what? Oh, it's right there. And give it a nice thing here, and a supercharger right there. And it's running out of thing again. What happened with it now? <laughs> That's the same problem here. Oh, right. No, oh, I can't even do that. Never mind. It's just that front one is always a problem. I don't even know why. I mean, I know why, but, you know. It's a crappy setup that I should really fix, I guess. It, it probably needs to do a balancer on it, too. Although, I think I attempted to do that, and it didn't work. Connection in the middle, so that's not as nice as I thought it could be. Saves a lot of pipes. Yeah, it it that side won't really work, but here it will. It, I can at least put like a five here. That's what I was thinking. Like, like a uh, here. No, oh, no, never mind. I can't do it there. Um, oh yeah, it can't. It can be here though. They're all hooked up, right? You want to? Yeah, this one can be a five. 
just occasionally it could be a five. It's not really going to save that many pipes, honestly. See, it still saves a few. Could be all threes if one side was offset by one tile. Yeah, but if I offset it by one tile, then it's offset by the train grid. That's a problem. So I can't do that. So, close but no cigar. Is what they say. And you know what? It doesn't... Yeah, fuck this. I, I, it wasn't even a good idea, actually. I actually need to connect uh, some pipes in the middle here. Never mind. All right, and then petroleum is for this at least like two things of that, so. thing here. Uh, uh, give me a second. Uh, I'll be back in... Give me like two minutes. Sorry. I need to get something.
Sorry about that. It would work better if you paired the entire build. Probably, yeah. It would probably work, period. <laughs> uh, that would be good. It doesn't change, though, the uh, the numbers from the, um, the calculator, though. That doesn't particularly... Uh, it's not super influenced by that. All right, we'll give this a nice uh, over here, and that should be enough for it. All right, and uh, I guess I do need to give it one more power over here too. I think I'll make one more of these just be just to be on the safe side. I think. So I think I'm gonna need it, so. It cares about beacon power, but that's it. No, yeah, that's the only thing it cares about. The rest of it's fine. All right, we're going to, I think, copy it one more time. This is interesting. It's the first like fluid-based uh, thing I set up here, actually, for this uh, little train network system I have, so. I'm a fan so far. Oops. We can give that all that. And then I just need to do the solenoids and then we can go back and finish up what I was doing with uh, the other science. Because we just need the solenoids for some of the uh, lovely science that I have to, I'm doing at the moment, so. This is an interesting one. I, I totally forgot I would be needing this over here anyway, so. Oops. All right, let's get the rest of this over here. It didn't take that long. The only thing is I have to just make sure that they're all being hit. When they are. Oh, that's such a satisfying build. That that actually hits everything that I wanted it to, so. Is there a petroleum train on the way? No, because it's called Zaz. Oh, we, we forgot the most important thing, by the way. We forgot lights. Always need lights, exactly. If you don't have that, that's that is. Hey, Zerzerus. Uh, How are you doing? Alright, now I just need to hook up the re remainder of this and then we're done. Now, ironically, it actually should have been the other way. I just realized this. I 
and the, the last one will come from over here. And then I just need to hook up the water here, and then that's it, I think. like two going into the other one so that should be fine the flow should be a-ok -okay with that these are 8k because they're 50 stacks yep so that's perfectly fine we're all good all right last point on this front is to get a train that will just pick up uh, well just sulfur trains that's it where are we at uh melting because of this heat how are you i'm doing uh okay there's no heat where i am it's uh, actually pretty chilly, actually, today. Even though it's like, it's September. The way it kind of works is it like, it randomly becomes like, when September hits, it like, the summer just it, like just comes to an abrupt end. Although it's not that bad right now. It's like 22 degrees, I want to say. One second, let me look at my phone, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, 22 degrees. So, it's like, uh, but like, the inside of where I am is in the shade, because the sun now changed where it is on the horizon. So, that's just part of Canadian living. Um, so the sun isn't up for as long. So essentially what happened is um, the, the night is a bit longer so that the the coolness lasts for longer too, which is really nice actually about, about living here actually. So it's still like, it's still short sleeve weather here. Um, <laughs> like uh, above the Port of Parallel, pretty much, yeah. It's exactly how it works though. Um, but yeah, the... Um, it's, it, I like it here. Uh, it's pretty good. You basically get some really long days in the summer and it, they get a bit shorter in the winter, but since I'm near the Pacific Ocean, it's actually not that bad. Uh, you can kind of deal with it. Oops, nope, I'm going to do this one. All things considered, it's actually not that bad. And honestly, if you, if you like, if you just plan your vacations out, if you get vacation, like plan it out so that you go somewhere sort of in the winter time, it's actually really not that bad because then you're basically living in a, in a, the summers are really, really long, like nice for the sun. And if you can escape somewhere for like a month or something every winter, you're pretty good, you know? If you can just travel down south or go to the other side of the, uh, the, the planet, you know? Where it's sunny. So you can do, like, that's what, that's what people that are like really wealthy do. They just travel between like, both hemispheres and so it's like a permanent summer like super summer for them kind of thing if you have enough money for that you know at any rate just go to the other side of the planet exactly if you can just afford to fly there you know just do it You could have like a, like, they, they have like two homes in like different places, like, or maybe just a home in Florida, I don't know. Uh, why is this one not going? Oh. Uh, let me just uh, wait for it to kind of you know, fill up. There you go. Now they're all equalized again. Alright, we're all good. Don't <laughs> come to Florida, it sucks here. 
I, I, I wasn't saying anything positive or negative about Florida. I just said it is a place where people live. That's all I, that, that's all my opinion was. All right, let's go do Solium <laughs> thing, so that's it. Is there always someone from Florida uh, that's always willing to say the, the truth about Florida and, and uh, all that kind of stuff? What's the worst part about Florida anyways? Let's hear it actually, I'm kinda curious now. Florida is hell on earth. All, all I know is that it's it's where a lot of old people go and there's Disney World there and that's it. That's all I know about Florida, to be honest. You can tell there was like a lot of like bots here. The humidity? Oh yeah, that's true, cause you're beside the ocean. I forgot about that. I was going to say what's up with these trains, but it's because of this. Alright, let's do... So we want three trains of this now. Yeah, that'll do. Have you ever, uh, have you never seen Florida? I've been to Florida. Place where meme become real and people <laughs> so probably often. I think when I was there, I was, uh, I was, um, on vacation many years ago. So let's just go with, I probably don't have the true Florida, Floridian experience, you know, uh, especially what you're describing is not what I remember about it. So. I haven't been to the States in like, uh, well, probably in, in a few years just because of the whole lovely uh, pandemic, but I'm probably going to head back down. I'm, I'm going to make a trip probably uh, next year, I, I'm going to say for sure. So I, I, I kind of like feel like I just haven't really gone gone anywhere. So I mean, that's that's probably true for everybody. So, you know, what am I saying? As if like I'm special in that way, because I'm not actually. What, what did I put solenoids here? It's it was supposed to be this other thing, cables. I'm kind of tired of seeing my uh, my lovely province here. I want to want to go somewhere else. So. What's up with Florida people and their pet gators? Because <laughs> they're having a good time. Iron sticks, it's less than 25k. Oh, I'm out of uh So do we have a stick one? Yep, stick requester. Uh this is gonna be a holium cable. Requester, and the last one is Holium Plates, which I already have. You know, there's almost zero American stream factor, a lot of Canadians. Because it's cold up here and uh, we also like engineering games. Those two things, those two, those two reasons combined is, is enough, you know? Alright, so solenoids, yep. And it put coal in here somehow. Cold kind of sucks. Everyone kind of goes, oh, I'm going to go to Alaska because it's, you know, it's it's nice and uh, cold there all the time. But, you know, it does kind of suck in a lot of ways. There's a lot of reasons you wouldn't want to be in a cold climate. Oh, 
Alright, so let's make this a solenoid state depot. It doesn't need to be that long, so I'm just going to keep it the way it is right here. Oh, that's way too many chain signals for this. Well, to be honest, it probably should just wait until it's complete. It's probably accurate the way that is. And the rest of these are going to have to be chains, unfortunately. Through and through. He's so tuned to cold, his set of his bone base on Genova half frozen. Yeah, that's that, not inaccurate. I feel like I'm being called out for something that, that, that it is true. I don't really like cold that much, that's the thing. It's, but you know what, it, the worst part is not even the cold, it's the lack of sun. It, the lack of sun matters a lot more than you'd think, you know. So you got you got definitely gotta take some vitamin D. And vitamin D is a very interesting topic because like, uh, for like the longest time, you could not buy more than like, um, like a thousand IU like like pills or whatever like the the little things that you you take for a supplement you couldn't get more than a thousand right because for some bloody reason they basically did some kind of math on it they're like well if you're like out on the on the Florida sun you know uh, basically doing rooftops all summer you know and then and then you decide to take a vitamin D supplement maybe you'll get vitamin D poisoning right that that's what it's it's like the Canadian stuff they go based upon the FDA requirements. But yeah. But now, now they're actually bringing it up because now, like, literally everybody has a vitamin D deficiency. And they're like, oh, as it turns out, if you're taking it, you're probably not getting enough sun. So, who would have thought? Truly a mystery to us all. Roof work sucks to you guys who dealt with that for a while. Yeah, that's out of all the summer jobs I can think of that are terrible. That is number one on the list, and I feel for you, my friend. I've never had to do it, thank God. But uh, if I did, um, yeah, that is like the single hardest job, like just doing roofs in the summer. The f bombs came out. Oh, did I almost say the f word? I I'm not. This is not a no swearing stream. I'm, I I'll swear as much as I fucking want, but you know, I it literally says mature audiences. So hopefully everyone's mature. But I just don't feel the need to swear all the time. O only only if I railgun, like. My my science, then then it's warranted. Come on. Gasp? Wow, okay. Really I, I don't think there's anyone here that's like under the age of like twenty, I don't know, at least, I would say. Let's be honest. And most of the people here are like uh well into their adulthood. Let's let's be honest, this this game is just our way of having a midlife crisis. All right, is there some reason why we don't have Holyum cables? Um, oh, I think I need more trains, that's why. Where's the Holyum cables? Oh, it's over there. There's a 35 year old man with a wife, but I've got to feel the, can I feel attacked? But it's not not true, come on. <laughs> We're well past the point. Uh, is this? What? Why is it, why did I call it that? Oh, because it has a, it has the next destination, but that's why. I thought, I thought I just gave it an invisible station that doesn't exist. All right, I think we got solenoids almost, except for the iron sticks. Oh, here they are. They're working? Yes, they are. <laughs> I never mean to attack anybody, you know, it just kind of happens. <laughs> uh, up, this thing output train station? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. I am. Good call out. There it is. I guess I would have noticed that eventually. I, I was wondering about that. I'm like, this one didn't copy, so I just figured it was my original copy and paste. 
As it turns out, it wasn't. It was the first one. Alright, I think we're done here. I don't think there's anything else we need. So let's go get these trains going away, and that's it. These are some nice solenoids. Uh, we do need to bring a train to bring it up there, actually. Uh, let's see. Solenoids. I do not have that here. Do I have a solenoid requester station or something? I don't even remember. All I know is I have these stupid storage things here, which I don't like. Which, actually, I should make a stop that has that. Did I not make a stop that has that? No, I didn't. What is up with me? I don't even know. Mike made a man, man drown in his own tears. What? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not, never trying to give anybody a reality check. <laughs> Reevaluate your life. I don't know. This is, I'm doing, I'm doing exactly what I want. This is fun. I like this stuff. You embrace who you are, you know? There's a lot of conversations going up here. One second. I'm just going to, oops. Oh shit. Hit my microphone with my phone. So the phone seems to have survived. Don't worry about it. I don't want to do that. There are just a lot of uh, slack back and forth uh, going on, so I just want to make sure it wasn't something that involved me. Because that's, that's always fun. Uh, uh, we'll save Requester. Yeah, that's why I thought we don't have this yet. Alright. So... I'll start with this one. <laughs> Brain time. Instead of playing factory, you're helping human progress. What a waste of time. Exactly. The factory could be growing. Why would you do that? I thought I had a Solium requester. Did I not just make that? I think I made it something else that was dumb. Oh well. I'll look at that in a minute. Uh, sorry, it's supposed to be over here. Whoops. Go down here until you're full. What did I call this thing? Oh, it's a cables. Whoops. We want it to be uh, this thing. There we go. I knew I did something wrong with it. And uh, I'm going to say if the solenoids is less than 1k, I can go bring it up here. There you go. I don't know of a better way of adding it to my mall, so that's why we're doing that, because I, I don't care. Alright, see you, uh, Silent Storm. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Requester. Tire empty. Uh, are they all the buyers purged from novice? Yes, they are. We have 0% threat on Novice now. Actually, I probably should get that name, but I'm, I guess I'm just going to leave it be for now. I'll show you. We've actually purged two planets, um, so let me just remove orbits for a second. So we got... Um, we got Novice, so now it's at 0% threat because we killed them all. And the other planet we did was Brigid. Brigid is our uh, Vidimolage planet, so when we go there, uh, there's no threat on it anymore. Which is important, so we got them all. They're all dead. So they're actually on no longer on any surfaces that I care about at the moment. Um, the the, the Doryun will eventually be a surface that I want to clear, which has a redite on it and it had uh, it has core fragments on it. I think I think later game core fragments for uh, iridium is a good idea, but we just don't have to do it right now. But yeah, I'll I'll clear that eventually. So, and also maybe Lilac, but that's that's a very, yeah. Because it's like the only planet with Iridium Core Fragments, so I was actually going to tap into that one and see how that went. So, Vita Meteor's on a Vita Planet, correct. But that's why it's 1% instead of 0%. So you have to add Meteor Defenses if you don't want them to come back. That's the whole point of that, so. That's the, that's the grand scheme with that one. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this coal, to be honest. <laughs> I, I just, I, 
kind of screwed this up royally. You go to you go to this until you're empty, and then you go to a provider. Well, you know, I'll just let them do their thing, and then and then they'll get rid of it all. We'll see. Anyways, I think we can go back up, by the way. Also, this is a problem. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Why? Okay, wait, hold up. Why were you here? What? What are you asking for? Oh, you're asking for stone, but why is this one not leaving? Oh, because it's an idiot, that's why. Anyways, um... It's like holding up the entire, like, block for some reason. Oh my god, it's gonna go to the far one now. Dude, why would they choose that station? That's the worst station for the pathfinding. It should have been, like... It's not leaving. I can't go there. Whatever, we'll just leave it there because we're going to need it eventually. So. It probably should also get our heat shielding up there, but yeah. That's a that's another issue entirely. Um, if you get rid of this coal, and I can't get rid of that though. It's one of the stuff I still have to get rid of, and I don't know how. Well, I do know how, but that's besides the point. Just, it requires effort and that I'm not willing to put in right now, I guess. Alright, let's go finish off map 3. still have a ton of this bat science back twos. I wonder if uh, we have a little bit more on the uh, science front. Let's see. Hey, hey, that's that's pretty good. All right, uh, let's go send that over, actually. I don't even care. Let's go. It's, it's done enough for me. I like that one. actually gonna see science moving something we never see on this stream all right um i don't even remember what i was doing at this point i was doing like uh is it explosion shielding data yeah that's probably what it was yeah that's the one i also need to make the um uh, the what's it what are they called oh man i kind of want to do that i, I don't want i, I want to stop bringing in um uh containers from from the other place because i hate it what is research moving not yet uh, don't, don't 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 get all excited yet hasn't started moving quite there it is your patience has been rewarded or something i don't know I look at another one of these lovely ones where it gives iridium plates and stuff back. Oh, thank God there's no fluids involved with this one. <laughs> Accidental railgun discharge with iridium pile drivers. Okay. That was silent. Anyways, have a good lark. See you, man. <laughs> oh man. I, I still I love those most too. Alright, so this is a lovely one again where I have to make um, a weird train that comes over there. One second. Probably something similar to. 
That one, that one, this one I went really ham. Is this a four stop situation? Well, hold up. Um, is it worth doing four stops for this? It's really what it is. It's just all this random ass material that it needs. Yeah, you know what? Explosives should probably be its own wagon. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna need mostly, um, yeah, it's gonna need mostly that. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to bother to figure out what the hell the ratio of this is, so. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's go do that then, in a minute. I'm going to, I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is just do, I'm gonna just copy this thing. Also, I just noticed that the train is not moving. Why is it not moving? I guess the conditions were very, very off. Oh. Or it could be the fact that this is completely wrong. Alright, is there anything else that needs to be adjusted or no? Alright, go get out of here. There you go. Build build a spaceship with Nakian processors? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that idea. You got that one last time. You didn't because there wasn't a Nakuin processors. I changed it. I cha I changed it around a little bit to make it a little bit more variety because it was uh, repeating too much stuff. So I know you couldn't have gotten that one because I hadn't. I hadn't actually made that one yet. I guess I went down a little bit, didn't I? So what are these called? These are called um, explosion shielding data. Okay. So let's go get that over here. So it's explosion shielding data. I feel like this is the one thing you want to use like the space elevators for. It's for random things that you don't want to just make up here all because you can, like, whatever. You might as well bring it down there. Alright. So, we got a couple trains here. So, one, two, three, four, five things. Okay, so first off, we have that. That's fine. Then we have data cards. Alright. Then I have one. I'm going to basically probably make explosives here. So I need to make uh, girders, and then and then there's the plates, and then that's it. Okay. So explosives requester, and then this is going to be a buffer stop for this because it has to bring in both. So, I mean, is it pretty much even down the middle? Actually, I didn't even notice it. No, it's really not. So. Because I could add a train that basically does do... I, I technically could have one train that does all three of those things. Because it's like... Yeah, it's going down there anyways. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that though. Data cards, yeah. Da, da, oh, wait. Iridium plate. And then explosives. Uh, the only thing that's challenging about it is the fact that um, it may not actually use all of these iridium materials, actually. So wait, how's it 50% 50 or 50%, right? So it makes a girder, makes iridium plates, and sometimes we'll give you back that, right? But for some reason when I did the wagons per hour, right, on this one, it's 2.3 and then 2.9 wagon. Oh, because it, I think iridium plates has a stack size of 50, or so 40 or something. Not 50, 40. Uh, yeah. I, I think I really have to make sure that it always has way too much explosives in there. 
but I'm not sure because it will never be even. So maybe I shouldn't even, I should connect them. Uh, fuck, this is hard to do. <laughs> Cause this is a problem. You, you sometimes will always have girders and iridium plates. And like, I, I don't know how to evenly make sure based upon the trains that are coming in that they'll always have enough. Cause then it might be uneven. And that kind of sucks when that happens. Cause there, this is not a, this is not a perfect ratio right now. All right. Here's what I actually have an idea of how to solve it. Maybe. No, I don't. I have no idea how to solve it. Cause it's too many trains. Can we have a fifth one? I'm just, I'm just going to put that question out there. No, I can't. That, that's, that's getting too much into too far down. It's cause it's just not consistent enough. So this is, this is actually one of the harder ones to deal with, unfortunately, because of that. It's going to deadlock. It's going to deadlock at some point. And I'm just, I'm wondering how to solve that now. I don't think there is a way for me to solve it, to be honest. I mean, I could have it time out when it's here, but... Mm, if only I could change it. Hey, Ben, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well, except for this little problem I have right here. Because there's actually like five different unique materials that I need to somehow bring here. So I always make the material testing packs its own because that has such a high volume. Explosives should technically be the same, but it's the rest of this, which is like heavy girders and iridium plates. And they're just like this, the stack sizes make it just literally an awful logistical challenge to deal with. And, and that's the thing is like, typically up to now, like when I've done a ratio based train setup, right? It was easy because it was like, you know what? It, I, I think I could still do it. I could make a ratio based setup for this. We'll, we'll be okay. Okay, you know what? No, we're, we're okay. It's still gonna be kind of ass, but you know, what can you do? I, I think I could get it. I think I could get it going. Uh, I'm just debating what to do here. Uh, let's see this. But yeah, we got, we got some problems. <laughs> hey, Kate. Set inserters to only insert the set amount so that they're still left when they insert, um, insert will insert what's missing. Yeah, but then the problem is that we'll now go to a place to basically pick up more of the stuff and then it still be kind of off, but it, it should be, uh, I got an idea of how to do it. We'll, we'll, we'll do my idea and then we'll laugh at when it fails because that's, that's, that's what we're all here to do. Um, explosives. All right, so it has to be something like that. So this is gonna be... This is actually the hardest part of the material science packs is how do you deal with the, the basically byproducts that it constantly, let me go like power this thing because I'm kind of tired of it blinking at me. It's like hurting my eyes. <laughs> um, all right, so we got that, that one's fine. We got scrap, we got, eh, it's not that, it's not even that much scrap either. So it's a scrap provider. All right, so that one's fine. And we just give it the shielding data in this one. Okay, and that should be all that that needs. Okay, so let's get some other trains going here. Explosives. There's a lot of trains that are gonna come here. Uh, oof. So I can't actually make it a separate train for explosives, I just realized, so it has to be the same one. Okay, this actually might be harder to do than I thought it would be. I, I really needed those to be separate trains, actually. 
Maybe I'm gonna just put data cards on it or something. How many data cards does it need? One data card. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the stack size of that? 50. How the hell does it do that? Oh, because it's the fucking ratio thing. Okay. It, it's still fine because it's double that much. It's we're, we're still good. We're still good. Don't worry. We got one of these. And then it's going to be explosives. It's going to be explosives requester. Why are you doing this to me? I misclicked it, don't worry. <laughs> Alright. The main thing is this is this is this requires way too much, but so it's good to keep it like kinda like keep it going small for that one, but this one's the big one. So let's do this one. Alright, give it the elevator orders. Um one second. So okay, so here's how the ratio works, right? So Wagons per hour is what I started with. So you can essentially have on each wagon, you can say data card easily. Um, so this is 50, right? So we're actually doing it based upon numbers. So Iridium plates, unfortunately, has a 40 stack size. So for this to actually go, it has to have five of these, right? For every single, so that, that this is 200, this is 200. And then you have Iridite uh, girders. Like that. So you can do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Then you do these two. One, two, three, four, five. This and that. So let's just do that. And this last one should not even be filled. And that's it. I just screwed this up majorly. I pressed the wrong button. It's supposed to go up. Wow, we have nothing else to research now. Um, Is there anything else that I really want right now from this? I I, I don't know. I kind of just let it sit there. We could do Astro Catalog. No, I'm, I'm, I want to save my blue science. I'm not doing Astro Catalog for. Uh, fuck. I don't know what to do. We could finish this trilogy shooting speed. Might as well. All right. So that's this is the perfect ratio that it needs to have. So. Uh, so the first thing it has to do is it has to go down, grab girders. Um, and that would be 50, it's like 50, whoops, I did it again, 50 times 12 times 4, 240, and that is, by the way, the same for, I believe, all of them, so it's always going to be 2400 for all of them, so go down. Go to the provider, because it's the one that actually has things in it for that. All right, that finished down. Now I have absolutely no idea what I want to research anymore. So we're, we're, we're almost at mat three, so that'll be kind of what we do. So it goes up, and then it goes to... We'll get data cards first, I guess. Because it should just require the same amount for all of them. And then what's the last one it needs? It needs like a... I need to get... Oh, Iridium Plates, yeah. Iridium Plates. This one's just kind of wild, like what it requires. It's And the only thing that kind of screwed it up in my head was the fact that the stack sizes were so weird. All right, and then when you're done with that, go to the Science Depot three, and then we're going to buffer to that one. It should do it until it's completely empty. I just fucking deleted it. <laughs> I think I deleted also the refueling stop. No, it's at the top, never mind. Oh, I deleted the, I don't want to delete, the Matt, the Matt Science uh, Depot, okay. This should do it. This is a really convoluted set of orders, but it will, it should do the job. So we'll just uh, let it go on its way. 
we have... Yeah, so the explosives I'm gonna make have two of these, actually. Actually, we'll, we'll trade explosives with uh, data cards. Okay, dude, can you just copy this? Okay, thank you. <laughs> yep, so two explosives at the top. Because it's going to need that far more often. Alright, what are these currently set to? Yep, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Alright, and then the next thing we need to do is, last but not least, we have a train over here. Again, give it the space elevator orders. And we just tell it to do... Uh, why did I have a depot up here? I guess it was to... Oh, right. It, well, no, no, that it would never need that. Uh, this is just wrong. I shouldn't even have that. Yeah, anyways. So we go and say, uh, what are we saying for it? So we're doing explosives. I apparently, oh yeah, because it's a sulfuric acid uh, depot. That's what it is. Because I didn't make its own depot. And you go explosives. So you go to the requester. Or sorry, the provider, you do until you're full, you go to the, the thing, empty it out, enter, empty, and that's it. That one's a very easy one. It doesn't even need that much of it either. Alright, this is where we hope this is good enough for that. I don't really know if it will be, but you know, we'll see. Um, okay. Okay. This one was actually a pretty complicated one, actually, I have to say it that. Also, why is it not empty or something? It was uneven. How did that happen? It was uneven on two sides. Okay, how did that even happen? And why is there no uh, train coming here right now? Oh, because we're out of iron. Is this empty? Oh, why did I not have anything in this? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so um, it should have never actually asked for the train to come here to begin with, but uh, yeah, we have another problem with it anyways. I probably need to get another train to do this as well, wherever it is. I don't know where it is. How many requesters do we have? Iron. I have like one over here. I don't know what these are for. Oh, it's just some sulfur and stuff, that's it. Is it here or no? God, it's on its way. I just kind of want to copy the train again, because obviously it's uh, something I use. Oh, that's why. I, I, I'm, I'm now understanding how I took that out to begin with. Alright, so some reason why it doesn't think it's full. That's 12... 24? Why did I have 16 Is this? Oh, I guess it was wrong before. Oh, well that, that would explain why it's uneven then. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna remove all the shit. I was going to remove all of them. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh wow. We we have a lot of iron uh, requirements apparently. I hope it's keeping up, actually. Yeah, I don't actually know if it is. Yeah, this one's uh, not keeping up. Let's see where it is over here. Uh, iron is... Yeah, didn't even get to go. 
apparently now is the time that uh, we start running out of everything. All right, let's see. As the train over here, what, what is this one? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I, I had four here before, I remember now. All right, so there's potentially a problem right now with the Iridium train I just sent down. Where is it at? It's probably over here, right? Wait, did it just... Oh, it, it just went down with all of the, um, the, the fire magazines. Did it never load? Or did I do something wrong? It's 50-50, right? 50-50, 400, 800, right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, you know what it is? I know why. Because I have it any of them and it unloads that one extremely fast. <laughs> I can't have that. Um, I guess I'm just gonna wait for that and an, and an activity or something. I could just wait for just inactivity, but I would really prefer if it didn't do that. All right, it's obviously a little bit of a problem here. Whatever, fine, let's just do inactivity then. I didn't think about that one, actually. I kind of designed it in a different way. What's the problem here? Why can't I do anything? There's no iridium plates here. Why is there no iridium plates here? Well, because you're just being a jerk and just st sitting here. Why? Oh, because there's nothing over here for you. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be a problem if there was a flipping train that came here. It's probably up here somewhere. Where's the Iridium train? You know, we've made we've made the complexity for this like 10 times worse, I have to say. Do I not have a Iridium ingots? Iridite ingots provider. Yeah, where are you at? Okay, well, clearly you're not receiving anything. I'll just send one out. What happened? Why is there no trains for this? Holy shit. That's a lot of trains. Not doing anything. Are they all broken? Are you fucking kidding? Because they all don't have uh, beads on them. Can, the, can they just not come in there? What's going on? I mean, literally, this is the worst layout I've ever done for anything, but yeah. It's like nowhere for them to go, that's why I think. Oh no no, some of them have a, uh, yeah, some of them are here. Oh my god, it's, I, I want to change this at some point, and I need to. Yeah, I actually don't know if we need this. I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, okay, so what's our conditions? So it's got 9.5k iridite in here somehow, I don't know how. But it never had enough, uh, what are the orders of these things? Yeah, I did it based upon that. What is the wagon needs for this? I don't know. I, I, I fucked up the math on this so hard, actually, to be honest. Yeah, okay. Some of them have the opposite problem. This one says it has... Oh, it has like 1k in these. Just, why is it ask for that much? Why am I not asking for like 8k of this? This is a really bad system, I really hate it. Because A, it should have been two different trains, by the way, is the first thing. I didn't do that. Um, that just gives it based upon its individual needs and that's it, so. Because it either always runs out of one or the other, it's terrible. Yeah, 
Anyways, it should go, it should go now. I, I have to redo that entire thing, by the way, at some point. It's really quite bad. All right, so we'll uh, we'll let the Iridium go do its thing. Uh, did it actually put... Yeah, look, uh, we got explosives here. That's good. We just don't have Iridium here, which is great because that's the science that we're trying to do right now, so... But it's okay because we have lots of mat science too. I'll tell you that much. Literal mat science two for days. So what's this one trying to do? It's trying to go somewhere. Oh, it can't go anywhere because this one is... Doesn't have enough flaming things. What? Okay, so that became uneven somewhere. Along the lines, give me a minute. Okay, this one is also uneven. What the fuck happened here? So this is the one that should not be in a, uh, like uneven. I don't know how that happened though. Okay, so that one has to be fixed, and okay, so this one I'll just uh, give uh, the flaming data cards over here. Except I can't because it went all into my trash. No, don't take them from me. They want to. They want to remove it so badly. All right, so you got that now. Is it a problem with... Yeah, it's just a problem with data cards. Because some of them, again, they unevenly added stuff. Fuck off, bots. Oh my god, they're just getting rid of all of them. It's when one of those trains basically doesn't load it up properly, It's uh, it, do it does that. Which is why I removed the condition for it. I told it that it has to be a full cargo load now. Because I'm not dealing with that anymore. Okay, I want them to go away. <laughs> They're chasing me. This one has the same problem, by the way. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna prematurely just get rid of it. It's there was a couple trains that came here that un unevenly loaded the null. So yeah, these ones are okay though. I'll just make sure this one's fine. Let's see. 1.2, 1.3, that's okay. That's 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 within tolerance, the rest of it was not. Yeah, and then this became all uneven too. It's amazing how crappy it became when I did that or something. Give it a little bit more. There you go. Does this one have any scrap imbalancing issues? A slight bit, but that's uh, easily solvable. And these ones are okay. Okay, the rest of these are fine. It, that literally just happened because of data cards. It basically cascades into all the other things. The only thing LTN with LTN is that it's a lot easier to accidentally taint other stations with other materials or have trains with excess cargo. It's manual intervention. So realistically, going to LTN would not solve any of the problems I created for myself here, I guess. You're just kind of, uh, it's just a, the nature of Factorio. That's why I said, like, when you make a train-based base like this, you absolutely must make sure that it it keeps things balanced. If it doesn't do it, it's it's just like yeah, it's not a not a good time. Hey, look, it actually unloaded all the stuff for it too. Cool. And now we just need Matt Science testing packs, which I believe those are on the way. They were just stuck at stations and they shouldn't have been. 
Um, what's this? Centering on locomotive? Oh, that's cool. I, I forgot that was an option. Alright, what is, what is all this? Okay, so that's some crap that I can just get rid of. Let's put some uh, construction pylons down. So why would they go up here and not to the lovely stations that I made up here? Because uh, they're off. Why would they be off? Well, because they're not connected. That's a good excuse, uh, uh, if any. So, And now they should be off. Yeah, here they go. Okay, they're going. And we get a nice pass through here. Uh, so, simple to have filter inserts for LTN and never have that tame problem. You're halfway to just not using LTN though, <laughs> in my opinion. You're almost there, you know. But again, I I won't I won't basically, you know. I won't I I'm not I'm not gonna be a hater. I'm gonna be like you know everyone plays in their own way kind of thing. But you are halfway to not using LTN, <laughs> so. Let's do one sec. I think I want to have it down here, right? No. You need in, uh, like multi-material stations. Yeah. I like I said, I, I've been a big fan of playing without that kind of a thing. It's been kind of fun, but like it's each their own, right? So. I could definitely see why you'd want it. It's like, it fills in like that gap of like, ooh, the trains could do something really cool kind of thing, you know? Do I actually need thermal fluid here? What do, what do I need that for? Why did I have that here? I don't think I actually needed it. Oh, it's for that. Okay, no, I didn't need it. Let's just delete it. I totally forgot about that. I, di I didn't actually need it. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I wasted it again. Uh, here, is, here it is. This is uh, what I wanted. I think I'm going to go up here now. LTN adds information about what station wants and what it provides. Nothing to do with loading on loading trains unless you want to do that yourself. You know what? I've noticed there's a lot of Factorio streamers right now playing with like pure trains right now. I love it. It's so good. It's so good to see everyone, uh, every, like, all of, all everybody's do, essentially doing it. I mean, that's the only way to do it, I guess. It's the best way of doing it. A lot of things, but yeah, trains are just trains. What are you gonna do, right? They're fun. I love it myself, so.
I, I, do, I just find it funny because everyone I tune into just has like some kind of, if they're playing SE, they're doing some kind of elaborate train network. There's T-Hacks, Ben's doing it, um, uh, Andy's doing it, uh, Damsel's doing it, I'm trying, uh, Mahalik's doing it, literally everybody. Everybody's doing it. It's good. It's good times. Trades are the best. I love them. 105. What's this one? It's going to be under 20k, so we have that now. This is not a this is not a criticism or, or anything. It's just like a it's I think it's awesome. Oh, how's this going to go through here? Oh, well, I think I have to go a little bit higher than that actually now I look at it. All right, never mind that. This is good. You might actually add LTM. I'm like, oh no, don't be a quitter, Ben. Come on. You gotta make it work without LTM. That's half the fun. You don't quit on me now, Ben. Come on. I, I think one run I may try LTN. I don't know. I don't know when that will be, though. Um... Because I don't think I've really given it a try. Maybe, maybe like one version of the this SE stuff that I do. Maybe one of them will be uh, one that I do with uh, LTN, just to just to give it a try. All right, all right. Here, here's the thing. I have uh, a question for. Ooh, that's a problem here. Uh, that's because it was the wrong way. How did it end up being that way? Okay, okay. So my one question to you is. How bad is LTN on, on UPS actually? Because I, I, I know I know I'm an I'm a I'm a UPS um, wizard or whatever. I'm not wizard. I'm not wizard at all. I, I, I think about UPS too much, but you know, probably way too much, but um, still curious about how much it actually uses up for that in regard. Real Mike lot sheets on uh, uh, sheets run. Water fill infinite ore the works, yeah. It'll be it'll be the one that we just get out, we just feel satisfied and all that kind of stuff, you know. Horrible at scale? Okay. And maybe I should continue not using it then. Super time trains too. Uh, what is this doing here? I'll hold up. Why is this guy a non-conformist? Oh, because it doesn't have any ammo. Oh, it actually did use most of it, so... Oh my lord, look at all the fucking ammo it has in this thing. So, why did it ever say greater than or equal to? Well, how does it keep going into here? Oh, because it actually it, it loads up 24k, that's why. We'll just do that one for now. It hits both Pathfinder and Lua. Uh, maybe I should not not ever use LTN then. Honestly, if they don't ever make it work with space elevators, I don't see me ever using it, to be honest. Um, okay, so how did you fill up all the way with this garbage, my friend? My friendo, why did you not... Okay, I thought I did the math pretty well on this, but... You know what it actually is? It's because it flipped and asked for it again. Why? Yeah, it's forever asking for it. What, what's the thing that's low? Oh, ammo. Um, great. Now it's all screwed up. Well, I'll just keep it here. Who cares, right? Oh, it's explosives that needs to be... Uh, have, like, a high number. All right, we're just going to keep it here. I don't really feel the need to... Maybe we shouldn't because it's actually an explosive train. Can't get in here. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, just because it has a lot of this stuff, let's go add a temporary stop like over here. Because I just want to unload everything else it has, I think. Because it's got a cargo condition of empty, yeah. And then it's going to have to ask for uh, the other thing, and then it's done. 
Slightly off-centered wagon? They're always slightly off-centered. That's how it goes. It's uh, the, the name of the game when you put so many uh, things here like that. Okay, so there's other problems, by the way. These are screwed up again. Fuck, how did this... I don't even know how I do this, by the way. I do it to myself. Um, something got screwed up with these. I don't know what it was. I think it was the data cards. But yeah, they, they're basically all full, and they shouldn't have even asked for another one over here. Maybe I should just stay under 500 or something. So what's this one's issue? It again, it asked for way too many of them. Probably because I have the same condition problem here. It probably should do the same for both. Well, I'll just take whatever it doesn't have then. I can't quite do the same thing with this one. Unfortunately, this is going to be completely filled the hell up, so... Actually, no, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll just kind of have way too much, and then I'll like leave. Okay, good, that, that's fixed. And another problem here. Yeah, so the data cards weren't out of sync, it was just the other things there. And they, they should have the orders to be completely full and empty. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know what happened here. Also, Ultium uses fewer trains, but creates more, a lot more trips since each trip must begin and terminate at a depot since you can't filter slots easily. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, I think Kako Mix uh, literally just unsold me off of ever using Ultium, to be honest. I, I was going to try a run with it at one point, maybe, but I, I wasn't sure. I want to see all what all the hubbub was about, but I think I, I think if you can deal with that, you might as well. Ever since they had a train limit, it's just like, uh, you know, you don't need it anymore, so. Are they all moving now or no? What's this missing? Material testing packs. Yeah, they're all going. Okay, let's go do the last part then. Let's see, so we got this one first. All right, so we need this one here. Friction, that thing, this thing, and that thing. Yeah, I was considering using mixed supply depot so you can load all things at once. But you could do that as well with just regular uh, with stuff here, so I don't know. I, I'm more I'm more amused at this point <laughs> at all the things. I think I think I'll just watch someone do LTN from the beginning kind of thing. I'll just get I'll get a good idea of how it is because I'm just uh I'm just not sold on it now. So but we'll see, I guess. Find and count, count, find and count. That is wrong. That one. Item count. I gotta say though, making a system like this where it could ba basically can uh, go to stops and just load it up like this, this has been really, really amazing to do. Because it, it does, it makes things a little bit more convoluted, but at the same time, it does make things a lot easier to deal with. So, like, you can scale it up really easily if you just add more speeds and prods and stuff to it. Or you just copy and paste a stop and it just starts making more of whatever it is, you know? That kind of stuff is really amazing with it. Uh, we're going to go take it to Material Energy. And it's going to be a... I guess I didn't quite name the stop for that yet. No, I didn't. Material 
Material 3. Do I call it Material 3? No, no, no. I call it uh, that thing, and this is a buffer stub. I, I'm kind of interested to try pies and do something similar to this, though. That might be a little bit fun. Or torturous, depending upon your point of view. Provider. There we go. Another thing I should do is I should make sure that these do not take one of them. Guess I haven't done energy science yet, which I have to do next. Is there anything good at, 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 at basically Matt Science um, 3 that's actually worthwhile? I don't think there is. I think it's just to get spaceship uh, um, structural integrity upgrades. Alright, and you do the buffer for that until you're empty and then it repeats but I need to give it a refueling stop yeah, I think it's about good to go just have to give it a Unfortunately, it's not quite ready to go yet. Let me just make sure that the conditions for these are all accurate. It's got 1.2k of those, so... Well, I just realized I didn't quite limit these chests. Let me do those before it's uh, too late. So what's that waiting on right now? It's waiting on Matt Science Packs. Okay. Well, they're all doing things right now, so... I could add another one or two of them, but uh, to be honest, I think it's actually just reached the limit of how much it can have or something. What the hell is it, what, what is it doing right now? It's waiting for... Fuck, it's always the... It's always the iron. Iron is always the problem. And we should do something about that, but we're not going to because... Um... It'll, it'll work eventually. Let's see, iron plates. To be honest, it would be the funniest thing if we just send uh, the iron plates from here. Because look at me, I have 901k iron plates. This is like two rockets I could send over, you know? Why don't we just do that? It's like, that's easy, easy amount of iron plates to basically work with. To get rid of these anyways so they're just sitting here they're not doing anything so Let's go send it over here. I mean, that's that's what we'll do with it. I don't know exactly where to send it off to because I think I have some very random stops here. But yeah, probably this one. I don't know. Yeah, this one would probably be a good place for it. Yeah, I have 40k iron plates at my disposal, but I think that's because it's in something that it's not supposed to be. Uh, I probably provide it here? No, I don't. Yeah, I literally could just, you know, have it come over here and that's it. Be done with it, you know? The other thing we could do is we could just, you know, just launch the bloody rocket, because it's almost full, I'm sure. Buy and go. Go do your thing. 
But yeah, that, there's a lot of iron requirements up here, so we'll just go with that. Iron plates. We'll see that middle one, that's a problem actually. But I'll, I'll put them on all of them and I'll be okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, so that train's just gonna be uh, useless for a little bit here, but that's okay. We can also start adding uh, another thing here for the, this material science stuff. This is what? This is, uh, I don't know what it is. Over. This one. Alright, and the last but not least, I'll probably wait on that one a little bit before I actually uh, add that to it, because I want the mat science, it's not inside I need right now. If, okay, so the last thing we need for this one is to, so we're done with that, we need to go up one and we need to say, uh, so for material science three, what do we need? That's a lot of, uh, data it's, it's like what 56.2 divided by 3.7 right 15.9 so I think we can have about two slots of each about except for the um, the first level of science actually no it's it got two slots of everything I'll be okay Okay, let's do that then. And that one can't do anything. So we say you can have... Well, at least we don't have any problems with material science back twos. <laughs> Just... Uh, so we need some comprehensive catalog, which we're not making right now because... Reasons. The last one is what? Oh, the insight, yeah. And we say it's uh, bearings. Okay. Elevator to here. I have no idea what a kind of cargo count this is going to want. Guess I should do the math on that real fast. 50. Okay, so 50 times what? 50 times, I think that's 32 times 4 wagons. 6,400. Okay. Easily. If anyone can do math on that uh, in an instant, I would be seriously impressed on that. But I'm not a math guy, so... Well, I, I kind of am a math guy, but it, it, I'm more of a like a computer math guy. So basically, uh, the worst kind. Uh, what does this need? Okay, so we need to get significant data. So we need to get the labs. Significant data. That would be right here. Provider until it has. I think I had two. I think it's four hundred, not inactivity. This is probably the more annoying, uh, the annoying part about doing it like in a system like this because it's just like, yeah, you do have to do every single basically kind of thing under the sun for it, um, and you gotta do the numbers for it. But once you kind of get it going and and you get it going really well, it's like oh, then it's like really easy to to add things to it. So you're basically like shuffling a lot of the complexity of your base to other things, so. Which I don't find to be too problematic. I'm gonna do the science provider first. Uh, that's weird, why do I not have one here? What's it called? Um. 
Oh, it's called Tech Roach, of course. I should have known. There we go. It was it was just part of the copying and pasting adventures that I had going on. Good old Tech Roach. What's your maximum iridium bar production? Well, it was zero before. Uh, hopefully it's going a little bit better. I targeted one, uh, basically 1,000, I'll say. So 1,000 bars is what I was going for. So you can see it kind of hopping up to eight, 800 back down. Um, if there's any number of reasons for that. It's It's got problems here though, I'll say. It's not a very well designed system that's uh, robust. So the thing it's mostly worried about right now is I can't get enough uh, resources for it right now. Seeing what the conditions on this one are. Come on, can I just? Yeah. Oh yeah, but these are completely messed up right now. It's so bad. Fuck. They're so uneven. And I have to go there to fix it if I want to fix it. So, uh, there, By the way, this is a major rework for, the, for this one, so... You know what it is, a lot of it as well? A lot of it is that it cannot load it fast enough uh, on, on the side as well. Or so, I don't know what it is. Let me just say, it's, it's not supposed to be like that. It's got a lot of problems, so... But yeah, 1000 was what I went for. Uh, because I want speed modules first off, and I want... Um, I want, well, obviously Iridium Science is good, but also per Pile Drivers was also another one, so. I scaled it extremely hard and it's a setup I do not exactly like, so. It's uh, got some flaws in it, so. But when I, next time I'm there, I'm going to essentially fix it again. In the same way I fixed Vulcanite, which is remove the two A-trains and put it as one fours and some other stuff, so. That was, that was literally all the things I kind of came down to and did to it. So, but yeah, that's how much I did. I want speed modules. That's what it is. I, I want to get the good speed modules, but I haven't quite started investing into that that heavily. At least not yet. It will be soon. Oh wait, that's supposed to be here. Well, yeah, we're uh, we're pretty much in that boat right now. We're we're getting close though to a lot of this stuff though. I keep saying we got spaceships ages ago, and like it's like uh, it's a slow it's been a slow grind towards uh, getting everything I need for that too. We'll look for uh, bearings equals to zero. You you don't know if your iridium has even as much nodes for such. I mean, mine's Cornetto, and it actually has a lot of it. Like mine's uh, how much uh do I have? But that's definitely was one of the considerations. Cornetto has like 142 percent frequency of uh, iridite, 181 and 181 richness. But like my other options are like, I guess I should always turn this on, shouldn't I? This stuff. I don't know why I don't have this on, but yeah, my other options are like, um, it was the one I was going to go to was not Plato. It was, uh, yeah, so Jet Nova has a little bit too. It's Hador, I think, or was it Daryun? No, Daryun has it. It's got, this is where I was going to get core fragment miners going for these ones. So that one's a good one there, but it has a lot of biters on it, unfortunately. So and when I say a lot of biters, I mean a lot of biters. They're biterlicious. Okay, we may need more mat testing packs. Wonder if uh Yeah, they're still going. They're gonna take their time. This doesn't seem like a lot of bots. I only put 49 down. Are you shitting me? 
I can definitely upgrade that a little bit. Okay, well, here's the thing. I actually did ask for more. But it was, uh, I guess we're not asking for them here, so. We don't need beacons, these crappy beacons here anymore. Oh, I'll just let it deliver a bunch more stuff here. Oh yeah, here's the thing. Do I have, oh, I never, I, I should look at that actually. Okay, novice, where's novice at? What's it doing right now for brilliant plates? Oh, I guess it. I guess it literally took one of the brilliant. Yeah, it did take a brilliant stack for itself. I kind of didn't want it to do that. I'm not gonna lie, but because it's basically keeping everything else screwed up here. But that's okay. I don't mind it now. I, I don't. Whatever. We'll just deal with it. Um, all right. So this is basically done. Gotta make this into a provider. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Where's Redeem? Oh, it's not, not on that side. <laughs> Come on. Sound like just clicking too fast now. That's not active provider, it's just a provider. Yeah, that one's fine. So, what's it waiting on right now? Oh, I think I put it, it's supposed to be, it doubled up. Is it? 1600, right? Oh. I guess it was actually triple. So where's the train that has all of the good stuff over here? Yeah, we can do this then. There's also a good excuse for me to maybe start screwing around with my science. I don't know. Uh, the question is, do I or do I not? By the way, is there any way to retarget a uh, rocket based upon circuit? Um, you shouldn't need to retarget. Oh, you mean like target specific planets or something? No, you can't do it based upon circuits. But it, it does have like a nice little train based system. So like, for example, like me calling this Polyum ingots will go any landing pad with name, so you don't need to do that. Um, you can also shut down a, uh, a cargo stop with the, the on signal green and when cargo full. You can do conditions like that, so that's usually enough for your logistics needs, you know, right there. So. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm gonna ignore it and um, I could go to Cornetto and fix some stuff, but I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to redo, well not redo, but I'm going to improve my energy science again. And I'm gonna do the same things I did with all of it right here. Um, Cause I liked it and it was good. But it means that this needs to be moved up here, that needs to be moved down here, and I need to check out the numbers and then we get to work on energy three. And then after energy three is done, uh, that's enough to get all our ships going, kind of thing. And that will probably take a little bit to go. Speaking of, we should probably keep this going then. Do I have my, uh, I do not have my construction pile on. Let me go get that. I guarantee that's down on the surface, so. Uh, plans do have cir IDs for circuits, but that's ships only. You're correct, that's only ships. Because that, that one you would need to automate. That The rockets you really don't need to automate, believe it or not. It's actually fine the way it is. You do not need to automate it with that, so you can do it just fine like that. Alright, let's see. Let's go again, ride. So, there's a couple things we're going to have to do, but I want to get energy a little bit better before that, because I think if I look at the numbers that it wants, let's go back to here. The mat energy science pack, yeah, it's a it's a 16 gigawatt array, as it is. It's actually not terrible, believe it or not. It's actually quite manageable. I wonder why it's so low. Oh, I need to do this.
Actually, I don't want to delete these. I just change my mind. keep going with that, but let's just do this for now. I probably should just, uh, you know what, I'm going to just make a tileable, copy and pasteable thing for it then. I don't know why I'm doing that, actually. It's like one, two, three, four, one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five. Um, what should that one be? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one, seven, two. Oh, because it shares a little bit of it, that's why. Uh, one second. I can come back into here. I can just lower it by um, the height by 2. Or, sorry, 58. Nope, that's still wrong. I have to raise it by that much or something. Okay, then I really copied it wrong then. 7... 16, yeah, supposed to be, it was supposed to be a little bit more than that. Let me delete that. Let's get 8 over here. No, it's 9. So, let's see. 17. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Hmm? Do the one in the middle of the array? What do you mean by that? I'm going to the... Okay, it has to just... The y-axis has to come up just slightly. Uh, nope, that's not, not correct. I think it's like two tiles, actually, it was. No, actually, it's a lot worse than that. Never mind, sorry. I, I thought it was easier, but no. Yeah, it's getting close. So the X needs to go back by, maybe forward again by another 34. Let's try that one first. Nope, that needs to go back. I think the X axis four is gonna suck no matter what. Maybe I shouldn't even bother with this unit. Let's just do relative, I don't even care. <laughs> and grid position, negative, so two, or sorry, negative two. Now it's grid position, never mind. It's, uh, I'm looking for height, grid size. Height is, maybe it's four actually, and then I update the grid position to be up by that. Yeah, there you go. That one's fine. Yeah, there you go. But this one you could definitely make into a grid. All right, now that that's done, maybe I will do it as a absolute position grid. One second, let me go copy into here so I have an easier time. This is, I'm going to be using this all the time, so you might as well, right? It's a X. Oh, that's like basically done, actually. Just one off. And this one is negative 20, I think it was. Almost there. Almost there, and let's try 10. Maybe like, yeah, let's try 10. Uh, it's off by like one.
Nope, it's now it's, it was eleven. My bad. There you go. That's yeah, all in a grid. And it even includes the uh, the thing it's supposed to do there too, which is nice. We put a charging spot for it down here. Oh, stop. Don't, uh, don't do that. I was wondering why they weren't doing anything, and that would be why. Hey, Damsel. Shift click the image to adjust the blueprint offset. Can you? One second. How's that? I, I, I need to know if that's a thing. One second, I'm not gonna do it on the one I've already done. Let's see, shift click. What are you talking about? Like, oh, like that. Oh, I didn't even realize you could do that. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure if, uh, I guess I, I guess that would have helped actually. All right, the more you know. I didn't actually realize that was the thing I learned today. That's super handy, yeah. Today I learned. I'm not sure how useful it would be in my case because I was dealing with like literal literal pixels in this case, but yeah. Still really cool. That is definitely the most obscure tip I've ever seen, by the way. We could actually have a couple more in here. Wow. Putting all this slaughter we can. We need space in the way. Space rail's in the way there. Oh, but but now it's not now it's like an odd number now, so I can't have that. Un, that's illegal. It messes with the symmetry, can't have that. Oh technically it's not symmetrical anyways because it's not up here symmetrical. But I'm not I'm not rebuilding this entire thing, it's okay. I'll just be like that forever. Just the way I like it. see here. There's a lot of bots like just going all over the place randomly. Alright, it's time for the f my favorite day of the week, which is uh, completely destroying and remaking some kind of science. Because I have to. Honestly, we could... No, no, we're gonna do it. No, no, no. I'm like, we could go to the other planet, go do the other step, but I'm like, no, no, no. We're not doing that. It's not allowed. Do not the trains. Uh, tiles, yes. Train stop names, no. Modules, entities. It was here. Oh, well, I have to do one at a time then. Is here, right? Yeah, that's where it is. Like, why didn't I see it on the map? Oops. We don't actually need so much over here. I could almost like destroy this then.
Now see, science kind of works damn well in city blocks since both of them are pretty self-contained. Just juggling all kinds of random fluids is kind of annoying. Yeah, but mine's like a pure thing. Although I'll say though, a lot of the cards get used in other things, which is really random. Um, so it it's not necessarily self-contained. There's some leakage outside of that system, mostly in the fact that like cards get used in like uh, one of them was like a broad. Um, well, they get used a little bit in like productivity models for the for for some of the things, but other things is like uh, let me see here. I, I had one somewhere. Where was that? I think it's Astro. Yeah, Astro used a bit of broad deep space science catalog, which is annoying. So I had to make sure I, I accounted for that. You, you check cards for that before I make a block. Yeah, for me, it's a lot easier because I get to just do this then. I guess I get to just copy and paste the entire bloody thing and that's it, so. All right, let's start looking at the science from the, the top down. So here's the top one here. So I may have made too little electromagnetic facilities. Whoops, because I definitely do not have 25 of these. Um, we also didn't didn't we also made way more radiation facilities than we ever would have possibly needed And then there's laser facilities of 9.6, which I you can tell right here. I only made eight of them So and then this uh, conductivity data I made way more of that too. So so I feel like this is a really easy one to do which is just uh, take out half of this and To move it to the other side. And that's it. So it's actually really easy to fix What's this one? This is the uh, Electromagnetic field data. I feel like electromagnetic field data just needs its own bloody block, and that's it. Um, where that will be, maybe over here somewhere? I don't know. Because that just needs its own block. I'm just going to say that right now, because that needs way too many. 25 of these things? Are you kidding me? Because I, I only can make eight at a time, you know? So. That's a, that's a bad one. Also, as a part of this, I need to redo this thing. This thing is a problem here as well. Um, I'm just debating what the best way of me doing this is. I might do something where trains come in and just drop off materials. It's probably what I should do with it, to be honest. Because it barely needs that many, uh, that much uh, of anything, actually. So it's probably the best thing to do. I might, I might just make a bunch of blocks for that. I could even keep it separate because what I the current system I have right now is it just goes and moves it into here and then this has although this doesn't this requires iron plates never mind uh, but you know what it still could work actually we could do this for sure all right we may make a really sick system for this I'll see though I think I kind of have an idea of how to solve this without like using stupid bots for this because I hate bots. Bots are smelly. Bots are smelly like novice. Because I had a system here before and I didn't like it. Uh, I'm debating where to move it though. Yo, stinky. <laughs> Damsel's always got my back. I'll probably make it up here is where I'll do it. Because I kind of want to make the bit of mallage over here. Oh, no, no, I'll make it over here. So this is a good place to have this anyways, actually. This is good. Because it's near the spaceships, too. I just want to make sure I have an adequate amount of room. Because the road port range for this right now. That's pretty good. I'll let them. I'll let them go do their thing, and then I'll. Uh, uh, this need some better chargers over here. But yeah, my intent is just to move move all this over there, and then uh, then it's done. I guess I don't know what. Cult of Zol is spreading. 
that it is. All right, we can delete these. We have to start removing this slowly and surely. Just, I'm just debating where to move uh, that dumb... Dude, I actually already made like 60 of them there. Technically speaking, I only need like one more set of that, but that's, a, that's like its own block. It's crazy. <laughs> Why does it need so much? I don't know. Uh, let me see what the next one needs before I get too carried away. Five, that, that, and 11.5 electromagnetics, yeah. I, I really think I should move it to its own block. Just that one type of science, or this thing here. Because I need, essentially what I see, what you see here is eight of them, and I need double that. Either that, or can I make, no, there's no way I can like make that more efficient. There's just no, there's no way that happens. I could have made these pipes a hell of a lot better, actually. No, I can't have, actually. Oh my god, they just look like total junk. I hate them. Yeah, that, that fits about this thing. I hear Mike using Zol words often, all the time. How's your day, Mike? It's going pretty good, I have to say. I woke up extremely late and then just started playing Factorio, so... Um, so then I have to do my work for today at some point or another. At some point. Nice, relatable, yeah. I, I, I just started working late at night because everyone streams this game late at night, so I'm just like, why not? I get to work whenever I want to, so I guess uh, it works out. Why are they all going over here, by the way? Oh, that would be why. It has a bunch of things here for it. Well then, I want this to stop forever. That would explain why I saw a bunch of uh, iron plates in there, so... Suddenly, things make sense of why they're the way they are, so... I shouldn't be doing that, because that's such a waste of logistic bots. I just thought I had randomly, like, some that were just not needed. So, go figure, right? Uh, is there a reason why this is not coming yet? Uh, I guess it just... It's a buffer station for this. Seems like it's a little out of whack there, isn't it? What's the conditions on that? Oh, I, I checked to see if the data cards are too low. I'm gonna guess that it, uh... Well, how did that happen, actually? One second, how did it even do that? Quite honestly, it should not have that kind of condition. I'm just gonna leave it, because I just don't care right now. Yeah, it's rather perfect. I miss uh, my factory. I gotta do other things after I eat. Uh, are you streaming today? Hopefully you are. I can only hope. Uh, well, may maybe I should just make thinly veiled bets. You better be streaming now, just uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding around. Thinly veiled threats of being toxic. Um, I'm not. Oh, SE is the ultimate do dopamine reward mod. It actually, it absolutely, one hundred percent is. Where is my fluid? Why is it over there? This is so dumb. Why did I do this? I hate myself. I did something like this over here, which is really weird. My God, I got, I got to change this it, right? oh, completely. <laughs> Tell me you tested it. Mikella one love. Oh, thank you. Mikella one love. Thank you, Spuxers. You gotta learn some songzels. I'm trying to think she's the one who uses the, the zol words. She made this happen. Yeah, I'm on like support ticket day, so I have to do some of that at some point. Let's see how that goes. Oh, don't do that. I kind of didn't want to be refactoring science again, but I don't really have a choice. I see it's been your lockdown, cru Cruxel. Yeah, I know. You accepted a gig next Saturday. Oh, congratulations.
Where are these guys going? Oh. <laughs> well, I can't really do anything else here, but that's fine. It means my construction bots are going to be pretty useless for the next little while here. Um, yeah, that's the main problem. They, they, they actually physically can't get over here, too. Fly halos? Yeah, I know. What are these jerks still doing? Oh, because the... Alright, because they... Since the construction bots are busy, they can never get rid of the other things here. Because I told it to not do this. Because I want them to stop doing that, because it's such a waste of uh, bots. So many dead bots here because of this. Well, let's see here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to redo over here, but yeah, we'll be okay. Let me get all the bots over here first. Alright, let's go... Uh, what are they all doing right now? Are they just like in here or something? I guess they are. Alright, I have an idea of how to potentially speed this up though. Give them a single um, supercharger station for every single one of these. Because otherwise we're going to be here literally all day. So. Actually, no, I'm trying to delete this. What am I doing? They're slow, slow, and slower. I'm just trying to rip up all this stuff, because A, it's using the bad um, substation pylons, and B, I want it to be far away from the space elevator. Can you get more uh, superchargers, or what? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Where are they at? I think it did give it to me, I just can't notice it. Oh no, they're coming now. Do the song about biters being decimated? That, I would like that song. Dumbzle, you're are you more into vocals or do you play some kind of instrument or, or what? Because you said, you mentioned music and now, now I'm curious now. I need to, I need to pry unnecessarily into questions like this. Because I'm actually now, you, you it's, it's, I'm just curious now at this point. Something like that, lyrics are somewhere pretty funny. Oh, so so it is it is like lyrics and you sing and also play guitar piano. Oh, okay. Alright, that makes sense. Guitar and piano. At the same time? Please say yes. <laughs> At the same time, wow. Now I'm just disappointed. I had this amazing badass image of you and it just got shattered just like that. Truly you do this to yourself. <laughs> Damn it, how will you ever impress me? Honestly, it's really not that important to impress me. It's okay. You can you can impress me by making really some more really nice knife throws and uh, 
and uh, Factorio Ness stuff or whatever. That's 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 how you. I'll just have to suffer with that, you know. <laughs> you just said that. Oh, there you go. See, there you go. Great minds think alike. There you are. What am I even going to use this little mini block for? I don't even know. I just realized I made this here. Oh, well. Uh, what's, what are these guys doing? Oh, yeah, they're just getting rid of that, huh? Oh. Oh wait, let me just... Okay, it's all good. Alright, let's do that one and a little bit over here too, and then... Uh... Oh shit, I'm sorry. I mean to, these guys to be out. Is this actually connected? I don't think it is. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a pain to actually get that connected, I just realized. Oh my god, it's, it's, uh... Logistics supply area is, uh, 64, even though the construction area is, like, 256 or whatever. Um... I'm just going to do something separate for it, I guess. Oopsies. Do I have a, uh, let's see, a supercharger? There we go. Where's my, uh, rail grid? There it is. So otherwise this will never connect, and we'll just connect it through, uh, these, these stations. They'll get there somehow. I heard about Big Bang Theory being wrong. I don't get it because I think I thought some team proved the theory of a couple years back. But the TV show was wrong? They're going to have to make another TV show now. They got to restart the entire series all over again. <laughs> you have four years and it'll be right again. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Oh, my bots are off right now. There. Okay, there you go. Hopefully that's enough space for them to navigate around. Oh, well, apparently it might not be. I just want to have a second. I'll just do like this. And the rest is just really fun. I don't have to do anything else with it. Just for whatever reason, it wasn't placing down there. The rest of the stuff, yeah. Man, like ga the galaxies. Do one more over here. All right, let's just let them do their thing. All right, let's go back to energy science. So, was it a small bang then? Just a mini bang. They were they were halfway through the bang and then realized what a mistake it was. Oh, it's I just realized that this is going to be kind of wrong now, but that's okay. I mean, you know what we should do? We should just delete all of the um, solar panels and lights.
No, don't, don't, I don't want to do it. How much power do we have now? 50 gigawatts, yeah, okay. I like, I like seeing all these uh, bots going crazy all, all over here. It's, it's great, actually fun. All right, let's go back to what we're doing for it. Oh man, do bot batteries ever get better? Only, only if you're playing K2. The speed indirectly makes the bot batteries better because they go faster on the same amount of, of uh, battery, essentially. That's really the only thing you can do with it. That's the only options you got. But yeah, if you want, if you want better bot batteries, you just install K2 then. That's it. Well, it looks like my bots are busy doing something being dumb, so... No time to restart K2. Just install K2, exactly. Preferably not in the middle of your run, but you know. Some pretty funky music, what is this? Ah, it's just Retrowave, that's what it is. Oh, I think, I, I think I'm out of... Uh, I'm out of um, platform, or what? Oh yeah, we totally are running out, by the way. I'm just gonna go pick some up somewhere. There's all this. Oh, this is what I was trying to do before. I like the advanced K2 buildings, and then uh, I'll remove the rest of K2. Bob has a has a, a couple of advanced buildings that you can actually play around with for that. So if you if you don't want to if you don't want to quite go full K2, you could always do that. You know. Where's my bot that I have going here? Get over here. Get over here, Junior. There he is. I just like smaller footprint production chains. That's part of the fun, though, is uh, you have a big-ass factory for no reason, you know? What we should do, we should make this one building that, that just basically launches satellite and costs one iron ore, and then you win the game. Modders, get on that. That That's what this game needs. That's the smallest production chain you could possibly get, you know? That's it. Do you change your player color to be dark so the bot lines are less visible? Um, kind of, yeah. I did that, I did that a long time ago. <laughs> that's some invest in technology. Listen, it just it it just uses uh, I don't know, uses science and shit. You know, that's that's all it needs. You know, that's it. Bring your production chains and say just add angels to the mix. Hey, I didn't say I wanted that. We were we were talking about how to how to make it easier. I figured that was the easiest way. You can finish the speed run the game. Finish it in about like uh, like two seconds flat. You know, there you go. And then you're free from the curse that is Factorio, and that's it. Oh, these are gonna take a bit. Get ready for the worst construction project I've ever made. Here we go. Oh my god, my game actually lagged for a second. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what are you making me? Do? It just uh, you can feel the computer groaning when when it, when I did that. There you go. 
Alright, how much power do we have now, I wonder? Okay, we're back down to about 30 gigawatts, so. But we're going to continue to build over here, so. On a mod that randomizes building sizes? <laughs> that would be pretty good. That would, Dude, how annoying would that... Well, actually, no. How would that even work, technically speaking? I don't even know. Has anyone played around with the opening screen skins? You can put your own save games into them. That's kind of funny. I, I haven't played with them. I know you can zoom out of them, which can break the uh, immersion for some of them. Tetris buildings? Actually, wait one second. I think there's a couple more I can basically throw them into here. How many do I have for solar panels? Apparently a lot. Probably shouldn't even be doing it. Dude, I'm, this is like taking too much time. Let me just leave. Just leave it to the bots to do it. Uh, let's see. So we got that little project still going. Yeah. <laughs> the sheer amount of bots is slowing down our game now. No, don't do that. Get back here, you jerks. There we go. Alright, did it kind of finish mostly with what I was building here? The answer is no. A very distinct no and screw you sincerely, the bots. But this is a project I know I wanted to do anyways at some point. Um, I guess some of them are smart in using the superchargers and some of them are not. But honestly, I should probably just delete the, the road ports too. No, because those are the ones that actually have range on them. Fuck. Forgot that, like, uh, the uh, superchargers, while they're great at uh, everything else, they're really bad at, uh, at construction range. So I'll just leave it the way it is. They'll, be, they'll finish off eventually. How many bots is that? That's 5k bots. I don't really feel like making any more than that because I feel like that's a bad idea. Because if I have a construction project that's uh, that's over that much, it's I'm probably doing it wrong. And also I probably should use more um, buffer chests so they don't have to go that far. But then again, that's a usage of uh, bots that I don't want to really get into. <laughs> oh my god, you can... it's definitely slowing down a little bit here. What I might do is I might go just get a bunch of, uh, I might go get a bunch of scaffold and I'll just, uh, take it with me and I'll just place some down myself. Where have they been going? There they are. It's gotta be something else with scaffold, right? That's the main one, right? This one also has a lot of it. I must escape the bots.
Probably shouldn't even be having him do this. I'm just trying to move around my science, uh, my mostly the energy science right now, so. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Do I even need this much? I don't think I need this much, right? What is this for? Yeah, I don't really need this much. I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, well, too late to start changing my mind now. So I'm 90% sure, because I'm copying this, so I don't even use the side here, and I... Well, actually, I do use it all the way there, but I definitely don't use the side on, on uh, over there. Let's go get some more. Why are, why are they all coming to me? What do I have here? Oh, I had some with me. Oh, I didn't even realize it. Can drop all those ship parts? No. That's impossible. I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of madman would drop spaceship parts of all things? What do you hate fun? But you're right. Don't worry, I'm, I'm all good. I never have inventory problems. To be honest, there's probably a lot more in the inventory which I don't need, so... The kind of ships we got now? The kind that I need more structural integrity for, unfortunately. Which is why we're doing energy science right now. But uh, I figured it was a good excuse to actually redo some of the inefficiencies I had in my science here, so. Uh, despite what it may seem, I am not the perfect Factorio player, um, so. I know, I know, it's a shock to us all. I kind of I kind of miscalculated how much uh, science out needs so but energy 3 is a big step up actually because we get a we get faster robots again and I want supercomputers so badly because that means less data cards like that one is actually the best one like see you get the 80 percent and 19 percent for that one and they get the quantum supercomputers Wow, I'm, quite, I'm shocked I've been misled. Yeah, you have. I've been lying this entire time. It's the, uh, yeah, you get the 70%. So you get 10% more data cards back, which is sweet. I like that so much. All right. I wonder what these guys are still doing. Yeah, they're still just deleting. Oh my God. They're going to be at this for a while, aren't they? You know, I wonder, why do I not have any of these, uh, these guys yet? Oh, wait, wait, how do I not have solenoids? That's the one thing I should have. Your requester. There's probably something wrong with it down here. Well... How the fuck did this happen? Okay, you came into here. You couldn't add any more, naturally. But you're supposed to be off. Why are you not off? Oh, because you don't set the train limit, so... You just decided to be weird.
How much do these things need for solenoid things? Oh, it's just a ton of cables and a ton of like... A hole in plates, that's why. Oh well, that'll solve that. Yeah, you guys need to go home. Get out of here. Look at them, look at them vultures trying to get in here. The vulture trains, I tell you. Is there anything else that we want to do for this? I guess this is all done. Oh no, there's a little mini patch of Crynite. Well, I can't stand. I've been pretty good about removing all of it, so... Oh, there's this, like, iron ore here for some reason that I need to get rid of, too. There's even some coal here, too, to go with it. I've been trying to clean up the planet, so... Uh, you know, because the random generation just put trash everywhere, so, you know. Alright. Let's do some of this stuff. Well, not all this copied over properly. Comprehensive, and we don't have the last one, so we don't have to care about that. Right. Then reach funny that you reach a point where you're like, please don't or I'm good. No, <laughs> not in this run. I, I don't have that problem. I don't I literally do not have that issue and I I need more. <laughs> I need it. That's why well, that's why you see me trying to re-salvage all this stuff that I have here, because I need it. I need it all. Alright, they may be having a little bit of issues making over here. Why are they coming over here? Because uh, I think it's just I copied this over here. Oh, you mean on the home base? Please get out of the way. On the home base? Oh, yeah, that. I mean, it, I'm still using it, to be fair, but yeah. But the thing is, like, I have that little thing of a bob where it's like a... Um, it, it points out the ore thing, so... I kind of feel like I want to basically just rip it up and get rid of it, kind of thing. I don't want to just build on top of it, right? I'll feel more accomplished that way, you know? In a un completely unnecessary and unfactorial fashion. Yeah, let's turn on personal logistics again. Oh, it's... Uh, Got a lot of stuff here for me. All right, so we need to do some copy pasta. Where is it at? I mean, we don't even have to copy paste it. We can just say, I don't know, I kind of want to copy paste it. Uh, where's it at? Fuck. Well, I just realized I did something very wrong. This is not where this was meant to be. It was meant to be up there. So, um, I just realized it was in the wrong block. Go figure, right? It was actually supposed to be here. <laughs> so, whoops. And let's go delete this. But the, the, the thing on the ground is fine. That, that, that's not a problem. I'll use the scaffolding soon. But the rest of this uh, doesn't belong here, so... I was just looking for it, and then I realized it was a problem. How about don't sing into my ears? Let's go. Yeah, I kind of like the last one we were listening to. That one was nice, so we're gonna we're gonna listen to that one again. It was good. Nobody saw that. Yeah, we just, uh... Give it a good old... Recopy-paste... A bowl, zol... Or whatever. Now we're saying zol words again. Bad, bad influence. Alright, let's see. Grid... 
Where are my bots at? They're just partying. It'll be fine. You're addicted to ITB again? Thanks. I don't know what ITB is. Is that like a Terraria thing? I could never get into Terraria, unfortunately, but then again, I, I kind of totally missed its golden age, so that was me. I tried to play it on stream once and it was a... Uh, I, I, it was also the fact I think uh, my the friend I played it with, uh, Pat, basically chose, I think, the worst settings for it. He said he shouldn't have put it on hard mode, that's what he told me. You may, you may have deduced from my personality, I kind of like difficult games, but he said for that one it didn't make sense. Are the bots coming for this stuff or what? Yeah. The tree you want to play on master mode? Yeah, now, now I don't even know what that is anymore because I it's been so long since I've played it, so... I need to... Let me go get a couple more of these things. I also have a ton of scrap here just randomly just sitting around. That is not one of the things we want to do. Oh, never mind. We do want to do that. Alright. I kind of said I wouldn't be the one doing this, but I don't know. here I am doing it. So the main thing I want to do is I want to move the uh, radar thing over there. And, uh, yeah. How much power do we have now out of this? Yeah, so we're up, back, we're up to 31 gigawatts now, again. Let's turn off this thing. Because I want to just make sure it's available over there, so let's see here. There you go, that handles all that. Can they just not? Okay, good, they can make it. That's good. Uh, what's the. What's the. Uh, yeah, that, that's a mod I'm using this, uh, to basically do it. It's, that's mouse over construction. I did that instead of uh, using. Um, what was it? Like nanobots or, or early game bots, I basically bounce over it, it just constructs. And that's a nice thing. And you can toggle it too, which is super cool. I, that's one of the ones I'm a fan of because I want to try an alternative to nanobots because I, I use nanobots and then it's like, well, you know, on one hand, I don't want to just manually place everything. That's annoying. But on the other hand, like being able to place like blueprints is pretty OP early on. So, you know, I, I wanted a nice in between. That was the in between I got. Cheater with the cheaty mods again. Exactly. Would you have it any other way? Completely unethical mod usage, you know? What can I say? I see. Oh, actually maybe we should keep this at zero. SE speedrun rejected by committee re review. Dang it. All right, we got to restart. 
Oh, there's no uh, exit here, huh? Got to start it over again. I'm gonna come out as a uh, come out as using my unethical mods and uh, uh, this is incorrect, by the way. It's going to be a buffer for that. That's going to be another little interesting construction project for them again. My hope is that they're going to kind of finish up whatever they're doing here, but you know. <laughs> I just like seeing all the bots doing things over here. It's pretty great. To be honest, this is probably something I should have let them do like later on. Uh, when I wasn't around trying to let them do things at this base, you know? But hey, it is what it is, right? I'm feeling like we might need some more storage in this, by the way. There you go. Storage problem solved. one is going to be this one here. I'm not going to bother changing these names right now. Okay, so we need to do a couple things here. First off, I'm going to request all of the energy insight into here. Bring all the catalogs over here. Okay, what else do we need? All right. Is there any reason why this doesn't have anything in it? Oh, it's just uh, it's emptying. That's why. Are bots cheating? Because, you know, bots are just constructing it for you. They're, they're technically cheating, are they not? And also trains are cheating, because why not just transport it yourself, you know? Why are you using unethical trains for that, you know, kind of thing? Hey, Shaz! Has a bot union contacted you for an unethical practices with all that removal? No. Then they could stuff it, because, uh, you know, I'm going to just do what I want. Uh, I think they're also having some issues uh, pathfinding over there, by the way. Um, let me uh, get these trains to go somewhere else. One second, I'm gonna move these trains first. That would be not the new one. in the orders. There you go. Get out of here.
All right, let's go. Uh, we'll also get the science up here too. I just realized I'm gonna be tearing that out new place. And uh, that's it, it's going. I uh, may not be able to get rid of, yeah, this one, I, I forgot I did this with it. Well, we can delete the rest of this at least for now. I have to shuffle it around because I just, it was a grievous error. And I shouldn't have done it like that, but that's fine. The time to blast Scott Save the Queen. I'm not doing anything of that sort. Chaz, I'm not I'm not a confrontational person. I'm very sensitive. I'm not mean. That's a mean thing to do. Can't just say things like that. Mike sensitive? I am sensitive. I literally, I heard the news and I cried today, right? And then immediately started at Factorio right after that, so. That's, that's as sensitive as I get. That's it. And the crying wasn't just I haven't played Factorio for a couple days. Although it may have been. Let's <laughs> see be that happy. Wow. It took you two, two extra 10 seconds to hit. 10 seconds to start streaming OBS, yeah. We could, well, because there was an update, that's why. <laughs> what could I do? Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot of uh, bot action going on here. Okay, so none of the bots are right now going up here, by the way, so... They're all kind of stuck in these areas, which is kind of funny. And in their own right. Well, hopefully they'll actually finish what they're doing here now. Um, it looks like that is that not in a yeah, it's not in construction good. I'll just I'll get that to go. I have uh, flat sellers with me right now, so. I, is it 5k like the cap that you should have for construction bots? I actually don't know what the number it should be, to be honest. I, I always just make it 5k and it's usually good enough, so. All I can say is thank god these aren't logistic bots, because, uh, yeah, that would be a real pain. Okay, they, they did their thing. Alright. Um, still kind of concerning that literally no bots have come up here at all. They're, ju they're just stuck on this project right now. I figured some of it was that they were like getting stuck in between going down here and up kind of a thing. Visible observation data. Yeah, we can just put that into the network again. Um, maybe. There you go. I guess. I guess while we're you know waiting for that to go on, I'll, I guess I'll move these guys over because I kind of need to. So. So what does it need? It just needs ion stream and uh, basically every other kind of fluid under the sun. Yeah, that sounds about right.
All right, and then, uh, yeah, then we start copying these, so good times. Guess I could just copy it, like, from the thing up here, too. You cannot build an empty space. Oh, it's the wrong way. And then we take this guy and we double it. Just like that. So this is right now, how many of this? 32 and the recipe called for 25, so that's good. We could do this many. That's 24, though. I'd rather make a little bit too much and a little bit too little bit. You, you get the idea. I don't even know why it asks this much of me for this stuff, but you know, whatever. Just SC things, I guess. Well, I know why, actually, to be honest. So why am I saying I don't know why? I do know why. Uh, let me just make sure this is not going to come in. There you go. All right, let's calculate how much fluid this needs. Um. So this is like 13, let's do 14k fluid, so, and it's also the, not the super cooled one, it's like the, the not so super cooled one. Let's see. 14k. And this is, this should be using, yeah, speed sixes, because we're eventually going to have that anyway, so. Uh, let's see, how many of these guys? I'm still a fan of this, maybe, but, no, it's like 16 of them. But honestly, it's just like we bring we bring fluids from orbit. Like it's so, I I, I feel like the 499 to 500 has become much less useful since it became really easy to carry it over. All right, that's pretty straightforward then. Whoops. Whoa. Okay. Oh, we don't need these. They're not going to pass through ever. Uh, do I have... Okay, I do have personal logistics on. Kind of, I think, need to wait for some boss to come over here and deliver me some good stuff here. Are they uh, going yet or no? Also, where did the... bots go? Oh, yeah, okay, they're here. Sorry, they're fine. Alright, there's still... Okay, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to cancel what I've done here. Because um, clearly it's going to take a really long time, uh, duh. And uh, I think we're I think we're good. I will just do it the next time I leave, and so we'll have this like l like l it looks like braille uh, on the surface here, so it'll be fine. Yeah, because we have 32 gigawatts too, and we have to get rid of this one too, and then that's it. So. I'll let, I'll let them do it some other time when uh, when I'm not here and actively waiting for them to construct things for me. Okay, well now now they're on to the next uh, really shitty project, which is this. Well, luckily I have some of that. But this this one's got to be moved down here anyway, so it's all good. So again, the reason we're moving it is because it keeps the science building in the middle of the uh, one, two, three, four kind of thing. Because I have the two blocks below it are essentially made for um, one and two, and the, the two above it are for three and four kind of thing. So that way the trains are kind of in the middle, which is kind of a good thing. I like that a lot. Broad, we can go back to this one.
just a little bit of a design choice I'm trying to make happen earlier on than later. So it just has to move all the cards around and all that kind of fun stuff, so. I did it with the other two sciences, because I you can see it like this is how it looks. It's like all the catalogs made right here, the insight made right here, and then there's a the science here. And there's actually a lot of space left over, so I could basically put like, for example, this is the um the the frames, right? So I just put the frames right in the center. So that, like they could go here, they could go up here, like they basically are pretty close by for that depot kind of thing, I figure, so. It's not completely filled up all the way, but it doesn't need to be. It's too much if it's filled up all the way. Why was I... Oh, right, because of the fluid. Right, because the fluid is required for this stuff down here, so I need to also remove that. So it's good times. Do I have my, I guess I do have my, yeah, I've got my rails and stuff again. Okay, so first things off, it needs ion streams, so let's go get some of that over here somewhere. Um, I have a stop over here somewhere with it. Is it this one? No. It's kind of hard to see what's going on now, because now I'm like literally looking in the base and it's just like a, a ton of like, this stuff. I'm, I'm gonna copy this one first, actually. So it's on that side, and I'm actually gonna copy and use this one first. Let me see. And hopefully the other one isn't that bad. Nope, it's... They're both the wrong way now, it looks like. I want them to be kind of over here. Okay, well that sucks, and... We'll just do a system. I'll just copy one of these ones and I'll just change what it is then. Uh, yeah, one of these ones. You know, I guess I just had it like this anyways, but that's fine. And we're gonna say this is Ion Stream Requester. And the last one is going to be this one. Nope, that's not it. That is also wrong. How is it? Wait, wait, hold up a second here. Oh yeah, it is like one down. Why? Why did I decide to do this? Because now I can't unsee that, so. That isn't acceptable. <laughs> it all has to be moved down by like a tile. Hopefully that's not actually a problem over here. Nope, this one's fine. Because I guess I copied them both or something, but there's some layout I have somewhere that's actually both. Um, by the way, can you expand off the planet edge with scaffold or something? Nope, you cannot. It's a it's a hard limit. You can't put anything over there. It's just it's just void. That's all it is. So like I could try my best to like use scaffold or something. Like here's landfill or something. Here I'll put some scaffold down. Doesn't work. I could try landfill, and then that also won't work. The assumption is that the uh, the planet is round, uh, so you're technically just looping back into uh, where the planet is to begin with, uh, kind of a thing. I think that's the uh, the assumption there. See, the answer is no and nice try, basically, so sorry. 
They're unfortunately onto your tricks and they do not appreciate it, I think. Uh, let's see here. Off the edge would just be orbit again anyways, wouldn't it? Well, no, because you didn't escape the planet orbit. You didn't you didn't leave the planet. That's the that's the uh, that's the caveat with that. You, you need you need rockets to leave it, kind of like it's like the Earth is flat kind of a thing, you know, kind of thing. Found the found the flat Earther. I know. Uh, let's see. Actually, wait. It's not. We don't want that. Yeah. We actually want it to be in this uh, block here. It's not connected, is it? No, it's not. Alright, so this one's pretty straightforward. Just 8.3 and 0.4 of that, so that's it. Alright, so which pipe is which? Let's see, this is the, this is the one. Alright. We'll take this one, we will pump it out. Probably should be something more like this, actually. <laughs> Just look at the SE maps. Because SE is science. That's how it goes. I, you know, it begins to really make me question why, why the heck did they move the, um, uh, what was it called, the the thermo generator two so far down the tree? Because it just makes it so like I'm probably not going to replace anything with it. To be honest, I mean, I could have made all my builds kind of take it into account that I need that, but I mean, how do you even do that? I don't even know. I think it's just not very... yeah. How many was it again? It was uh, 8.3, yeah, so we just give me one more. So all I do is I go like, why... Why would I bother with it then, you know? Uh, we could actually probably have it down there-ish. I want to align it more with, uh... Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Oh, and this can also be the regular throwing fluid. There we go. What's this one? This is... Yeah, that's on the right one, too. Why is it waiting at the provider? We may have a slight problem, actually. Oh, I was too cocky. What happened? Iron. Iron is a problem. What happened with the iron? Uh, you are requesting iron. Why, where's all the... Where's my iron train? Well, we don't have any more iron. That's the problem. We were too cocky. That's a lot of iron that it all of a sudden needs. What happened with it? It's, um... I mean, it's coming, but not that fast. Just come on over. It, what's it still catching up on? I think it's still doing data cards or something garbagey that I don't really care about. I don't know. I care a little bit. Alright, which one is the, um, fluid? Whatever this one is. Okay, that's the one. I know the fluid doesn't exactly narrow it down, but you know. It's funny because when I started this, I actually thought the UPS for uh, fluid would be the, uh, like uh, all the fluids would be absolutely terrible. But as it turns out, it actually was pretty good. I didn't realize how much the factory does had actually optimized it. 
I just remember that being a major concern at some point in the game's development or something. It's like fluids are awful because of nuclear or something. And then it actually ended up being pretty good uh, in this mod, so that's why I like, oh, it's actually not bad. So I think fluid manager for me is like what? Like that 0.051, it's like nothing, so who cares? Uh, I mean, the, I'm sure these pipes help a lot too, so. All right, I might go, I might just go feed it some uh, some stuff actually. Let me see here, did it actually finish what I was doing? Holy shit, it actually did. Where's my solar array? All right, and did they finish? Okay, they did not quite finish up there, so I will do that next. Construction pylons. Okay, I thought I'd turn this off, apparently not. I was wondering, I'm like, I'm like, they're they're awfully uh, quiet for that, and for some reason, even though the bots are doing stuff, like, why are they still? Uh, the UPS is still still crap. What happened? Dude, trains are using, like, three. That's insane. I, I don't think it... What? Is that, like... That's, like, a hot... That's that's so high, the amount of, like, trains I'm basically using here. I kind of knew that was the case, but seriously. Those are rookie numbers, apparently. I, I'm not even, I'm just getting started. That's the worst thing about that though. Uh, what's the thing you see to put, uh, see FPS things? Oh, you press F5, right? But you have to go into your debug, which is F4. And then you, you toggle on show time usage. So that's why whenever whenever I have F5, it's um, it shows the grid, the chunk grid first off, because sometimes I need that. But most of the time I like to see what's what, a, what mods are using the most. So train trails, as you can see, is using now 0.5, so it's actually getting pretty bad. We're gonna have to remove it at some point. Um, I have it on the efficient setting too, but yeah, that's that's not helping either. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to drop the train trails soon. But my circuit networks is almost one millisecond now. Things like that. It's uh, it's pretty hefty. That one is late late. Tech tree upgrades always confuse me. You like basically done with the game. You scaled just to get there. Why do I want your last minute boost? I mean, that would be something. I think I'm going to. One second. Let me just get a couple more. Just trying to get a little bit more thermal fluid here going. I think I might stockpile a bunch of it, you know? I was literally just talking about how how easy it is to make thermal fluid, and then like, yeah, and then we're running out for some reason. Because this makes ten, but the systems I made shouldn't make need that many. If it wasn't for the iron deficiency we have, um, it would be okay. Okay, well, it looks like it went anyway, so. You going for this one? Yes, you are. Thank goodness for that. All right, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go grab my my things over there. Just delete circuit network. Keep train trails. Oh, okay. You're right. We gotta have priorities, damsel. And you've triggered T hacks in saying that, by the way. T hacks is a very thorough uh, circuit network enjoyer. All right. We're definitely gonna need some more uh, than this, but I think we're good for now. I was hoping to get some spider trons to do it for me at some point, so.
Uh, these are not done quite yet. <laughs> Visuals of greater than function. That's true. It's it's all about base to, uh, base aesthetics. That's where half of UPS goes. It must be allocated towards that. All right, we got it back. Okay, I don't think I really need to scale any more power, to be honest. I I think, like, this is a good amount for what I'm doing right now. And uh, we'll eventually make more, but that's it. That's it. That's all it needed. So I'm just trying to copy what I see them all doing. Because otherwise I, it will annoy me. There you go. Well, that one's kind of weird. Why did this one do that? There you go. I mean, technically speaking, I could just remove this one. This is probably look more, way more aesthetic as it is. So there you go. That looks pretty good. And that, that brings the solar way further away from our main base too. So I like that as well. I must click to move. I don't even remember that being a thing, by the way. All right, I, I'm kind of curious, what is the entities that's eating all of this, by the way? Um, pumps are basically 0 0.2, 0 0.3 now. But that's that's warranted. Boilers are a significant part. Where do I... Boilers are for uh, nuclear. Reactor is also part of that. Inserter is now 1.4. By the way, this this is all of it now, by the way. They changed it so this shows all of it. So my generator is like 0.5 now. Road ports are like point, almost one. I wonder where those are at. They can't be on the space platform. Because I do have some here, but I don't have them everywhere. But I guess I guess it is here now that I think about it. It's the amount of entities I have for that, but I can, I can get rid of a lot of them too. So. We'll see. <laughs> He's doing his best. How useless Spidey becomes? What? How is Spidey useless? Spidey is so good. Oh, also this is screwed up. Spidey is good. So how I feel about deep space belts? What are those? What are belts? I've never heard of that. Who uses belts? Honestly, I've never heard of those things in my life. Oh my god, I have like a full-ass inventory of things. Oh my god, I need to get rid of all this. <laughs> uh, are they gonna, logistic box gonna pick it up or what? I'm trying to move all this stuff now here because now I have the time. Oh yeah, I've never built those. I, I, I The worst part is I actually have some of those deep space belts here. I, I, I reckon, yeah, I have a bunch of them here. But I haven't used any of them at all, because I'm just like, whatever. Whatever, bro, there's there's uh, belts here. I really want these bots to take this away from me. Alright, delete this one. I have a random chest in, in sort of thing. What is this for? Nothing. And we no longer need this one. Okay, are they getting rid of all this stuff from me? They're trying their best. This is all the stuff I don't need. And then we're, we're going to go plug these in, and then that should be good enough for that. You know, I just realized something. Do we have Mat 3 yet? What happened to our Mat 3? Where's it at? Okay. So we haven't gotten a th single load of thing yet. Um, fuck, it's the same one, by the way. It's, I get, I bet you anything, it's the dumb... Um, what's it at? Where is it at? Dude, what are they waiting on? Matt Science Packs, what are they, where are they at? You're waiting at providers, but you're not full. 
What happened? It's the iron again, isn't it? I bet you fifteen dollars. It's I'm not gonna bet that actually. See, so yeah, it's it's sort of the iron. That's one portion of it. I bet most people never make deep space belts. I I don't think so either, because you get them way too late. I mean, the buff that they kind of gave it this time around is actually kind of nice, so. Because they give you a bit more now to work with, so. That part's kind of nice about it. What are they all doing all the time? Okay, material science pack. Maybe I just need, a, I need more material science stations. Nine stops require it. Okay, hold up here. Uh, let's see, material science back. So I did the, yeah, I need seven, probably more than that. The answer is yes, I do need a little bit more manufacturers. Just, just slightly more, a smidgen more. But this should be good enough for now, you would think. Oh yeah, they're they're kind of going now. I I wouldn't mind having like another one or two of these trains, like just one more train. Give okay, me two. Where is it at? It is it is by the way. It's just forever iron. <laughs> so we've reached some kind of critical point in the game where whatever iron I made here wasn't enough. So. We, despite it being the thing that we had the most of all the time, what's this problem? You can't get rid of it. How the hell did that happen? Oh, because the speed modules made it faster. That's why they're inefficient belts now. Oh man. Could have made them right before Deep Space Sai. They were the only belts you could use in asteroid fields. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, Boo Belts 5045, sp uh, Spacer 90. Yeah, exactly. They are, they are, they're basically like the K2 ones. I actually had to buff my K K2 uh, uh, belts to match, or sorry, ma uh, I had to upgrade the speed belts to match the K2 belts. But now, now they're actually the same, so which is cool. I like that now a lot. But still, it's one of those things you wouldn't really make a whole lot of. Yes, iron's still gonna be a problem, but we're gonna save it. Oh, okay, we can do this now. Let's see here. Warehouse this. Turn off that. Give me this. This is all the broad catalogs. So what's this stuff? This is the energy. Yeah, so it's all the... Oh, we actually don't really need that much of this anymore. Oh, it actually didn't equalize these. Damn it. Stop doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Alright, they're, they're just always unequal. One second, let me just get these to equalize again. Okay, now they're doing good. is just energy catalogs. So let's just put these in here. Dude, my range is so big on this. Just go somewhere over there. I 
keep I keep wanting to shove it in there and then it's like nah. Oh wait, these are all full actually, I just realized. Okay, those are full. These are not. The broads are not full. Where's the broads that I have here? Okay, are they full now? Yes, they are. Put them back in here. Oh, I am suffocating right now. Alright, so this is going to be the... Um, I just I just forget, remembered I just deleted the, the stop names for this, so... Um, I think it is Energy Catalog um, Insight Buffer? No? Fuck, what's it called? I don't even remember where it is. I It's deleted now, so I can't know what it is. Uh, is it... No, well, it actually kind of is this one. Oh, it's just a buffer provider, that's all it is. Or, I guess it's just, yeah. There you go. Okay, that's, that's all it is. <laughs> I don't remember what I did for any of this. Alright, next thing we need to do is we need to get rid of these cards. Uh, this could be something I want to do. One second. I want to rename some of these stops too. Okay, why are you going in circles? Oh my god, it is wrong. You can stop right there. You have really bad orders on you. This is why I do the item counts on these. Because they're just going in circles endlessly because it doesn't have an order uh, for it. Well, okay, it's because it doesn't have anywhere to drop off anything right now. So they're kind of, uh, they're kind of boned right now. So, But still, I want to remove these. 12k. That's 3.1. I literally can't see it, so... Um... Four, five, six, seven... So that would be... So times, uh, sometimes four, so 31 slots. Oops. 31 times... Not Q. Q's not a number. 100 times four. So this would be two, two four, zero. Okay, and then the amount of insight it has is that much. I'm count. Um, this one is equal to 600. Nope, 600. What time is it? Yeah, we're already at like 8 o'clock, so I may stop now because that is a big. Why does it not go to... What the hell is this? Wait, 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 wait. Why did it not bring data cards in? Or, so not data cards, the... Uh, why does it not grab science? Has it been like this this entire time where it goes to stop to get... No, that's energy catalog, never mind. Sorry, that's the first level one. Sorry, ice cream. It's, it's the naming convention. That's what it is. I ch that's why I changed it. Because it was confusing to me, so... That's, I did that for all of my things, though. The stream keep buffering? No, they're not doing it. I don't know. Catalog. But yeah. We may call it soon, but we still, we're about like, I would say halfway through some of this stuff here, so. Um. This is going to buffer stop, right? Yeah. Wait till it's inactive or something, or maybe like 15 seconds of inactivity. Oh yeah, I, I was waiting for any of them to be zero, I guess, before. 
The problem with that is it's not entirely accurate though, because it goes into a couple of little loop conditions with it. It's not right beside it, right? No. Maybe I'll just wait until it's empty. That's what I'm gonna do. Wait until you're empty. That's it. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong stop, by the way. Uh, did I just delete the buffer stop for it? Catalog. That's the one. All right. So this is the same one? This is the same flippin' one. Where is it at? There you go. They're gonna go in a loop, by the way, but I just... I, I, I don't know. I guess I can't really do much about it right now. Twelve hundred of each. Oh, sorry, that's not twelve hundred. It's two thousand. Sorry. Broad is equal to two thousand. All right. Oh my god! Look at all this data I have. All right, let's do this one, and then I think there's one other thing I want to do, and then I was probably gonna call it. Where did it go, actually? To I guess I had another thing called something else, or what did I call it? So why are there so many buffer trains for this? This is because this is wrong, that's why. What the hell did I do with this? This is an energy catalog buffer. That's what it's supposed to be. Wait, is that what it is? I think that's what it is, right? No, it's not. Fuck, it's something else. Oh, it's it's a stop I don't have anymore. That's what it is. I'm just gonna have it go to... I don't even know what to make it do. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Just... I, I actually have nothing I can give it right now, because it's, uh, it's just wrong right now. I kind of want to just tell it to go somewhere and just quit, so I'm just gonna go right here. Where's the other train? Because otherwise they'll just never end and they'll keep going around when they shouldn't be. I guess they shared orders because it's not here anymore. Either that or it went to the surface. No, it didn't go to the surface, but that's it. All right, and then we get, whoops, we get the one more. Good thing I didn't have the real gun selected. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're over there. Where, where the hell are they? Oh, they decided to be over here. I guess I kind of decided that it shouldn't be like that. Okay, that works. These are all limited, yep. So we're done. That's it for that. Okay, so we're gonna have to move this one tomorrow down to here, I believe. I gotta start reorganizing that. I kind of have this done, so that's kind of nice. Even though, oh, it just added the fluid, so. Um, it was wrong. Okay, I kind of had that in backwards. Let me go fix that real fast and then and I'll call it done today. That is a lot of stuff. Let me just go... Actually, to be honest, it's not that much Crinite Slush. Just debating how to solve this one. Forgot that Cronite Slush was up the, the top, by the way. I 
You're really gonna urge to see how far you can get SE the 24 hours in the beginning using as many blueprints as possible. Are you are you talking about a speed run? I can introduce you to someone who knows a lot about speed runs. I feel the SE category would be the most uncontested for speedrunning. So the world record would be yours. Also no speeds in these, but that's fine. No Factorio speedrun solo is about two hours and no, no, I'm saying I'm saying um, not Factorio. I'm saying space exploration speedrun. No, I I know the I know the uh, the uh, regular Factorio um, speedrun is uh, heavily coveted. That one's that one's a hard one to do. I wasn't I wasn't saying sorry sorry. I guess I guess I wasn't clear because he's talking about blueprints and SC to to get a two get, see how fast he can go in 24 hours kind of thing. He's t he's saying he's talking about SC. We can bring data cards here. All right, I am going to call it now. I will not likely be back tomorrow, but maybe I will. It depends. I, I have a day that I want to catch up on sleep. Maybe I'll make that. Maybe I'll try to make that tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow will be my miserable like reset my sleep schedule day. I didn't really want to stream like stream on that day. I do that whenever that is. So, um, but yeah, that's that is it. Anyways, thanks everybody. I will send you somewhere else. Well, damsel can't be online because she's literally in chat, so I can't send you there. <laughs> so. Fun. We'll uh, we'll go raid this guy. He's doing his first run in. Um, productivity is overrated. Oh, that's a sin. But uh, that's fine. This guy Rune Sun. He seems to be uh, doing his first run of this one. So we'll say <laughs> we're disappointed, damsel. Yeah, may maybe another time. GG Friendos. Thank you very much. Take care. See you, damsel. See you, Maholic. See you, T Hacks. Uh, Alchismia, Artex, everybody. So I'll see you how you'll tomorrow. But yep, yeah, say hi to this guy and uh, take care. Peace out.